UFC 265, Lewis versus Gon. And we got the boys. What's going on, Billy Boy? Something looks different. Something looks different. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, oh shit. look at the boy, man. Brady got the haircut ready for this event. You got to look as fresh as the, the bets. And we're trying to cash some tonight, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. We be pumping. What's going on, Zoe? You in, uh, I think you're on mute right now, though. Uh, you're in New York? I'm in Vegas. I'm not in New York. I'm, oh. I'm at, in New York, in Vegas. I'm at the New York, New York. Oh, God. Jesus. I actually thought you said New York, New York, like actual New York. <laughs> that being said, what's going on, Sharpie? Hey, shout out to, what is that, Dried Spicy with the dono yeah. already? Good looking. Let's, Let's get, get this done. chat. I'm going to get blazed. We're going to win some freaking money. Let's get it today, fellas. Probably this right. And happy birthday to Big Show. Happy uh, Big birthday. Show's birthday was uh, yesterday. And uh, hope you had a great time. I know he's in the background running the ones and the twos, as Jimmy the Bag would say. Uh, let's shout this shout out, man. We got Meat Man, Seth Villarreal, Ken Man, Nick Dillard, Jose Rojas. Uh, we got Mark San. Hey, what up, Mark? It's been a minute. Bill Withers, Drive Spicy Screw That Don't Know. Uh, Chuck DLC, uh, K Reed up in the house. What's up, Tizzy? Uh, Ariel yeah. Show at the shout out right now. Huncho, Alex Johnson. Uh, first of the scene was Kenny V, I believe. Telly, Daniel Burkhart, and uh, everybody else. Freddie Free, Ball all in. Actually, Alex Gagged and, uh, was there. And uh, Jake Kaiser, number number two. All right, Big Jake, let's get this done. They're Maybe walking out. The cage right now. So, let's um, do that breakdown. Uh, yeah. All right, right now we got John, uh, Johnny Munoz uh, coming in at 10 and 1, 7 and 3, come back on Jamie Simone's or Simons. Both come off, coming off an L, though. Uh, both coming out of the States. 5 foot 9 for Munoz, 5 foot 6 for Jamie. Uh, one inch reach advantage though, uh, for uh, Mr. Munoz and 38 to 38 in leg reach, so uh, they're identical there. And uh, that being said, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Anybody got any action on this fight? Yeah, so I have uh, Munoz with Gone in a parlay, that's okay. what I've done on this one. And uh, really, what do you, you got anything on this one? I like that parlay, but uh. I didn't no action here for me on this fight. Uh, Johnny Munoz, just not the most reliable guy, but I think he is the second, my second favorite favorite on this card. I should say. Okay, Sharpie. I'm gonna do exactly what you just said, so So uh, I've been doing terrible. Shout out to K. Reed, the oh, goat, the there, horse K. legend Reed. himself. If you don't follow this guy, you just don't like money, guys. He turned twelve dollars <laughs> into twelve hundred the other day, like magic but yeah i'm gonna follow you so all right so munoz in gun parlay i'm going sprinkle round one sprinkle round two 240 and 450. for which fighter munoz johnny munoz okay all right i'm gonna bet I, I can. Ooh, that you're talking my number at 450. <laughs> We're almost there, too. <laughs> you know I mean? uh, uh, some people might not get that reference. There's oh, they there. get it if they hang out here, guys. <laughs> Bernie, look, at Bernie, look at Bernie just put up as a, like, a little meme. Or, that's fucking hilarious. That's Ooh, awesome. Shout out to Bernie. Our Pooner is in the building. <sighs> you get the first one, I get the next one, though. All right. Thank you, Mickey. <sighs> I owe the MLB chat this morning a fat dab, so after this one, I'm going to murk myself. I ran out of butane. Angel says, save it, save it for my great. girl, I, Carly, in the next fight. Shit. Andrew, well, you know what? It's better to, it, not, it might not make or break your night because it's the first fight of the night. You can always rebound. God forbid. You know, shit's to bed. So uh, if you're going to have all your eggs in the basket, 100%, it's better to be earlier on so you can kind of rebound. You don't that's have kind of game. Nikki. That's kind of why I did Munoz with Gone. Because if I win this, then I already have the Gone yeah. fight covered. Yep. I feel you on that. Though I like this. I like that parlay a lot because there's a lot of different options you can go with. If you lose the first fight of the night, you just reload back up, and then if it gets to the main event and you made some cash in between, bet that Derek Lewis knockout prop as a hedge. Terlansky, board fat. Let's go. Hey, hey Sharpie, uh, Chuck DLC asks, uh, what are you weighing in at these days? Because you're talking about 450. He wants to know what. Uh... Hey, I'm a mean five foot four and a buck 80. Uh, I'm 200 <laughs> if I'm in the gym, guys, but I ain't been in the gym lately, bro. Family so, bands. yeah, buck 80, five foot four, but I walk around like I'm 6'10. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. 
Hey, when, when you're rocking that kind of facial hair, you got to walk around like you're seven foot tall. Exactly. Those mutton chops. Fucking eight. Tony Bass, that's a new name right there. Hit that uh, sub button, brother. Welcome, man. It was best Saturday card in a while. Can't wait. For the main event. Hell yeah. There's a lot of good fights here, though. I I'm actually looking forward to Munoz and uh, and uh, Jose Aldo. <clears throat> All right. Take it away. Darby, you see what Chuck said? You're going to need a bigger boat. Man, I got more. Hey, hey, I no, called the Titanic in. They said no, so I called Noah's Ark, and I found out Noah's Ark was a lie because there's no way they had two whales and two beefaloes on that same ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's for damn sure. Hey, I was really talking about it in the Discord and was breaking it down. Like, how the hell do you have some whales on this boat with some lions? Bro, they didn't have what any whales. the they hell? Have, they didn't have a freaking aquarium in that boat, man. It was just land animals. Jeez. Man, hey. there's plenty of whales still here, too, so... Uh, yeah. Hey, Sharpie, that boat was as big as the state of Rhode Island. <laughs> All right. Are you looking at uh, right now Johnny yeah. Munoz? I'm Perfect. looking at Johnny Munoz right now and nice. uh, getting ready to get the first round started here. I think Buffer's already done the introductions. Yeah, we got closing odds, minus 335 for uh, Munoz. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how big of a favorite he got. Uh fed up too because he opened up only as a minus 175 favorite and it got fed up all the way to 335 in some spots yeah. 350 of mine right now believe it or not just could have just started all hey, right ring girl, ring girl doesn't look too bad tonight oh, my never Lord. does never does all right guys here we go it's billy's beard let's go you got simmons in the black and munoz in the gray Four fifty in the first round. Right now they're just. Oh, Muno, yeah, Muno, Muno's in the gray. Um. Yeah, I said Munoz. Oh. Who did I say? I don't know. Maybe you yeah, fuck my life. Go ahead. I may, maybe I. <laughs> I. Who knows what name I would have said? All right, got four. There. There's nothing going on, guys. They're just jabbing at uh, finding range right now. They're not even in the pocket. The punching air. Uh, Simmons misses with a right and misses with a kick. Munoz still jabbing at air. What's your timestamp? I think we're identical. On. Four seventeen. Yep. We're all right on. I love it. Uh, I would love to tell you guys something is going on, but there is nothing but jabs at air. Finally, Simmons misses a punch, and they they uh, clinch for a second, and then break apart. I got three fifty five. You got Munoz moving forward, Simmons moving oh, backwards. <laughs> this is on, terrible. Munoz. It's a on, it is Munoz. a slow starting first fight of the night, I'll tell you that. I gotta feel though that it's a fight that's gonna end in a blink of an eye though, also. Well, I, I hope somebody doesn't have round one. Because <laughs> I got one and two. Hey, the guy's fighting like this with his hands up. Like what, what is this? Doing that? What uh, is that? I, I think I just saw Munoz jab land. That might have been the first punch of the fight, and we're at 323. <laughs> well, a lot of guys fight like that. The hands are like that. Uh, and and like then that. they just like go over top of each other in exchange position in the ring. Simmons with a right that's blocked. Munoz lands a jab. 310 left. Simmons throws a left hook that's blocked. Simmons feints a right. And Munoz moves. Live line grayed out right now. We'll see what it comes back. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, man, I'll Munoz might be the best jabber at air I've seen in a while. Nice overhand right. That <laughs> so, You're right, Kenny. These seats are dead empty, but it's the first fight, and then no one ever shows up to the first fight if you got the front row seats. Yeah, it's like I, you, I, I would be there. The amount they charge you, I would be there from fight one till the end. No, not if I was a celebrity. Oh, not a celebrity, but – a those nice are all celebrity seats like, that are empty. Yeah, I don't No, those are brown floor seats. I've been in those, though. Billy. I'm not no, a those, celebrity. Those are floor seats, Billy. Those are celebrity floor seats. My ass crack. Uh, all right, so Simmons landed a jab and missed with an overhand right. He throws a really funny overhand right. I don't think it would have a lot of power on it the way Simmons is throwing it. 210 just about oh, left in the round. I don't know what just happened. Munoz, like, I don't know if he turned his ankle or – Uh oh. Yep. What that was. I'm going to take it a live line like on Jamie. It looks like a punch by Simmons. If I get over and, 200 on Jamie, I'll take a live line on him. And Munoz looks fine now, but it was an odd thing. It, almost like his head got met by a knee, but I didn't see Simmons throw the knee. Hey, does he don't look, not look like a minus 350, guys? 
No way, no, Jose. Julio's is not looking at – Simmons is doing a good job staying out of range right now. I mean, Simmons missed with another leg kick. 135 left. Double jab by Munoz at air. <laughs> oh, crap. I have no distance in this fight, too, I just realized. This is I'm going the it. distance. Yeah. Simmons look looks pretty good in this first round. Not good. Well, Simmons is just doing a good job avoiding. Munoz is switching stances now. He just went to southpaw. I think you should a be nice good. overhand right lands for Simmons. A, a side kick land for Munoz. I feel like Munoz is starting to find his distance. A minute set. Minute oh, turn to throw more around. kicks. Minute yeah, I got 105, around. Nikki. 105, yeah, 104. Munoz did land a nice inside leg kick while we we're talking. Nice left to the body by Simmons. Give me a line on Jimmy. 50 seconds left. You're right, Kaiser. Why weren't people on the dog here? Because this ain't a 350 favorite. You can still take no, but I, Even when right they're now. saying that, I think Munoz might be winning this round for how I, I had seen some punch stats. I wonder what the punch stats are, Billy. I think he's losing I'm the round. Oh, 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 here's a take Get down. the take down. You got Munoz. And Ooh, that was feel that. Yep. But he's got to do something. Oh, there you go. He throws a couple weak punches. Yeah, he throws a couple punches ahead. He's actually grabbing the legs right now and trying to go into full guard, and he's in full guard with 18 seconds left. Bearing that head in that crotch. Yep, but he's neat. a nice elbow. He lands one oh, kind of was really an elbow. It's like a forearm. Too. He lasted two headbutts he got in there, bro. Yeah. Those were like missile headbutts. The first one was worse. And now he, he puts a guillotine a on to end the round. The round's going to end with him standing in a guillotine. Munoz was a little bit late knee as well after the bell. I'll take it. That won him the round, I think. Yeah, I won the round for sure. I think so too. We got Easy. a live line here, fellas. Anybody got it? It's grayed out at three hundred plus in plus two hundred uh, right now. Minus three hundred to a plus two hundred grayed out. What do yeah, you guys it'll think come live chat? in a minute, Nikki. Everybody in the chat, who do you guys think? One Omino Terensky says, "Yeah, Terensky. I think that secured the round as well." What up, dead shot? We'll try to pull it is right Munoz minus 300 live, plus 200 on Simmons. Dirty uh, Reg says uh, Simmons 1-0 in a lackluster round. I don't know. I think that, that takedown um, at the end, Dirty Reg, uh, is what kind of solidified that round. That's the only thing you can break, break apart from that, that first <laughs> round that was separated. Do you see that, J.D.? Munoz nine significant strikes to five for Simmons. Golly, that was a that, rocky first three. round. 12 significant strikes for Munoz versus six and nine significant strikes to five. And I feel like Munoz definitely won the round. He had more output in uh, higher control time, 32 seconds of control time, one for two for takedowns. I still want to take the All right. two but I'm not going to do it. Here we go, guys. Round two. They're both in the center of the cage. And they – come on, guys. Quit jabbing at air. What up, nice, nice leg kick by uh, Munoz. They kick each other's leg and they both fall down. 440 left. That <laughs> was weird. Yeah. Andrew, Munoz went out. That has to be perfect timing that you land the kicks at the same time where you both go down. It's I kick by Munoz that oh, is missed. Sorry. What's that, Nikki? No, no, I was uh, answering Dirty Reg real quick. Yeah, they both oh, okay. didn't really do anything, but that takedown is what had to have won the round. Go ahead. I apologize. Yep, no, no problem. And nothing's happening. Uh, you see some, le they're uh, feigning level changes right now. Both fighters just did it. 410 left. See, I'm irritated. Munoz, Munoz, uh, minus 165. Munoz switches to orthodox, <laughs> lands a jab, and then goes for a double leg takedown, and he's going to get it in the center yeah, of the cage. Use that wrestling. 355 left, and he is trying Step to pass. Up. I don't know why. He just settled for that half guard. He tried to pass the side guard, but uh, Simmons stopped him. 345 left. And uh, there is one butterfly in for Simmons. And it looks oh like God. Munoz is trying to stay in it, and Simmons is trying to get him off him, but I think he's going to fall back into full guard. Oh, he tried to get up, and Gave up Munoz his took his yes. back. Bro, I got to fucking get it. Both, both get hooks it. are in. And Munoz has his back. He's a little high on the back. He's got to be careful. Go for that arm, though. I also have. Oh, he just stretched him out. He's flatted. He's he flattened him he's, out for a second. Plus and a couple of punches. Give me plus four fifty second round. Finish Please, him. God. Finish him. Finish him. He's waiting for. I mean, he's still on the back. He's trying to pull him down to the ground. He's Guys, on a This should be though. done. He's, Simmons, this, oh, is he's got, this is it. This is it. 
It's come on, on please. Come on. He's got the crank in. Please get to get in. It's our party uh, going to right now. Close. Come on. Please, no, God. No, please, no, God. No, 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 he's, he's fighting oh, the hands. He's out. 248 left. The seatbelt is in, though, and you got turtle position for Simmons. He actually sits back up on his knees. He's going to stand up with Munoz on his back, but Munoz Dumb pulls ass. backwards, Dumb pulls ass. him down. 232 left. It's just a matter of if he just choke. That looks deeper. That that This is good. That one yeah. that one over. Catch it. Catch it. Let's go. 450. Hey, uh, thank you, you, go. you got it in? Did you, uh, did you live bet it, or was that from pre-fight? No, I, I that was uh, my pre-bet was round one two. Okay, was, uh, I, I heard you though, like a minute before, trying to get something in live, or no, you were I was trying, trying to get a line in on a plus two hundred in uh, on um, Jamie. Okay, Jamie Simmons. That was great. That was great. Not that was Motherfucker, ah. let's go! Woo, Dang, that was guys, nice great finish. way to start off the night. Hell yeah. yeah. 109 in the building. Let's get it. Hey, smash that like button. Hit the share, guys. It helps us a lot. We appreciate it all. Oh. Hell yeah. That's how we start off tonight. Let's go. You, so. you want to know even funnier? I have a party with uh, Johnny Munoz, Hathiel Fezdiev, and Yoder and, and Frey by decision. That, that one cast already. Me and uh, Big Show uh, both. Today. I know you just both didn't say that. Yoder. Yeah, Yoder from the Yoder Frey fight uh, two weeks ago. I had that fight. Oh, not Ashley. I was thinking Ashley Yoder. I was like, she yeah, no. Ashley Yoder. Ashley Yoder versus Jen Frey. Um, a fight to go she to the decision. No, I had fight to go to the decision. Oh, okay, okay. Parlay right. with Pizziv and Johnny Nunes. Plus yeah, and a bunch of Nunez parlays that didn't make it. Nunez and Pizziv in Slovenia. All of them cashed, but Pizziv so far, but Nunez is always not in there. Nunez, Dizzy up, fight not to the distance in the Randy Costa fight. Uh, Randy got that fight, you know, so that's just good. Just, uh, right. hey, the, the, nice job. I see the people in the chat. Andrew there hit the sub prop. Very nice. nice. Good job. I, nice. I saw some other ones up above. Easy money, let's go. That was Austin. Which one, Dirty Johnson. Right? I um, like. Very nice. Cash it. I like. I think a lot of people were uh, either on the finish or on Munoz. Nice. Hey, that's and, my, uh, oh, you give a, a shout out to Big Show there. I haven't. I just started doing those round prop stuff after he started doing it. So appreciate that, Big Show. Yeah, that's up though. Guys. We got two. I was gonna say hotties, but <laughs> one's the hottie, the other one's a naughty. Uh, Victoria Leonard versus Melissa Gatto, eight and four. For Victoria, six zero oh, and two. Gato, she got two draws on the record. Uh, it's her debut, Gato's debut here at UFC. Uh, Leonard's coming off a loss in her last fight. Uh, one's out of the States, Leonard, and uh, Brazil, Gato's fighting out of five foot five for Leonard, five foot five for Gato. Both went in at 125, 64 inch reach for Leonard. They're not giving us a reach here on Gato, Gato right now. It's her debut, so they don't have that. They're not giving us a leg reach uh, on her as well. Whew, let's go. Uh, all Anybody right. Anybody got uh, the action? Sharpie, how about you? Do you have anything on this one? Not on a female fight. You catch me dead, fellas. Next. <laughs> yeah, it's a pick -em. It's minus 110. Hey, yeah, but I do have to say, uh, Dana White, I am still asking for a 265-pound women's division, please. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Just keep that up every week. Maybe one day he'll hear us. Uh, Billy. Um, I got my girl, I Carly here by submission or decision plus 100. I think there's some line value due to that. Um, not a lot of people have really seen her before. Gatto has beat Carol Rosa. Carol Rosa has been making a splash in the UFC so far. The girl's only 25, taken off two years. That's the type of things that you like to see. She's probably going to come back looking a lot better than she is. And we've been trying to fade Victoria Leonardo since her contender series bout versus Chelsea Hackett. So it was an easy yeah. bet for me. I'll tell that Thank one. You. I'm going to tell uh, Billy on that one. I'm going to tell submission or decision, even odds for me. Okay, and I'm going to do Gatto. I'm going to just do a half a unit. It, it, like Sharpie said, it is a women's fight. I'm starting out well, so I'm going to just do a half a unit I Gatto. You know, it's even crazier. This fight not to go the distance is, is lined at minus 150. So they're thinking these, this, this does not obviously go the distance. 
Um, That's rare question. for a female fight too, Nick, yeah. right? You don't see that often that you see fight doesn't go the distance at minus odds. Exactly. Hippo, Ronnie Lofton. What's going on, guys? Ahmed, what up? Oh, Sam, welcome to the house. Let's go. Oh, fuck. That dab took my face off like Michael Jackson's third surgery. <laughs> Glad you got your good butane back. Yeah, shout out to Newport, bro. If you ain't using the finest, the finest, you ain't using the best there. There you go. Nick Rodriguez has been going. Let's go. 118 people right now. Let's fucking go, guys. Smash that like, guys. Smash it like I smash BBWs. If exactly. it ain't 350, no need to see the titty. Straight up. Right, it ain't 350. She ain't with me. So. Yeah, she ain't with me. Yeah. Hey, I have a different feeling, Sharpie. So I. <laughs> hey, you know. Hey, so. To each you know that, to that tweet I sent you with that really skinny chick? Yeah. I was doing was so bad with my far. K props. That, that was I the other I, side. That I had to go slump bust with the skinny girls to get back on track. <laughs> 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 and I don't know what I would do if a girl is three fifty got on top of me. I'd be tr I'd be in serious trouble. Yeah, you gotta make sure your friends know where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Ooh. gotta have the most best mountain climbing equipment there is, so that way you have a harness and strap in case you fall in. You're a good. I oh, was wondering go. if if you you right. know some type of strap might help you, Sharpie. Yes. Right, never Let's know. go. Hey, everybody in the chat, everything. everybody in the chat, let me know if you can hear me good. It's a new mic. I'm trying to fix all the little schnazzle snazzles on it. So let me know if you can hear me good in there. Hey, guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it just for fun a 0.1 unit Gato round one, round two, plus 200. Just for giggles. Shits and gigs. Shits and gigs. Yeah, Very Derek good. Lewis thinks he's a beast. No, I'm the beast. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate that is true. It. You're a little smaller in stature, but that doesn't mean much. Yeah, not in heart though. You don't right. know who I think I am, is what I tell people. 127 in the building. Let's get it. Let's go. We got a nice little break. You want to hit a quick commercial? Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. Ones and twos. Big show. Break it down. Freddie Freeballin said, if Angela Hill loses by split decision and has a tantrum, his night will be made. I want to make my night too. <laughs> I, th I, think, um, Tisha, I think that's a good betting opportunity with Tisha Torres. Uh, I mean, I was, I was going over it and I'm on the other side. I I'm going Hill. It just makes sense because she's a better striker or they're the, both the same. You know what I mean? A little better striker, I think, just a little bit faster. Yep. She's a little bit harder. Her ground game is way better than Angela Hills, so I don't know Angela Hills' path to pick And she won the first fight that they fought. She won the first one, but I think Hills improved, guys. I, I That's what I'm banking on. I'm getting a dog. Yeah. I think Hills no better. Build confidence, then no, you already beat the person you're looking at across from you in the octagon from. So yeah. That's the only thing I, was, I think Angela Hills is more better. I think the striking is just going to be significantly in Angela Hills' favor, though. That's what I think. I'm I'm worried about the grappling, the pushing her against the cage, and the stuff that Torres likes to do. But if it's just punch for punch, I like Hill in that. Sin City Sarah in the building says, "Happy fight night, guys! I'm excited. Join you a bit later. She'll be coming oh, on. Oh, we're gonna have Sin City on. on. Yep, Sin City will be on main card. Let's get it. There we go. Yeah. Andrew told me on that first round. Yeah, just for fun, just a point one unit, just a little something. 
Shout out to our boy Tone in the chat. He got a fresh newborn baby in the house. Right. Scarlet. Scarlet is her name. Big Scarlet. Man, Stimmy, I think that's a mistake. You're putting your lady Stimmy check on the uh, on you know, I, I, Anytime you touch a woman's God, money, that's Stimio that's Stimio. asking for problems. That's a new name right there too, bro. Hit that sub button, Stimmy. So I'll be giving you guys life lessons, guys. Take notes. Take notes. <laughs> right. Wrestling over everything. Very yeah, wager your own money. Don't wager your woman's money. That that, that can only work out for Ben Askren, didn't it? Not. Good <laughs> <laughs> I love the that's the grinder right there. Real deal grind the grinder. The grinder. Who what is? Up, Fucking Jesse's here. What up? Oh, hey you guys, see draw your best bets in the pack. Giovanni's best excited best. that Sin City's coming tonight. Okay. Oh. Giovanni sweet. said he's he can't wait for Sun City Sarah to come out. <laughs> Let's go, hey K. Reed. K. Reed on a Chiesa, Chiesa by sub plus four hundred. This guy's been money with his UFC picks. I think I'm gonna have to tell you some because I'm already liking yeah. Chiesa. Lucas, that is actually my biggest bet of the night. I have three units on Chiesa. Lucas' uh, submission skills are good too, but Chiesa, that's just all he does really. He tries to get backpack and get you down on the ground. I can but see a lot of laying praying though, and I'm okay with that bet and him. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see on, uh, early on on lots of, of of them striking and whatnot, but then Kiss is gonna. This is what I I guarantee it. He's gonna clinch up and take him right to the cage, and he's gonna try to uh, inside outside pitch up and down to the ground. That's yeah. what you want when you're looking... betting on a guy though. Huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead. What'd you say, Sharpie? I says that's what I want when I'm when I'm betting a guy versus Luke. I want him to try to oh, take yeah. him out. Don't stand and bang with that guy. No. Are you nuts? Yeah. Absolutely not. You do not want to stand and bang with Luke. You know what I mean? And like I mean, his yeah, uh, losses yeah. are versus re his two losses are versus two wrestlers. Other than that, he's fought nothing but stand up strikers, bro. So yep. he's gonna get taken down tonight. And There's that's what I like about Kiesa plus one twenty. What's that, Billy? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are putting a lot of stock in Luke's last submission against Woodley. That was I'm not big on the submission. I'm just big on him laying prey because it could very well be a decision. Kiesa laying on him for two rounds. I The only thing that scares me, can he get knocked out? Kiesa just looks so good in this weight class. He, I mean, I he agree. moved this weight class, and he's looked so good there. I agree, I agree with that, Anybody new in this chat tonight? If you're new in this chat tonight, press one if you could. If you're new in the chat tonight. I'll be right um, back, guys. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, guys, I know you hit that like, bro. We appreciate it. I'm going to say it 100 million times because it does us a lot. We appreciate it all, guys. 100%. Right now, we, well, we have 63 likes already. Let me refresh We're that. Getting there. Once we get to 100, I'll melt my face off for the fourth surgery. <laughs> You're gonna have one of the I currently throws up this submission. Right? And you all start dancing <laughs> after this cash. And... They have all a lot of daily fantasy lineups. A lot hey, of ones oh, in there, boys. I want to see you dance. Oh, all these new people hit the subscribe if you guys can. What up, Dan? Every Jay MMA Bella towards Jay Kaiser. You're not new. Free. What are you doing, pressing one? Um. Dean G, yeah, yeah, Corey Humphrey, JD, everybody hit that sub button like Sharpie and uh and Big Show and Billy just saying, let's go. Seth nap Miller, time. Real, we'll get the nap time. time. Get well, we that. Don't, yeah, yeah, we don't want them having nap time after nap time. So let's pace them. Let's pace them. Let's pace them. Yeah, there's a bell notification. If you hit the bell notification, you get notified for all of our live videos. Yeah. So even though we have the UFC uh, content going on this evening, Pub Sports Radio, we try to cover all the sports from MLB, NFL, college football, CFL. If you're Canadian, hey, you, you might watch CFL. And uh, daily fantasy aspects as well. So make sure you hit that bell notification. We go live basically every day of the week. You'll see uh, Sharpie on the MLB show tomorrow in the morning. Let's get it. I got got to by the decision or submission, uh, even though it's nothing big, though. It's I not got to be it. trying to keep I it. Carly. It's I Carly. It's I Carly. I don't. That, that Bro, is that more is. my generation than your guys' generation. But if you ever seen the show I Carly before, uh, Miranda Cosgrove, she literally looks identical to Gatto. Mm -hmm. And I was watching her Instagram live this morning. She was she was rapping some shit. Here we go. This girl looks hyped. All right, I'll grab this one. So, Whew. you got it, or you want me to get yep. it? I'll get this one. And then we, we keep okay. fishing on and off if you want. I got the girl right. one. Fucking figures. Yeah, I like hey, it. Hey. You take those girl ones. Oh, yeah, all day long. 
Yo, uh, Carly? I just knew Venom Gear way better than Reebok. Leonardo God. acts like she's a badass, but she don't look like she trains like she's a badass. Nope. nope. What up, Walter Colson? That's a new name right there. I ain't gonna lie, man. Fuck Leonardo from the first time I ever met her. She was on the Contender Series and Here we go. Uh, reading Here we go. into some shit. Chelsea Hack was supposed to be the shit. Leonardo fucking just shit it on her, but the girl was only old. They touched gloves round one. All right, both girls sent off. Got inside leg kick lands. Forgot to outside leg kick lands for Leonardo. Leonardo's was much harder. Right now, they're just doing that dirty dance. Nice jab, though, by Gato. Double jab. Misses by Leonardo. Both girls throw a kick. Looks like Gato's landed. <laughs> That's a good Another question. Kick. Another one, nice little one-two by uh, Gato. What do you got on Leonardo's time, Jake? Uh, 433, 432, 431. I'll give about a 45 second every time. Nice jab right. lands for Gato. Uh, teeth kick to the belly. Uh, ooh, nice overhand right lands there for Leonard. Got them going in for the takedown. She gets Leonard's back against the fake, uh, cage right now with double underhooks. Let's see what she's trying to do here. Get the inside outside leg trip. Nice little knee to the belly there by Gato. She's got both underhooks still here with gable grips. And Leonard cannot, Leonardo cannot get out of this right now. Gato's stronger than I thought here. Let's go. What's your time again? Right in the minute, uh, 358, 357. That's a little bit closer. Oh, Nikki's behind us for once, eh? There you go, Gato. Gato sits Leonardo, but right on that canvas and moves into side control. Just don't pound oh, her out. Submit her dis or, or decision. Ah, uh, and then gets reversed by Leonardo, and she's on her back. Looking for an arm here, though. She's looking for more. For a little sweep? Let's get, a, let's get a little sweep here. Come on, get it. Oh, go for that arm. Go for that arm right now. 330 left. Go for that arm bar. Gato. Come on, Gato. Stretch her out. Stretch her out. Stretch her out, iCarly. Get her. Get her, iCarly. Use those out. long she legs. Get, back now. End up getting her back at 318 left flatten in the round by that. She's about to flatten her out. Holy crap, she's flexible. Oh, look That's at them butt cheeks. Zitsu wizard, man. Right now, we got Gato on Leonardo's back right now. She got one hook in, the other one just riding. She's a little high on her, though, right here. She needs to be careful. She's going to slip up the backside. 257, 256. Let's get this sub or decision. I bro, love she's this getting sub, this though, up. You see the, the muscles on her back, bro? Jesus yep. Christ. Chiseled. She's going and, for the and, joke. But and she Nick said she's flexible, too, Sharpie. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, she is. Only thing keeping her not from getting sub right now is her two on one. Two hands on one. You cannot sub somebody with two hands on one. Well, she's seen that way one too one. heavy up top. Yeah, and she's got to get the other other hook in, which I don't understand why she's not doing, so she could uh, stretch her out and get that seatbelt in so she can't get shook off. A couple short there punches go. landed by Gato. Oh, Gato rolls over. Oh, she almost had it. Now she's getting, oh, now she got reversed, and she's on her back, Gato is. But she's doing all the work here from the bottom. She's going for another arm right here. She's going for the arm right here. No, nope, let's go. Last second. 209, 208, 207, 206, 205 left in the first round. Gato off her back. Little short strikes from Leonardo from top. A couple from the bottom from Gato. Gato's trying to sweep right now. Leonardo moves over to half. And she sits on the leg. She's going to stay here on this round, I think. Gato going yeah. for another arm here, like she did before, but no. Full guard. Gato re, uh, repositions. She had a full guard. She's going for an arm, the left arm, like a little key lock type thing. Nope, nothing there. Oh, nice now she's going man. for there. You go. This is what I want to see. Lock up those some strikes. Now let's put. Ah, she had the. Yep. She's going for the triangle. Nope. She uh, you know, sits back down. At least she's active off of her back. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. She's yeah, super active. Very active. One twenty, one nineteen, one eighteen left in the first round. Leonardo is just working off her back. I mean, uh, I mean, sorry. Uh, Set Gato working off her back. Leonardo's not doing much, but a couple pity patter strikes here and there. So. Uh, I hope the judges don't get this round misconstrued, to be quite honest. Leonardo got that soccer mom butt going. She's going for that sweep to the arm bar. Come on. All you got to do, come on. She's got her leg. Oh, don't get your arm trapped, though. Don't get your arm trapped like you just did. She got caught with two strikes by Leonardo. Leonardo stands up. They are up at 47 seconds left in the first round. One, two misses for Leonardo. Damn, this is when we're fucked. <laughs> Gato goes for a takedown. Misses it. Right now, Santos goes for a takedown. Tries out a uh, leg tripper and she does not get it. And then Gato goes for the same leg trip, does not get it. 
and they back each other up against the fence. Gato get, get no, nope, Gato reverses her and it puts Leonardo's back against the fence right now. With 25 seconds left in the first round, then Leonardo reverses Gato, then Gato reverses Leonardo. 18 seconds left in the round. I think well, whoever well, I still think this round the mayor should go to Gato. But right yeah, now, this is going to go to Gato easy. Yeah, like nice elbow missions. over the top by Gato at the end of the round. Five seconds left, little head kick, little miss, and we're done. Oof. That was Gato left. all day. Yeah, let's do the or live Carly, as Billy would say. Live, it's minus four hundred, but it's grayed out. Yep. One thing that's pretty interesting about the stats after round one, 32 significant strikes for Gatto, 19 for uh, Leonardo. But with her being a jiu-jitsu artist, being off of her back a lot of the times, Leonardo is actually uh, leading in control time at 1 minute and 59 seconds, while Gatto is 1 minute and 48 seconds. But she landed one out of three takedowns, 0 for 1 for Leonardo. Man, so no, I, thought, I thought Leonardo attempts. was – Stronger, so I and then surprised that Gatto stronger than her. Yeah. All right, now the live line is Gatto minus two hundred, but it, it's it's you can bet it now. Why? Because uh, the, the end of the round, I think the last minute they're saying the top minus three hundred. Just went up to minus that. three. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, I jam it at minus two. It just went up like literally. Oh, well, right don't right remind right me, right. Rusty. Texas judging minus on the way. Minus four hundred. Oh get the no, we Rusty don't want no Texas judging tonight. No Got Texas. Minus 145 for Ransky Live. I got fucking. And they're off. Nice low kick by Leonardo. Blocked though by Gato. They both throw uh, leg kicks like before in the last fight. And none of them ran. Uh, a little. I don't even know if you call that kick by Leonardo. Overhand right just misses by Gato. Gato's coming forward here. She's pressing. Nice leg kick by uh, Gato as well. One, two, or the one landed by uh, Leonardo. Fucking striking, Gato. She's a horrible striker. She looked a little tired too. A little labored. Both girls do, but the, both girls look labored when they're throwing, uh, throwing bows. Her strike is so kick by uh, Leonardo does not land. She's on her back foot right now. Leonardo is. Overhand right pops uh, pops Leonardo. Nice overhand right by Gato. Milliot's gone. We got 4.15 left in the second round. Wouldn't that be some shit, Nick, if we lost this ticket off of a KO? <laughs> well, Big overhand right again lands for Gato, as you say that. Not even joking. Double jab. One of the jabs landed for Leonardo. There was nothing on it, really. Nikki, you, you know what El Gato is in Spanish, right? A uh, cat. Overhand yeah. right oh. lands for Leonardo. Uh, uh, Gato, excuse me. She's chasing her down. She's hit, she's landing all these overhand rights time and time again here. Nice jab lands for both girls. Uh, what does it mean? Nice jab. No, you're right. It was cat, but I was just thinking of a different type oh. of cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got to yeah, tell you that. Yeah. No, she got that. Wow. Double jab by Gato misses, but she's keeping her at range. I mean, right now we got Leonardo circling around the cage like a scared little taper. Then a little check left hook, though. We got two, uh, excuse me, 322. 320. Overhand right just misses by Gato. Oh, good. Nothing going on right now. Little pawn. Both girls throw a teeth kick at, at each other. Nice one two by Gato. Nice one two. That stumbled uh, Leonardo a bit. Come on, don't knock her out. Either hurt her and then submit her. Oh, another nice fucking right by Gato. 253, 252 left in the second round here in our second fight. UFC 260, mother effing five. Let's go. You know, oh, nice little uh, teeth kick by uh, Leonardo. A little short though. One two misses by Gato. 238 left in the second round. Nice kick by uh, Leonardo Lance. Leonardo she's looks like she's uh, hesitant she's, for everything. She's fading. she's fading big time. Uh, both girls exchange. Nice inside leg kick lands for uh, Gatto and Leonardo. Changes stances momentarily, but goes back to orthodox. Front, Leonardo's front been knocked out two. twice by high leg kicks. I would love to see a high uh, leg kick here from Gatto and just knock this girl just, out. She just throw a high oh, overhand right lands for uh, Leonardo, but Gatto comes back with her own. Inside leg tap, I'll call it by Gato. Both girls exchanging the pocket. Oh, looks like Leonardo's starting to tee off a little bit. The one two is there for her. And Santo shoots for a takedown. But guess what? Who? Uh, Leonardo shoots for a takedown. Gato oh. sprawled. Uh, oh, it knocks it out overhand right. Uh oh, this could be the end of it. They're in the clinch right now. Knees by uh, Leonardo, uh, by Gato. But Leonardo uh, surprisingly just 
turns around, uh, puts her back against the cage. Got her uh, back against the cage here, two underhooks. And Gable grip, 138 left in the second round. You need to get that underhook, girl. Kind of hoping for a decision here. Yeah, me too. I see it going decision, guys. They don't have enough power on their freak. Unless she, uh, Gato submits Leonardo. That's the only thing I, I see know, happening. Man. Leonardo right, looks right, like right. she's ready to quit. Yeah, I, I agree, Billy. I do. Right now, she's yeah, circling. She's she don't breathing hard. Her. You can see it in her face, too. Over, nice jab lands for uh, Leonardo. I mean, by Gato, excuse me. Leonardo throws this weak jab back. Her hands are down. She's going to get knocked out here. I know for a fact. 108 left in the second round. Hey, don't speak into his existence. Fucking have some good. Overhand right. Just glances the uh, side of Leonardo's speak head. Speak that shouldn't do existence. Speak uh, it, like, big uh, shows that. Guys. And, you know, shoots for a takedown. Shucked off uh, by uh, Gato, but... She tried to go for the hip toss, didn't get it. Both so girls with a clinch right now. Face. Both girls with a clinch right now. 43 seconds left in the second round. Anybody that had that over two and a half, you just need another uh, 30 minutes in this fight. Nice side kick by Leonardo to the belly of uh, Gato. Nice outside leg kick by Gato lands. Flush on the knee. Nice outside leg kick by Leonardo lands. Flush with a jab by Leonardo. We have 23 seconds left in the Second round, 20 seconds left. Nice front kick to the, I thought the vagina, but maybe that was a belly. Um, both girls look a little tired here at the end of the round. We have almost 10 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yep. There goes my round one, round two, Gatto, but I still have, that was just a point one unit. I got a half unit on Gatto, so that's looking good. Yeah, 40 significant strikes for Gatto there, and uh, 26 for Leonardo. Um, not really too much, really control time. Nothing really happened for control time. But uh, she keeps on landing these leg kicks. I feel like Gatto is going to end up maybe knocking her out. 25 significant strikes to the head, and it definitely shows on Leonardo's face. Mm -hmm. And she's tired, bro. She's telling her corner right now. She's like, I don't got it. I don't got it on me. And the coach's like, no, you do. You do. You can do it. Yeah, like, hey, you need to pay me. Like, get out there. Hey, they get paid regardless. Tone's asking if her right arm is broke. That's a good question. He is holding her arm, but it's her left that I see. No, uh, he got it on her knee. He's got his, it was on her thigh. Uh, she's the type of girl I see quitting if it was broke. Oh, Gatto is minus 2,000 right now. Why yeah, that's it, why I why laughed at that. The ref is coming two. out. Oh, boy, the ref's coming out. Hey, he's seen it. Tone called it. They're looking this at her arm. No, this would be a knockout. But this would be a knockout by... Um, this would be a doctor it's stoppage. Bro it, it's broken. If it is a doctor oh. stoppage, I wonder what happened. It is. It's over. It's over. Great over. call, Tone. Doctor Great stoppage. call. Great call, Tone. So now I always ask myself, because I try to remember, I have Gatto round one, round two. Is that's this going to count as round two? Yeah, that's yeah. round is two. That a, hey, is that a TKO stoppage? Yeah, that's that is TKO. a TK TKO stoppage yeah. round two. Let's Let's go. Go. Because oh, round three did Sorry, not start. That is two, considered man. round Bullshit. two, though. I'll take it. I'm not in the DFS lineups, but, man, that's oh, a right. Hold up. Oh, Guys, man. everybody saying yes. We got money in the we chat. Will take it. Money in the chat. Good call, Tone. He's seen it. Fuck yeah, man. I didn't even. I wasn't paying attention. I'm glad somebody was. That would have been an easy live bet at minus 2,000. I would have put the truck on it knowing if she had the broken arm. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't long. I saw the 2,000, and yeah, then it was, that's right, then it was gone. That. I didn't see it. Yeah, wow. nice KO hit, Big Show. Wow, show good Thank job. Thank you. Little birthday luck. Fuck the yeah. It's an annoying loss. Look at Tom yeah, said cash it. No big deal. I didn't hit a plus four fifty. I can't be fucking. Should just took the money line. God damn it. Hey, Tone had it round two too, so he knew he he was like that arm's broke. That arm's broke. <laughs> what was uh what was the line prior? Free flop. Uh, oh, it was even. Oh, it was a pick. Yeah, right. That, yeah, yeah it went up to pick him. Whoa, they opened whoa, up in the week, uh, minus 142. What were we thinking? We took, I took even odds, hey. and I could have just got her straight up minus. That was so dumb to me. You see that what was, they're saying in the chat, that she wanted to fight in the third, and the doctor wouldn't let her. Yeah. Yep. Dude. They shout out to Nigel. He came in the chat, too. Billy, big, big fuck up on ours. I got even odds, and I could have just took the minus 110 to minus 115. Um, well, it was minus 142 early in the week, so I'd, I'd, oh. 
kind of thought it would be submission or decision. You guys want to help out, L? You guys want to help out, L? Here. Uh, what do you guys think of a parlay with Miles Johns, Alonzo in the field, half the off is of Keisha Torres? I wouldn't parlay up a female that's, fight. That's um, scary. I would stay away from the Torres fight, but that's I'd me. Stay, yeah. And I don't, I don't like, like Miles Johns, to be honest with you. I got those Santos. That's the only one that uh, the other ones I, I kind of like. But I mean, Alonzo, he's fighting Ed Herman, 40 year old Ed Herman. I, but Ed Herman's on a three win win streak. If he doesn't win, I, I like Alonzo. If he doesn't win that fight, then he's he done. needs to not be in the UFC. Yeah. He's Alonzo's he's cost me enough money to where I won't bet him again. I'm just saying, as a parlay piece, he's not bad because he should win that fight. He should. He should. He should. Okay. You're right. What fight Wait. do we have next? All right, next up, the Miles Johns fight, as we were just talking about. Uh, we got Miles Johns versus Anderson Dos Santos. Uh, record for Johns is 11 and 1. Record for Anderson Dos Santos, 21, 8 and 0. Oh. Um, both coming off a win. Uh, we got uh, Johns coming out of the States, Anderson coming out of Brazil, 5 foot 7 in stature. Miles Johns, 5 foot 5. Dos Santos, both weighing 135 pounds, uh, or it's 135 pound fight, I should say. 6 8 inch reach. For John's 70 inch reach for DeSanto. So we have two inch reach disadvantage for Miles Johns. 37 and a half leg reach for John's, 37 and a half for DeSanto's. Nearly identical. So, uh, other than the two inch height advantage by John's and the two inch reach advantage for DeSanto's, this is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty even here. All right. Uh, Billy, do you got anything on this one? Um, I got Anderson DeSanto's as the pick. Played him in a uh, thing do a lot. Um, Fade Miles Johns. When the fight first got announced, I was kind of – I parlayed Miles Johns. But then doing deeper research, man, I feel like he fades off in the later rounds. And uh, Dos Santos would be the one that I feel like is more live for a finish here. And I think the power is pretty even. And I give the grappling advantage to Dos Santos. That's what kind of led me to uh, Dos Santos here. Kinda All right. It. So, Billy on Dos Santos. Dog. Sharpie. A hey, shout out to the chat. We got 150 live, 78 likes. Let's go. Let's get to that 100. I'm trying to get higher than high, you know. But uh, Billy go. Mills, our boy, MMA locker room, he did an interview with Miles Johns. Or no, that wasn't Mills. It was who was John, Lynch. John Lynch. 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 My bad. Lynch, Lynch, one of the pub sports guys. So go check that out when you guys can. So I, I like Miles Johns listening to that interview, but I have no bet myself. Yeah, this is one that I'm – I might just sprinkle on John's uh, inside the distance if I'm going to bet it, but I don't have a strong feeling. I wouldn't tell people in the chat to tell me. I just it's a, it's a gut feel. William, I'm going to be here for the entire slate. We go fight by fight, brother. Uh, but myself, I'm going to go no distance here, plus one twenty-five. Uh, just okay. Well, that's not a bad way to look at it. Just take both fighters. Mm -hmm. I think he loves his violence. Oh, yeah. Irie Soul, what up, dude? Wait a minute. Man, we said that shout out to the chat, and we got 19 likes just like that. Let's go. My man That's backstage, shit. my man backstage out here looking like fucking Agent McKee and shit with the bucket hat, the cutoff. I love it. Yeah, if you haven't been to our, if you're new, we got Big Show in the back, and, uh, that's hey, y'all, I just want to let y'all know one thing. It's only oh. one world, one life, so there can only be one king. What up, Puff Sports Radio? F the rest out. We the best out. MMA locker room. They don't like you when you tell the truth. That's why I'm really than you. Let's get this money. Let's cash it. UFC 256. Catch me in the picks. Fly kicks always in the mix. Fast whips. Just new to this shit. Let's do it, baby. You practiced that one on the ride home. Hey, that was good. That was Ric Flair <laughs> shit. That was bars. That was Broke that shit down. Mills, do you have new tattoos on both arms there, or is that your shirt? Oh, I'm always no, tattooed right here. I got tattoos on both <laughs> arms. No, it's only right here. Like uh, your shirt. I, I'm, I'm like giving that. your shirt on the, on the shirt. I was giving oh, you a hard time. God. It yeah. looks like that. They painted that on, you know. That's the LeBron T right here for the people that don't know. You know, uh, you got to rep for the king. Is that an AJ? You already ranked that you were uh, DJ Khalid for cashing that ticket last week. Oh man, cashed it big, but you know, still lost on the UFC event. So you know, it is what it is. I still didn't get his shirt. They want too much. They want forty two dollars. I got this shit for thirty five ninety nine. <laughs> I love this. Save seven dollars. All right. I like two foot of one. You got two foot of one special? Hey, seven dollars is a meal and a couple of rats. You right. 
<laughs> a couple <Man>. rounds. <laughs> A little dollar menu selection and a couple wraps, man. Some dollars go a long way. Yeah. Hey, good hit on that I shit. Um, I used to uh, the dollar menu inside the distance. I mean, do you still got it, right? Fuck yeah. Nah, I yeah, I got round two in cash. No, I did something stupid. Well, it was in hindsight it was stupid. I did a uh, submission decision, uh, double chance, even odds, but she was minus one fifteen, so I just took her straight at minus one fifteen, fifteen cents. Oh. Yeah, it was just so I'm putting in John's inside the distance at plus 235, and I'm doing 0. 0.2 units on that. I love Ooh. that energy right there, man. I'm on Miles John straight, minus 200, biggest bet on the card, 2.5 units. Yes, I said it, 2.5 units. Played him when he was supposed to fight three weeks ago at minus 170. Now, no, I had to pay for that price because that's where he closed that. So I'm going to do a little bit. Also, uh, Miles John's by decision, I think I got that at plus 125. Hey, we are eight Five likes minutes. away from my fourth surgery. How much? Uh, point yep. seven five or two units? Because he was a big. What player. are you asking, Billy? I asked Mills uh, with the two and a half units. How much do you make back on that? Did you like take money line or did you put that shit in a bunch of parlays? Too? Straight money line. Straight money line. Minus two hundred. So listen to me right now. If he loses, it's gonna hurt me a lot. Okay, it's like me placing four bets. At the price of one, you know, if I lose this shit. So I'm all invested. My my night goes like this. Miles John and Kiesa. That's how my night goes. Everything else is nice, but those are my two biggest uh, bets on the price. Yeah. It's it's interesting that this uh, and I think uh you started to bring it up, Mills, that the first time around, when it gets canceled, Vegas already gets a good feeling for where the tickets are gonna land. And so they relined it. I believe last time it was John's minus 170. 160 or 170. I was going to say around 170. I got him out minus 170, correct. Oh, yeah, so 170, and now you're paying the 40-cent premium on him now because that's what it ended up at before fight, before they canceled it, minus 210 or something like that. That is right. facts, though. I hate when fights get rescheduled like that. It's like when you go to, like, a poker table and, like, the fucking dealer sees all of your cards – and you and you don't see the dealer's cards, and they're like, all right, we're just going to reopen it 40 cents later. No, 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 Billy. It's yeah. like this. It's like when you're standing in line for a shoe release, you camped out all night to be the first in line, right? Because they only got a limited pair. Camped out all night. And then they open up in, in the doors, and they say, oh, uh, for whoever comes can get them. It's not even a release no more. You know what I mean? And it's open to the public, a general release. And you're like, wait, but I waited in line to get this ticket. I waited in line, got that price tag early, you know, and now everybody else can get it for the same price. You know what I mean? Because it closed at 200 So it's like it's like those sneaker releases, man. Yeah, I hope you uh, cash your ticket. But if it doesn't, at least one of us wins. Yeah, I, I know you were. See, I feel you on this. You're really just taking the dog because everybody else is on the favorite. Because last time when this fight was announced, you wasn't on the dog. I was on the favorite. I said that to everybody else. I said when, I, when it first initially opened up, I parlayed John's in the uh, big parlay with the Bellator fights and stuff like that. But then just digging Richard, like d deeper research on it, man, he fades off a lot, has bad fight IQ. And I just think Dos Santos is live here, man. I think we're going to see a lot of finishes on the prelims and not the main card. Ooh, we live. We three likes away from 100. Let's go, boys. Get this shit, man. It's only one way to do it, and that's to do it. That's to do it for sure. Tisha Torres, I know that. Right. Hey, get shout this out, man. We got Jose Rojas, Hey Swaz, I already sold Dirty Reds, 22, it. Matt W. Wild Wild, Bruno Amarty, Nick Rodriguez, been down for like years now. Corey Humphrey, JD, Seth the Real, Austin Angler, I bet you got 12 underdogs on this card and you only got 10 fights. Ah, uh, Medium Buggy, <laughs> I see you. Walter Colson, Gino Hero, what's good? What's good, fam? Board Fat Thirty One, I see you in there. I, I see you. I see you. We got that hundred one likes, guys. You guys, yeah, the bro. realist. Nigel I mean, Lee with your, his biggest bet of the year to I finish mean, off with this. That's your first warning, Mama Genie. Yep. No. You, you know what? You didn't get a warning. You got timed out. By, uh... Well, well, no, nah, that was big me. show. Oh, did, did we hit our 100, Charvy? Do I see some work going on over there? Yes, sir. We hit that 100. Hundo, 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 hundo. What did I say? YG for 100. 
100. We gonna get to that three, guys. I know it. I wish we could play music on YouTube, man. It's just some some YG would be great in the background right now. Start vibing, start milli rocking. All I know is Zoe's been money for me, so he's on John. So just tell Zoe he's been high. <laughs> Undefeated so far, man. Undefeated. My fucking back, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, Austin just said Billy just made me take Dos Santos round two and round three. Okay. Wow. Be the best you know, Austin, you've ever set in your life. If one of us on the panel says they're on a dog, Austin says, I, I'm good. That, that's good enough for me. Mm. He loves Stamped his dogs. It. Stamped it. Habs J's new name right there. Let's get it. That's up button, brother. Love to have you, man. Yeah. Dustin, oh, I usually bro. fuck with you, but man, you're being very trollish today and very yeah. fish. We're here to cash tickets. It's us against the bookies, not inner com com conflictions between everybody. And you just, that, I thought there was an age limit to watch these streams. Yeah. I thought it was 18 and up. That being so, said, so, you're, Junior, you're blocked from the channel uh, for life. So just but Blake me. said that you're going to sleep soon, Sharpie. He, he, nah, he man. feels like you can't make it. <laughs> hey, check this out, guys. We don't dab the same, we don't uh. bet the same. And we definitely don't fuck the same. BBWs <laughs> for life, guys. Cheers. Shout out to the chat for that 100 likes, guys. I like to melt my face off. This is like the fourth surgery of Michael Jackson. The second one didn't work. The second one was this morning. We already melted the face off. What? Let's go, baby. What was that at the end, Sharpie? That was just a little tasty. Was that what it was? It just tasted good. The way you were, uh, just way the tickled when it hit your lips. <laughs> it's uh, it's what I do so I don't really cough cool. and die. It's like a mind <laughs> trick to, to like. All right, dudes, don't cough. You're about to die right now. See, that's my old school with Frank the Tank. I like the way it just tickles when it hits my lips. Oh shit! So you're doing it again. <laughs> Don't, don't yes. say that live on stream with men ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Frank the Tank. Let's get it. Next fight, Miles Johns. De Los Santos. You right, you get this one now, Giselle? Yeah, I got this one. I got this one. So check out the line. Miles John actually closed right now at a minus 240. So, I mean, I still beat the line movement, but God yeah. damn, minus 240, man. Bro, that's absurd, bro. Like how much line movement came on this fight after they reopened it. There's been a few of them on this card that just Fiziev. I mean, Fiziev opened up at minus 140 overseas. Now, we never had a chance at it, but it's what, minus three, over 300? Yeah, dude. This card is a very interesting one. Um, probably the most pick fights in a very long time, all month. Get it? Yep. Oof. Matt W going miles. We get to finish close to 30. Mills, you should call this one for uh, since since this is your biggest play on the board this weekend. I'll uh, go ahead, man. You guys got it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Buffer introducing Johns now. Dos Santos has already been introduced, so we're about sixty seconds away here, maybe or less. And for the people out there, Miles John has a little brother. Uh, who's going to be uh, fighting soon too? He's in a different organization. So, so uh, he's going to be on the Contender Series next month. That's awesome, Michael. Mills? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say, because I know the Contender Series is coming back next month. We're going to see a lot of people on that. Come All on. right, here we go, guys. 455, round one. You got oh, Johns oh. in the blue trunks and Dos Santos oh, in the Dos black. Dos Santos doing, dog, off the cage. Did you see that? Yeah, it was like he was going to use the cage to push off to like run right at him, but he didn't. I hope I don't get some Michelle Piera moments here. <laughs> uh, he starts out with Dos Santos missing an inside leg kick. John's moving forward. Dos Santos on the back leg. High kick by Dos Santos. Blocked by John's. Inside leg kick by Dos Santos. Lands. John's don't be trying to. John's doubles up on a jab. Both landed. Nice leg kick by John's. Four, four, Oof. eight yeah. left. Big and. Leg. Yeah, that was a big leg kick. Uh, left, a glancing left by Johns, and it looked like 
Dos Santos was going to shoot in, but he backed away. Wasn't a. There's a nice left lands by Johns. Three fifty five. Yeah. Johns looks left. good here, but he keeps on backing up too much. He does. Nice leg kick landed by Dos Santos about five seconds ago. Uh, they both swing, and it looked like both their fists hit each other or something. That was odd. Uh, nice overhand left by Johns. Three thirty five oh. left. Now John's moving forward, Billy. Front kick by Dos Santos. I don't think it got there. John's charges in and a horrible looking overhand right. It wasn't even close. Three, 18 left. Another big leg kick by John's. Don't be lying to me, Zoe. Don't be. And Billy no, I, I think John's is winning this round for sure. Mills. Nice left by John's lands. Dos Santos lands a jab, but he gets a leg kicked out on from underneath him. Oh, it's going to be sacrificed. If he if he goes three more times like that to that leg, it's going to be jeopardized. He's done. Another He's jab done. lands by John's. Nice dip. Yeah. Two fifty two left. Oh, a nice two punch combination, three punch combination by Dos Santos. Dear Slee Skay, I see you. Dear Slayer. Another another oh, left lands for Johns right on the button, and then a leg kick by Johns, Ooh. but he gets pushed backwards. Johns' is jab is on money right now. For sure. Two. He's landing that close. He's landing he that he short, too, you know? I mean, his jab is pushing him back. Like, when he I mean, lands it, oh, he's on stanky leg. Yeah, he's right. on stanky leg. That did, that back foot. Uh, that back foot, there's no doubt that back. hurt Dos Santos. Keep keeping that kick that leg more. I want you to kick that yeah, leg. Yeah, keep on good spider senses, uh, Zoe, because I think this is gonna go Johns inside the distance. We'll wow. see. Johns is looking good first round. I'm just afraid of the gas tank. Nice left jab again by Johns. Two minutes left. The Johns with another right jab. Now, I'm not afraid of the gas tank. No, nah, there he goes. Kicks like again. That one hurt. Another oh, he's like limping. Kick. He's limping. Oh, he's definitely limping. He just oh, switched stances. He just went southpaw. Dos Santos switched stances to not have his lead leg out front. Talk Although Johns is doing nothing with it, and Dos Santos lands two punches. And Johns circles and resets. 135 left. Johns is moving his hands all these ways. I don't like that. Just fight. Hey, I'm baked off my ass, but I think Dos Santos is winning this round. No. No, no way. You no, said it right, right there, Sharpie. Johns. You said it right there, Sharpie. <laughs> You're baked off your hey, ass. Hey, I might be in a different world. So hey, I said it first. <laughs> and I always keep it. I always keep it on honey, even if I got money. Uh, but nah, he's not. No he's he's in that leg. Right. Yeah. So Dos Santos went for a takedown and uh, nice avoidance by Johns. Dos Santos misses with a jab. Nice right hand by Johns lands. That was nice. Yep. Yeah. Can't fight if you can't stand though. Dos Santos is moving forward. He just missed again, totally coming in. Johns ducked and circled out. I don't like what I'm was, seeing. Johns is not shot for not any takedowns ooh. yet in this whole fucking round. I don't he want looks dominant like on the feet. No, he's not a feet fighter. He's not a no. This is this is bad. Don't no, worry. Dos Santos well. is a better grappler. Okay, guys, I was super wrong. He's out striking him like thirty something to ten. Yeah. My is not a better grappler. Really. Yeah, you yeah. might need to slow down on those Michael Jackson uh, face, <laughs> face mounts. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you well, nice kick that to that. Wrong. Oh, I like that little what knee. Yeah, it was a uh, front kick by Johns to the knee. And now he's chopping the lead leg at, at uh, Southpaw. So Dos Santos's lead leg is all jacked up. It's the end of the round. Let's go. He's man, limping back one. to the corner right now. We got Dirty Ranch 22, Travis Jones oh. Express, Terlansky in the building, JD, Ron Lofton in the building, rocking with a slush land, North Hinder in the building, Ronnie Laughlin, Daniel Burkett, Seth Burrell, oh, National in the building, uh, Bill Weathers, my man, been down since James Brown, Tone, Anthony Witherspoons, I see hey, you out Tom. there, man. Bonnie, hey, hey. Uh, let's see, who else we got in there? Cabano MX, looks like a new name. And Rusty Tancan or Tancoon, however you want to do it. Jose Roes. I'm looking at the bathroom real quick. I get it. Yeah, that leg, that leg right now, if he just goes hard on it for about one and a half minutes and focuses on that leg, he the fight will be over. He won't be able yeah, to. Yeah, he'll get a TKO. So. Leg kick knockout. You don't see him yeah. that often. 
Oh, well, they're looking at the doctors in there. So oh, I mean, they iced it a lot. And I'm sitting there while they're doing it. I'm like, they're in the middle of a fight. You're going to need to ice that for like 30 minutes. And then yeah. like, you're going to get a minute on there. You think it's going to feel any better? All that does is bring the swelling down a little bit. And sometimes I think it makes your legs even stiffer. So I'm not so sure. I think, I think it does make it stiffer. Well, look at the back. All right, here we go, guys. Round two. 454. Oh, yeah, two. John starts out with the jab that lands. Santos comes in to try to gamble, and John's just shrugs him off and get off me, little circles back around. I mean, his takedowns are those are terrible looking by Dos Santos. It's like maybe it's because his leg is hurt, but man, he has no explosiveness at all. It's because his leg is hurt, especially now. Yeah, especially now. Yeah. That that's why, because he couldn't push forward like he wants. So when you go for a takedown, your legs got to keep going forward. He can't even really yeah. push off with that, as I see when he tries to strike yep. you out. So we got 421 left. John's lands a left, and it looked like it wobbled Dos Santos is from the behind him, but That's John comes in and right. lands a nice one, too. Oh, another right. Oh, John's is swinging for the fences now, boys. A left mm. lands by John's. 406, a right lands by John's. Mm. Mm. Let's go. I mean, Let's get domination. Oh, nice knee. Nice knee by Dos Santos. John's lands a huge right. 3.53 left. Mm. Dos Santos lands a jab. See, we're not biased. We, we, we tell you what's going on. I'm trying. Ooh, was just, Dos Santos isn't good. doing a whole hell of a lot. Oh, you're good. You're doing this. Perfect right. Hey. I mean, Dos Santos, the one thing I'll tell you, he is moving forward. John's just moved forward and missed with a big left uppercut. 3.35 left in the round. Yeah. Nice left oh, land by Dos Santos. Oh, big body shot by that John's. Deliver, yep. Oof. A couple jabs by Dos Santos don't get through. Another body shot by Johns, and then they Those reset. Leg kicks, bro. Come on. What are you doing? 315 left. A doubles up on the right hand, and that had to hurt Dos yeah, Santos. Well, I mean, more, Dos Santos in on a single. Gets him up against the cage. This is the first time Dos Santos has been in this position. He's going for a know that shit trip. hurt, though. Nope, he can't get it. 255 oh, left in there, just oh, winging him. Oh, John's is just killing him, but he's still standing. Oh, big leg oh, kick. Oh, God. That one hurt. That, that, one hurt. That, was his leg. that was his bad leg, too. That was the front lead leg, yes. And he's limping worse now than ever. 235. Just throw him. Chop him down, bro. Your overhand right's not hurting him. He, that's what he needs down. to do is keep the leg kicks. He can't. It doesn't look like he can knock him out. He landed an overhand right. Uh, uh, sorry, a straight right and then an overhand right by Johns. Yeah, one on the couple five jabs by Dos Santos. Johns digs a left to the body, and, and Dos Santos falls to his knees and has to get back up. I can't believe this guy's still on the fight. I mean, I mean Dos Santos. I, I got to give him credit. He's still coming forward I'll on a bad him. leg. He's Kick limping. He should be kicking the inside of that leg now. Like, I'll, yeah. I'll get it. Well, he, he changed the lead leg, Nick. He's going southpaw now. No, he gets hit with a nice left hook by Johns. One fifty. Santos left. looks like Vicente Luque. I want to. I want him to. Seems like Johns don't just have kick. that kill button. Yeah. Oh, he or never does. He, 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 he fights to the decision. Right. So that, yeah, you can see it. Every time he's hurt him, he hasn't followed him to the map, bro. He's he runs back and lets him get up. That inside leg kick is, is is there. Is bad fight IQ. The inside leg kick is there all day long simply because he can't move his back uh, foot, his back leg anymore. So he mm -hmm. won't be able to, you know what I mean? Kick the inside leg. That's out true. Out of the That's true. We got one 19 left. That he just Another big right by Johns. What's that, Mills? Go ahead, go ahead, Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Alex in the chat. He just cast the over one and a half. Nice, nice. Alex. Nice. Cash it. All right, 105 left. Dos Santos missed with a jab, left hook by Miles Johns, and then uh, Dos Santos tried to take him down, and then he eats another right hand. Uh, All right, you need to just do some this takedowns. Like this a little easier. It's me off. High kick by Johns, blocked. Jab oh. by Dos Santos, nice front kick by Johns. 45 you seconds left. You got a live line out there, Nick? Yeah, right now we got a. It's got to be huge. Thousand. I'm not going to say the comeback. Yeah, bro. There's that inside leg kick you've been screaming for, Nick. By Johns. I mean, Thirty. Corner had to fucking yell it to him. Probably. He tried to throw it and fucking. Oh, left hook, straight, straight right oh, land. Oh my god. The, 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 the ref looked like he's close to coming. You know, 
Johns has him against the cage, and he's looking to land a left elbow. He missed it, and then flung a oh. crazy right hand that missed. Johns got 12 seconds left. Man, look at those left little short elbow. arms of Johns. That's crazy. That was like Another a Mortal Kombat right hand. Yeah, he's over the top. End of the round. He was Yo, he was yeah, going man. for Down. murder with that right hand, bro. If he would have connected, he was going to sleep. Down the fight right now for Miles Johns on here. Uh, how do you feel about the, the fight so far, Billy? Hey, you're acting like I placed a fucking ticket on it. Obviously, Johns is winning the fight. but I No, mean, I'm just asking your the opinion, fade, The Mr. fate of Johns is because of his bad fight IQ, and it's still showing here in this fight, even though he's trailing, uh, blazing through this fight pretty easily. He could have easily gotten a finish. He had better fight IQ. If he oh. kicked the inside part of that, I honestly agree. If he kicked the inside part of that leg, the other leg, because he's not going to be able to get out of the way because his back leg is already fucked up. You know what I mean? He should just yeah. walk the tree down, If he down, was man. fighting somebody who wasn't a bum and actually good, hell yeah, bro. My yeah. would be getting lit up because he's not even doing his game plan and he's not even going for the kill on anything. And the way that he's fighting, of course, but he's doing way enough to to, to, to get this fight a one-sided. And I'm just mad because, like oh, I said, he relies on his grappling. He's not using that at all. Yeah, I, I have to give mad respect to Dos Santos because I'm still happy with my inside the distance bet because he's taking an absolute yeah. whooping. That's all you can ask for. All you can ask for. All right, they, here we they go. They haven't hit the mat once, knock on wood. They haven't touched the mat once. <laughs> they are gonna hug in you? the middle of the ring. Oh, that's why I love in the middle of the ring, and Dos Santos almost falls over backwards because yeah. how bad his legs hurt. Yeah, I love to see that. Now John's ain't gonna go for the kill. 448, John's moving forward, front kick to the knee by John's lands. Him sitting probably fucked that leg up a little bit more. Yep. They, uh, they, they tell you in the corner, don't sit if your legs are hurt. You should be standing. You let the blood kind of pool up. Yeah. Nice leg. Uh, Dos Santos taps the front lead leg of John's with a leg kick. Yeah, keep 425 the left. Takes to the third round for him to start throwing some low leg kicks, huh? Right. Another light kick by Dos Santos lands. 415 <laughs> left to double up on the straight right by Johns, and they both land. Johns again with a straight right. Uh, Dos Santos looks like he landed with a jab. Oh, left hook and a straight right by Johns. Dos Santos is tougher than a $10 steak. That guy. Damn, Damn that local is this tough, man. You got to shoot that shit like 60 times before you can swallow. Oh. Damn. And then another big overhand right lands for Johns, and then a straight right by Johns. 347 left. Expensive. Oh, he's knocked out. Fight over. Yeah, oh, shit. shit. Let's go. Catch this show. Hey, Catch this show. Plus 750. Round three. Shout out to Big Show, too. I know he got this help. Oh, my God. Plus 750 cash round three. Hell Pop yeah. Pop on the screen, show. Pop on the show and celebrate. Let's go. Let's Damn. go. Let's hey, go, go, show. Woo. You're on mute. You're on mute. What up, boys? Cash oh, in. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, welcome to Plus 750. This is what I need. I was need. at a $10 steak now. Right? <laughs> you can just play for me. Just came through. Can I get the board? You jinxed it perfectly. So, jinxed it perfectly. Right man, I told chin. you guys, bet your lunch money, man. Miles Johns was my most confident pick. I've been telling y'all that shit for three weeks. Minus 200, 2.5 units on it on the board right now, man. One leg down in that fizzy off and gone parlay too. So let's keep going. F the rest out, Pubs Force Radio. We the best out. Fuck yeah. Let me tell you something. Chop that is Shout out to the ones that cashed that under two and a half. And that's and that's the only punch that could knock him out is that overhand right all right on the chin across you know not over that on the pipe but just overhand fucking right right on the chin that's what disconnected and sharpie you you hey, cast Zoe, that uh, I, john's inside the distance right with me no nah, i didn't bet that but i just told everybody to tell you because you're fire and Damn. that's what happened again Damn. there you yeah. go so I, I i told you elsewhere but um i like your jim ross ten dollar steak comment bro like Good old WWF. I, right I had there, heard right. it from somewhere. I had heard it from somewhere. I couldn't remember where. Jim Ross. There it is. Ooh, Jim Ross. Ross. Tougher off than night, a $2 steak. Right? So we cast a 750. We cast two unit, two and a half units, mil, uh, mills on, the, on, on John's. No distance, plus 125. Inside the distance on, on John's. I mean, 
There's a four for ways to cast the bet. I did do a prop though. I did do uh, Mars Jones to win by decision at plus one twenty five. I mean, I'll lose that little that little amount. Yeah, shout out to you, Mills. You've been on that play all week in the Discord. I've yeah, heard it all week. Tell him, yeah. right? oh, you were it's telling it. Paul today. Remember, we were telling biggest that, play of the right? night. You right? said Mills. we were telling that. Where we told, remember that juice in MMA is I'm like, I'm like, that's not money to me. I'm like, minus two hundred is fine. I'm like, you ask me what's my most confident pick. I'm not gonna give you no minus three hundred. That's the most confident pick that I know is gonna win on this fucking fight card. And I would have bet all my money. That's why I did it. Not all of it, but 2.5 units, like I said, at a minus 200. If I would have lost it, oh man, shit, you know, but I like I it. I don't think this I have my boy Maxwell me. Smart cupcake season. I don't think I have. What up, Max? Oh my I guy. With Miles Johnson. Max man. taught me how to oh. fuck with my eyes open at a young age, guys. Oh, that yeah. Sounds we, like we pretty much fucked with my eyes open on that one, man, because I seen that shit coming a mile away. Yeah, I don't, I don't got Miles Johns in any DraftKings. Me stop. either. That's Damn it. right. Hey, shout out to the chat, guys. We got 160 live, 110 likes. Smash that like button. Hit the share. Helps us out. Let me know uh, what the difference between Munoz and Johns is because they're basically the same exact price on uh, both websites. Yeah. So I don't know who's going to get it because I feel like Johns have more significant strikes. But Munoz got the earlier finish. All right. For all y'all people that ain't know, man, I need to go bang you some Aaliyah when you with your girl late night, man. You put some Aaliyah on, it's going down, bro. You know what I mean? What's that old school Aaliyah. Tonight? Some Aaliyah. That's what you got to do for the fellas. Random. All right. Next up, we got Kate Odie Osborne. 15 and 6 for Kate. 9 3 for Odie Osborne. Both. Well, I shouldn't say both. Uh, Kate's come off a loss. Uh, Odie's come off a win. Uh, looks like uh, Kate's coming out of Angola. And. Uh, Odie Osborne coming on from Jamaica, man. Uh, five foot five for Kate, five foot seven for Odie. Uh, both weighing 125 pounds, 68 in reach for Kate, 73 for Odie Osborne. Five inch reach again for Odie Osborne. And the legs, identical, 39 inches a piece. Let's get it. It looks like opening odds right now, or closing odds, I should say, right now on it. It was minus 200 to a plus 160 on Odie Osborne. Put them back on the screen for a second. I'm gonna pee real quick as well. So these two fighters, I right, way two different journeys in the UFC. You got Manel K, pretty much hot prospect coming over from Ryzen, served all the way up as a backup for the Figueroa and Moreno fight when he came over, weighed in for it, um, didn't fight, was supposed to fight Antonio Pantoja at the time. Uh, that opponent got uh, scratched out, ended up fighting um in his debut and losing looking real real bad i forget who it was against because i'm not off the uh off the off the record right now uh his second fight same shit comes back doesn't look good at all um that that loss right there pretty much i'll tell you exactly why i'm talking about it too i bet on him in both fights i was high on the guy you know uh but let me down in the first fight yeah exactly first fight was alexander patoja uh second fight was Matthias Naklu, a nobody that, that he should have ran through, you know, that everybody pretty much had figured in, right? Pay this guy a lot of money to come over from that organization. So now they match him up against Odie Osborne. Uh, they think it's going to be an easier win for him because they invested a lot of money for this guy already. So uh, on a side note, he's the only one that came in overweight, minus uh, I think he came in four pounds overweight uh, on this fight right here. So... That's that's a little bit about uh Manel Cates and Ode Osborne on the other side came in. Contender series got a win. Uh lost to Brian Kelleher getting choked out by a guillotine. Bounced back with the win over Jerome Rivera. Uh I'm kinda I'm kinda got my money on Osborne. Uh plus one seventy. Also have an interview locked up with them for this week. So it'd be better if he gets that win right here. You know, that'll make everything sound a little bit better on this fight. Hit it for me, show. Let's get it. We got my boy Manel Cape, as my boy Mill said, former Rising Champion, is looking for his first UFC victory. These are the keys to victories here for Manel Cape. Dictate the pace of the fight, like Mill said. He's got backing up a lot in his fights. He needs to let his hands go and defend the takedowns. Odie Osborne is a submission specialist, also a opportunistic fighter. I actually have Cape here as a sprinkle, minus 165 by KO, TKO. Just a sprinkle, not an official bet. But just a little couple dollars that will get you right. Probably pay off your pay per view for the night. All 
right, next up we got Millie. Well, I'm Millie. I got capped myself, guys. I got to. Uh, he owes me a lot of money, as Billy would say. You know, uh, it's more of a like. Uh, he's got to fucking win this. Mills even said it. Like they've invested a lot of money in this guy. This should be a layup. And then hearing that he's four pounds overweight, I love that even more. One pound, I'm scared of. Four pounds means you did that shit on purpose, bro. Yep. So I like Cape. I'm on him. I got him hooked to a gun. I got no distance myself here. Let's get it. We want violence again. North Ender, I got a sprinkle on Cape finish. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I'm doing an insta prop as well. I'm gonna do any other outcome. So as long as Cape doesn't win inside the distance, um, I, I'm gonna win the bet. So as long as he doesn't uh, Cape win inside the distance, I, I know, I know what uh, he's I know you're talking about any other outcome type thing. But yeah, also too, ODR is one has like a five inch reach advantage, I wanna say. Yeah. Uh, I heard him talking in the interview and he said, the difference with me is I'm coming to bring war. He's not gonna be able to step back. So if, if he doesn't meet me for the war, he's gonna fold. He was like, that's just the way I come in and fight. And he was like, I don't have no time to waste. He's a little bit older in his career. Um, so I look for Ode Osborne really to come out here and push the pace and try to get fight of the night, knockout of the night, because he know he's aware of those bonuses as well. So and 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 Cape, he's a slow starter, slow starter. So um, yeah, Osborne, man, look for him to be aggressive and he's ready for a fucking war, word for word. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if it comes out. This can be this can be fight of the night, man. This can be one of the fights tonight. Put it like this: this in the Casey Kenny fight. And the song you don't is, I think, going to be Canada's for Friday night. Yeah, okay. Right. You're making me want to go. Okay, yeah, I'm going to change my distance. mic real quick, guys. So go ahead. I, I, I did what you did, Sharpie. Yeah, I have Cape with Gone. So parlayed the two. And see, you yes, want sir, I get it. See how I'm we on it without even. <laughs> hey, somebody's gonna All win. Right. Somebody's gonna win. We know somebody's that. gonna win, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone can't be on the same side every time, bro. Sometimes when we have pub, some people be on an island. You know, sometimes we're on the island and we five people, one against one on our island. Can hear you, Nikki. Yep. All right, let's rock and fucking roll. You got this one, Nikki? So clear? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, good. Yeah, I said it was low. I changed mics. This other one might be going back. Fucking expensive piece of shit. All right, here we go. Odie Osborne, Manuel Cape. Hey, we'll start here. Let's get this potty rolling. Get Rachel, it. Let, me, let me know in the back how it sounds. All right. Odie Osborne, like Mills was saying, five inch reach advantage. Who's this new ref? Jeff Rocks Road. Rex Road. I haven't seen him before. You guys seen him before? Let me check him out and see. Nah, I ain't never seen that dude, B. Not my right? Nah. New around here. Here we go. He looked like oh, Kobe, man. He, Kobe Covington's uncle. Manel Cape ended up closing at a minus 220 on the board. 230. 230. 454. Nice leg kick by Odie Osborne. Talk uh, to excuse me. me. Uh, by uh, Cape. Apologize. Talk to me. Right now they're both bouncing, swerving, and Mervin. Not going right now in the middle of the octagon, both throwing each other out. A little jab to the bottle, the body there. Oh, nice one, two oh, by Cape. That looked like I heard Odie already. Oh, Who's got his uh, got his attention for sure? 428, 427. Right now, we got both guys sitting off. Got a little teeth tick there by uh, Osborne. Doesn't I wonder who's now. in Cobb's corner, uh, coming out of AKA might be Javier Melendez. I like the way uh, Cape's moving here. He's in and out type thing. That's actually how Rosa fights. Oh, I think Osborne might have landed the left there. Got uh, uh, Cape's attention. Right now we got uh, Cape moving now. Osborne coming forward. Outside leg kick misses by Osborne. 
And already, uh, yeah, Cape is looking a lot better than he did in those other fights. Nice man. step in overhand left by Cape, as you said that. He may be dictating the pace right now, but he's backing up against the cage on his back foot. That he is doing. 345 left in the first round. Both guys are moving a lot. Both guys are moving a lot. It's hard for them to hit each yeah. other. Hard for them to, to land stuff. Nice leg kick, but oh, caught shit. by – oh, nice shot landed by Odie Osborne as he catches Cape, uh, Cape's kick. No, the odds gone right now. Uh, Cape's on his back foot. He needs – I don't know. I think he has to dictate the pace and don't let Odie Osborne use his five-inch reach advantage. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree a thousand percent. Let those fucking hands go, kid. Let them go. Right now, nothing going on That's right now. Overhand right. Issue, though. Grazes Cape. Not his dome piece. Both, rising, both guys step in miss everything. <laughs> in the UFC now. 302, 301, three minutes left in the first round. Okay, okay. Both guys jumping around. I don't know. We might. This might be a lackluster fight because they're both scared to engage, to be quite honest. Yeah. Or it could be a don't blink. Right now, I mean... Let me tell you something. Odie is fighting with his hands down, down. I know so. it's so stupid. Yep. It's so stupid, dangerous. I don't, I don't like. Yeah, it's so retarded, bro. So retarded. I don't get why he's fighting with his hands down, but they both it's are at this point. Bad. They both are. Nice little. Uh, he's doing it there, way. <laughs> his right, his right arm is by his thigh. Nice outside leg don't kick. Do oh, it. Got it by uh, Odie. <laughs> Max is roasted. Yeah, he definitely is. Easy, Max. Uh, step in one, two by Odie Osborne. Just misses. What the fuck was that? Right. What? Hey, I can touch your toe. What happened? What the? Like oh, yeah, that. Yeah. What the, yeah. What the hell did? What did Osborne just do? Drop down to the ground. I I think he did the wiggle. Oh, nice left hand lands for Odie Osborne. Right on. Let's go. Point. And they're trading the pocket. Nice jab by Odie. Fuck yeah. Talk. Odie's winning this round, I think. Mm. And he's got Cape he's done as well. Though. And they got him checking his lip. You see Cape going to mm. yep. my tube He caught him right there in the lip. He's got good speed. Nice oh. little uh, kick. He's got reach though. Odie. Oh, he's one, two him. by uh, Odie Osborne lands on Cape. Talk to me. Wow. Talk to me. Nice. His reach Talk is just nicely, absolutely bro. better. Yep. Nice little kick to the belly uh, by Odie. He rocked right. his head like a piñata. Like, bam, bam. Was like, mm. Right now, Cape's trying to find his distance. He just can't do it right now. Let's go, Adi, man. Pop that jab. Yeah, pop that. Oh, big kick. overhand left lance right, Cape. Ooh. That's because Odie's got his hands down. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, I don't get it. Don't why get do people it. with always with a big reach advantage, why the fuck do they always fight with their hands down? If you just put your hands up and just punch like that, you would – yeah, if, you, if you're over here, you just throw from a you know a short distance. Nice little uh, right by Odie Osborne catches the side of uh, uh, Cape Stone. The only reason why certain people do 44 it. Forty-four seconds left in the first round. But he's not a counter puncher. Let's get but this. He is trying to be in this fight. I don't know what that was from Cape. If he was coming in to shoot a takedown, I don't know what that was. Thirty seconds left in the first round. Outside leg kick misses for Odie Osborne. Dancing, they're prancing. Yeah, this fight's gonna go the distance. I'm kind of oh, flying knee knocks out Odie, Odie Osborne. Yeah, holy oh, shit! Yes! Yes! Knocks, yes! Shit! knocks him out Knock inside out! the distance. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy oh, shit! I thought I could fucking hit him. Wow! Uh, step in knee, and, and then step in knee, and then punches out? right afterwards. Roll the dice. He wasn't holy out. Shit. He wasn't even knocked out. Yeah, That's it was the punches great. after. It was the punches nice. afterwards. He wasn't even knocked out, though. No, nah, he wasn't out, out but... Uh, Why did they stop it? You well, might not like the kid. He might not have cashed some tickets for Let's you. Let's see this we replay. Get on the bus, hop up on the train, because we're going heart balloon searching, baby. Yeehaw! Oh, I don't got cape on anything Woo! either, bro. I'm screwed for tonight. Uh, I'm drafting. This is everybody that played cape. So Finally really. came through. All right, Mills, I'm seeing the replay now. Let's see... Yeah, quick. Oh, that connection. Oh, big up. knee. He went stiff, bro, and his that head hit the camera. He was up. out. No, he was out. He woke back up. Uh, he woke back up? Well, yeah, bro. Uh, that he, he was right the on the fuck. His head hits the camera. Well, he wasn't out. What? Well, he didn't know where yeah, the fuck he was. I could, Mills, I could see the ref stopping it, the way he fell. Yeah. His, <laughs> uh, his <laughs> eyes. Look at his eyes. were in the back of his head. Yeah, the eyes were in the back of his head after he hit him. Yeah, he, that's done. 
Yep. Bro, he was grabbing at his body as he oh, was right laying on the canvas. Oh, that knee landed right on the neck and the chin. Damn. Kind of a neck in the, in the nice. jaw. Whoa. Kind of back here in the that jaw. That shit was nice. Damn. Austin Johnson casting the no distance and the under. Let's go. That's Rest what Kate Jordan. needed right there. That type Big of knockout. killing it so tonight. Now you can put him up against other people at lower level in the UFC, get some more knockouts like that, some more wins, you know, get your payoff worth it. But, hey, I, I ain't mad to see it at all. On that yeah, show. but guys, anybody in the in the, uh, in the the chat that doesn't think that should have been stopped, you got to – that's – that's that's after that knee, he followed up with a couple punches, and he didn't know where he was. I mean, no, this is when he when he came to him and started punching him. It looked like Osborne was like grappling, like coming up. Yeah, he didn't know where he was. Look at Odie. Odie Osborne right now still doesn't know where he was, and he's not even arguing the you know what I mean the stoppage. So no, I mean, man, don't even think that it it should not have not been stopped. So you got to remember that it is a split second decision by the ref, and I thought the ref saw the way he fell and that he was just trying to get in there at that point. I like looked like he recovered fairly decently, but he was he was hurt. Going to the ground. I like uh, I like this ref, this new ref, Rex Rode. He stops him early. Oh, I'm going to look for him. I'm going to look for him on these no distances. Uh, well, that joke is tall. tall. That ref is tall. Oof. Go ahead, Billy. There's been a finish on uh, every fight in the prelims, right? Oh, Jeff Slaughter says, fucker lost me money. Better cancel the interview, Mills. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm over here like, man, I ain't about to hit you up, bro. I'll wait till your next fight or yeah. something. Oh, Lord. We're, we're probably going to have a break, Billy, because I, I would think that they're going to. I'm definitely not having you on. Like, literally, I just looked at my balance. So it's like, man, I ain't about to ask you, man. I'll Go ahead. Fight or some shit. You got something else brewing up. We're probably going to have like a 15-minute break at least because it goes to the main prelim card next. Yep. Let's play uh... – Commercial, shall we, Big Show? The man on the ones and twos. Lost that underdog. One if you guys see top right corner, round one, round two, round three. I Big see show, it. Rounds going. Yeah. Sharpie, look at the thing real quick. I'm going to thing. You guys have a good night, dude. I got a dip. Sharpie, check the private chat. Oh, and then there was four of us. Um, um, all right, boys. What's the what's the next fight on the card, though? Man? Is it the? Uh, oh, we got shit. Karina, Jessica Penny. Uh, you guys Jessica, remember? Huh? Oh, Go ahead. is it is it about to start right now? No, I was just gonna read off the. No. list. we're gonna have to do just yet. What's up? No, I was gonna say you guys remember when Carolina was actually like looked at as like a hot prospect and shit like that. Yeah, like, she fought the for the title like twice, I think. Right. I think I know one for, for sure, once. but yeah, she came up and like, yeah, it was like, oh yeah, she's the new JJ, she's the new JJ. Like, I don't know no. about that shit. <laughs> All right, so we got Car <laughs> Carolina versus Jessica Penny. Uh, thirteen and six for Carolina. A lot of those losses coming uh, as of late. Thirteen. Oh, both girls are thirteen and six. Uh, Poland. Uh, Carolina is fighting out of from Poland. United States for Jessica Penny. Five foot three for Carolina. Five foot five for Jessica Penny. Uh, let both 115 pounds, 64 inch reach for Carolina, 67 for Jessica, three inch reach advantage. Legs 38 to 38, so identical in the uh, the leg area. Oof, this is gonna be a barn burner, guys. Yeah, th this is a they're throwing haymakers in this one, guys. So, uh, Mills, do you have anything on this awesome ladies fight? Man, so I got um, I got 
some different parlays locked in with this one. I got on everybody else. I got over the two and a half locked in with this fight and the Angela Hill and Tisha Torres fight uh, locked in with the Physia fight um, all over two and a half. And I got, uh, I believe, like plus 150 or plus 145. All right, so but you got tons of action. Side, I didn't bet any side on this woman's fight, you know, and I used to do, but not at all. The big one's the over two and a half, right? Yes, sir. All right, Billy. Uh, this is when the uh, main parlay starts of the night. I got fight to start round two parlayed with fight to start round two and Angela Hill, Tisha Torres, and Casey Kenny, Song Yadong. With Surreal Gone Moneyline at minus 127. So we just need these girls the last five minutes here inside the Octagon. I think you have a pretty good shot at it. Nikki. I'm going to live bet this one. Nothing pre flop. I mean, uh, I don't mind uh, a little sprinkle in the no distance, uh, under two and a half to plus 300. You never know, you know what I mean, what's, what's going on with these girls these days. But I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to let it suck me in. But watch your hit. I'm going to live bet it. All right. And I'm going with a full pass. <laughs> don't want no piece of this fight taking a fight off i haven't lost one yet and i don't want to lose this one a lock right, so who's says, prediction who's gonna win i lean carolina a little bit i i do think that she probably wins it but not a i don't they don't have enough faith to put money on it mills if that tells you anything you know i i, I get it right now it uh, looks like uh alec boss a lock boss excuse me penny parlay with loans of minute field he has uh, JD's got Penny in this next one. Bernie said, I'd rather drink turp and <laughs> turpentine and piss, <laughs> piss on a brush fire. That was awesome, Bernie. Oh, my God. Uh, Jose Rojas says, the Polish girl by KO. Gino Hero, he'll try to lie about it as well. Dirty rag, topology side pick. Penny wouldn't bet it with her with your money. <laughs> so I got and, Penny winning in my pick as well. If I was just pick up. Yeah, that's my pick to win is Penny. Yeah. Uh, if, I, if I had to gun to the head. Uh, real deal prime pass. Nick, you see the comment above? The comment above the, how old are these cougars? As somebody asked. I think Carolina's <laughs> Carolina 35. Uh, I don't know what the cougar range is, but uh, and, and Penny's 38. So Yeah, that's that's surprising, too. Carolina's three years younger, but uh, they're both getting in hey, the hey, cougar range. 36 here, guys. What are you trying to say, huh? You like say? cougars. You like Cougars? I'll fuck Cougar up. You know what I mean? Man. Uh, yeah, what best fight of the night. Come up here, boys and girls. Best fight of the night. So we got a few girl fights on this card. And, um, yeah, you've seen the first one already. Uh, it was Leonardo and Gatto. We have this one. Then we have the Tisha Torres fight. So, I mean, that's three, uh, three women fights on the cards that – pretty much uh, sprinkled in on this. Yeah, was and I, I might, uh, there was a comment up above there. Who made that? It said, oh, Daniel Burkhardt said the odds against Lewis are pure disrespect and ignorance. I have two parlays tied into Gon, so I might do a little on the KO for just to cover my parlays up. But That makes sense. We'll he, does not, he don't want a decision. He ain't subbing him. <laughs> no, the only way he's winning is knockout. Yep. It's an ACL. Knock on wood. If he wins a decision off Gon, that would fucking be Yeah, like, yeah. I haven't oh. even looked at it yet because I do think Gon uh, wins the fight. But you talking about, uh, yeah, main event. It's probably, it probably could be much different, to believe, uh, believe it or not. You know what I mean? If maybe 20 or 30 cents, I would say. Because yeah, I, think shockingly, Gunn, I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference. So Lewis right now is 40 ounce. Plus 265. Yeah, and knockout <laughs> is. Swaz, all faves have one so far tonight, I believe. Yes. Yep. Yeah, not that much different. Plus uh, 250. So what is that? But the hell, I'm taking Lewis inside the distance at plus 300. Why in the hell is the KO less than the – They fucked up. Yeah, inside the yep. distance is – Take it. I might just throw, like, a little bit on it just to cover the two parlays, but I'll probably still lose money if Lewis wins by knockout, but I won't lose <laughs> tonight. Oof. As long as you Maybe cover up some of the losses, right? Isn't that what we're looking for? Yeah, I, I re clearly think Gon wins a fight, but if Lewis winning, it is by knockout. Big show going. Round props, round one, 575. Round two, 800. Round three, plus 1,000 for these chicks. And either fighters. 
Yep, either fighter. Oh boy. I see he's got a new avatar there. What is that? The Tigers? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, that was a big bird. I want Dirty Reg says he's wanting club and sub against Gas Lewis to a Gas Lewis. He won't gas into the third or fourth. North Ender is winning some money on some CFL action. I I'm not that degenerate. I can't bet Canadian football league. But good I can't. You know, <laughs> so not happening here. I bet the Hall of Fame game the other night, mm-hmm. though. Uh, man, talk scissor. about it. Football Bernie, Bernie going scissor choke. Let's go. Oh. You see your boy Gardner, though, in the uh, news of recent? They asked him how does he feel about uh, Trevor. Oh, Gardner. yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm not Gardner's passing down at all. <laughs> Ed Joker said he's competing against. He said he's going for number one. He said, "Screw that! They got the number one pick on Lawrence. I'm going for the for the starting quarterback job." He the said, he said he "Number two is it. not even an option." He says, "I don't even take a shit around here because number two is not even an option." <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that he even thinks it's a quarterback competition is <laughs> funny to me. I think he's gonna get traded to Indianapolis Colts. I think they're gonna uh, sign him. Uh, I, I heard Philip he River, Philip Rivers might be coming back. Miss John Spizza, Torres, Chiesa, Pedro Minos, Parlay, Derek Lewis gain over two and a half rounds. Derek Lewis wins in round three and four. Just a sprinkle. Woo. Just a sprinkle. Going. You're going deep. The only one I'm not with you on is uh, Torres. I, that's the only one I think all the other ones I'm in. Rosa's I, I, thinking uh, submissioner story. by uh, gain or knockout by Lewis. Go ahead, Billy. I said uh, the pick is Torres, but I can't parlay up a women's fight. I can't unless it's uh, my girl that should be on this card. It was going to be the easiest betting card of the year, and she ended up having to pull out the fight. Unless it's Amanda Nunes, I'm not parlaying it. Uh, bro, you could bet your entire life saving on Nunes versus uh, Miss Pena. Screw her, bro. Hey, Wait, just had, off the couch, just had a baby. She don't got what it takes. You know what's weird about that fight? It hasn't even gotten rescheduled yet. So I heard the, November. The, uh, 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 fucking uh, uh, whatever her name is. <laughs> she popped. She popped up at the media press conference and asked a question. Was oh, like, hey, Dana, I heard uh, Amanda had a fake, uh, a false, a false negative. She was like, where? She was like, where's she at? And then she, and then she asked, when's it gonna be rescheduled? I heard November. She was like, well, I'll let you know. Well, I'll let you know. So. Yeah, even she's asking, man, at the fucking for, press. For conference. anybody that so thinks saying- Amanda is scared of Julia Pena. You don't know that. She is not scared of them. She's not. <laughs> so, so Mills, you're saying you're she had a false right. positive that you're it right. wasn't. She didn't that's actually. What she was that's what she said. I think oh, that's what, yep. That's what she Nunes said. gets her out with both. Well, like, first, so. second, third. Third is the latest that fight would go. She's gonna beat the brakes off her, bro. She's gonna knock her the fuck out in the first round. I would. I, I think when they do fight. I do think I do see Nunez losing at some point in her career, though. I don't see her going no. on to be. No, she'll away. retire. She, she's, 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 she's already lost. She's got Boy. losses in her career, right? No, she's sometime lost. in the future, I oh. see her losing one more somewhere. I see her losing one more, but it's got to be somebody that's on the same talent level as. Well. I don't think so. I think uh, she retires a uh, uh, how she is now, and or if she fights Valentina Shevchenko, that'd be the only girl. That's that what I'm saying. I think beat. Valentina is live. Yeah, I think that, Valentina can beat her. Yeah. I will oh, be wow. betting Valentina at plus money. So now Max Kellerman is a uh, UFC savant. He's a he's an MMA savant now. Also, you know, what, you know what makes me mad, though? Why don't they just do Dean Thomas and Daniel Cormier as a podcast Whoa. and replace Arrow Hawaii? Well, real yeah. quick, really, why is Chael Sutton in there? He was doing Bellator before. Did they hire him back or something, or is he? What's, he's what's always he been under ESPN. He, 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 they, he really must be no contract separately. where yeah. he can do both, Nick. It must be in his contract. He's allowed to do wow. both. Wow. That's a contract right there. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, it's fucking Charles Hudson, man. You, you know he's got the couple speculations in his contract. I, oh, I guess. You ought, I guess you ought to hear the story. He did a stream about how he, he got in contact with ESPN. He had a dust up with like Anderson Silva. Like at a media thing, they were walking away, and he came to the bar, and he was having a Roy Rogers. He was talking shit to some guy, and it turns out that guy's an ESPN exec, and he he says, "Can you tell that story on ESPN?" And then all of a sudden, he signed a contract. 
oh, after shit. meeting the guy at, from ESPN at the bar. Oh, man. So. Yeah, to, to build on it a little further more. So, exactly. So, remember when he fought Anderson Silver and Anderson Silver went to hug him and he pushed him away? He was like, I did that purposely. And it was like Anderson Silver smelled so good and he had his shoulder on my arm. So I kept smelling my shoulder. That was it. Yep. My shoulder. It was like, so and then I went to a bar later on, you know, and it just so happened to I'm talking to this guy. I told him, hey, smell my shoulder, smell my shoulder. That's Anderson Silver right there. And he tells him the whole story of how he got the, the armpit, you know, mm -hmm. smell like that from fighting Anderson Silver that day. The ESPN VP or whatever hands him a car like, hey, if you ever want a job, here you go. Hands him a car. And then he was like, I've been in the ESPN ever since then. Jesus. Yeah. Kale is a good man. storyteller. I have to admit, he does tell some good stories. Oh, well, that's true. And Kay Reed, you're like uh, Jack, Jackson, like Zoe said, you're 100% right. Steve May Smith is a freaking ugh, fraud. To he's, the a, he's a blowhard. He, oh. he just likes to hear himself talk. Yeah. They just put him there because he works for ESPN. It's not him just or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's just it's them being like, okay, we we, we want our biggest anchors to, to work this category, to work this subject, yeah. to work this story. So but that's they, all it is. You know, it's they, not them asking for it no, or I hear anything you. like that. You know what but I mean? But they could have they could have um you know found somebody different. Oh yeah, well, yeah, 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 they made a lot of cuts yeah. in the last year where they probably have to filter in some people in different sports. What did you did you guys know Stephen A makes more money than anybody at ESPN? He makes the That's most out of saying. everybody. See, uh, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, I would imagine they. He had, yeah, of course. That doesn't shock me. Because yeah. people tune in to hear him uh, speak, and they like him, and two people turn people turn in to hear him speak because they hate him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Oh, he's a great basketball analysis, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah, the whole going over to MMA, all of a sudden, once it gets hot and, and ESPN you know, picks he's it up. He's football, that's about bro. Me. I heard him say some real dumb shit during football season. He says a lot of controversial shit on purpose, which I get it. You know what I mean? Uh, to, to, like, rile things up and stuff like that in every sport, including MMA. But come on, dude. Stick to your lane. I read it was over 12 lane. Stick to your lane. You know what I mean? What you're good at. Because I after watching him, you see that that video, everybody in the chat too when you have a chance later. Watch Stephen A. Smith hit some pads. Now that's a laugh. Now that's a laugh. Anybody in this chat right now could whoop Stephen A. Smith after watching him hit pads. Yeah, it's crazy. It was comedy, man. It was real comedy. Comedy, comedy. Yeah, just like, man, I don't even know what Carolina's coming back for right now when I start to look at this fight, man. Her last two fights, we knew she didn't want to be there. She, she, and then she left. She left fighting. She's been training with JJ. So that's supposed to be putting a fire back in her. But to me, I don't get it, man. Like, you're going to come back in here unless you're remotivated. Do you need the money? Do you miss it? You know, because, like, when we seen you in the ring before, it didn't even look like you cared that you were getting beat up. I give it to her, though. She was getting her ass whooped and didn't look for a way out in the fight. Uh, it was like a, uh, I forgot who it was, but a lot of people thought she was going to quit. She didn't. Tough chick, but when it comes down to it, man, I I don't know why she's fighting. And you got the other fighter, Penny, on the side. She made a return and uh, robbed us of our money when she fought that girl from the Contender Series and didn't look good in there. So I don't know which way to bet in fight at all. So I'm just on the over. Yeah, well, that's why I don't want to bet it, is I don't know what Carolina you're actually going to get. Uh, I don't I think, think we're getting any. Yeah. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, real quick, I mean, this is if any if she beats anybody, it's it's going to be Jessica Penny, but she her career is absolutely finished, one thousand percent finished, not ninety nine point nine percent finished, but she's not going to sniff sniff the top five in that division ever again. No, not at thirty five years old. No. So that being said, um, I just think Jessica she has Penny a higher ceiling. Go ahead, Nick. Oh, no, Jessica Penny's 38. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. Yep. But I and think Carolina's been fighting fight. longer. We're going to have a big intermission here between those two fucking events. Well, that's yeah, what I said. I mean, it was it was uh, 20 yeah. minutes ago when the last fight ended. Yep. It's just done. It's about to start now. This is the time. Ram charges are about. Oh. It don't you leave out my. The early prelims to the prelims are so starting right now. Shit. Sure. Yeah, I mean, just leave my Patriots out of that, son of a bitch. And so if you guys was watching on ESPN Plus, you got to back in, back out. 
Facebook or the UFC. <laughs> Bill Weather says Penny can take a beating. I bet she can, if you know what I mean. Oh boy. Watch Penny lose by armbar. That could happen, Matt. That's like currently is like number I one. I know. Uh, That's my biggest trick. fucking concern, dude, is some mm -hmm. bullshit happening in this first five minutes. Damn. I don't need that, Billy. I would not need that. Please. No, no, no. I didn't even think about that shit. <sighs> Next fight Damn. goes to distance with Manifield KO minus 125. Get a hippo. I'm a little bit of myself, so good luck, brother. Uh, Call it uh, Carolina wins by decision plus 127 or any other outcome at minus 170. Ah, oh, man. That's... All right. All right. Here we go. We got 120 likes, guys. You're the shit. We're at 160 right now, 170. If you haven't hit the like button already, just click that bad boy real quick for us. Hit him the sub button, sub button. Hit that. But right next to it, hit that notification bell. We go live at least three times, well, two to three times a day on the average. Uh, for all sports, uh, MLB, NBA just ended. Uh, we have NFL, college basketball, college football coming up here soon. Uh, we got golf. We got stuff for golf. So whatever it is you like, we got. The one thing we're uh, lacking in right now is the women's uh, sync. Uh, what's it called? Synchronized swimming. Uh, I was watching that early uh, earlier on uh, the Olympics, and uh, yeah, there's no way we can cap that one. So sorry. Um, <laughs> but that being said, all the above. I like it. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Who we got in the chat, man? We got Bernie zero eight six, Austin Agler, Kenny V, Amon J, Rodeo Prime, Isaiah Bolton, Kenny V, Nintendo, Bone Quee Quee seventy two, oh, Eminent Hippo, my man, Matt W, Bill Weathers, Dried Spicy, Shredded Squid. Daniel Burkhart, K. Reed, Tizzy. Screw, my man. screw you, yeah. Austin Angler. Probably oh, sorry, horse sorry. Or a kangaroo. All right, Travis Jones in the chat. Joe Snyder in the chat. Oh, yeah. Good idea. I'm going to put that in there. Actually, I'm going to do that later there, Daniel Burkhart. We got one fighter walking into the ring right now. That's Jessica Piani. Whatever you want to say. Wow, you want to call her. The Jacksonville Zoe. This is your fight to call. I got the last one. He has, who is that? William Reeves in the corner. The I don't know. Fighter. Bray says, guy. Ben Austin. <laughs> God. <laughs> no. Penny Austin looks like she was built to take a beating that <laughs> with that nose. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. She that does have boy. that, like, Big Bird snout. You know, she looks like Big Bird from Sesame Street a little bit, you know, in her. Do you know her? <laughs> Says my prediction is Penny, aka Penis, is going to do her effective, ineffective, excuse me, leg wrap offense. All right, money on the dog, money on the dog. Yeah, no, to be honest, like I said, the to me, the fighter to win is, is Penny. Um, Carrie yeah. is crying walking out right now. She's is she's she, crying, you're lying. she's crying walking out right now. Crying, you're serious, dead ass, dead ass serious, crying. You'll see. I'm I'm crying inside, bro. She's oh crying, which, which means she's this probably retired. Oh my she, god! Nah, hey. She's gonna re she's gonna retire after this fight, win, lose, or draw. Insta bet right now. I'm making it money coming <laughs> in. I'm, I'm doing it right now. I'm not fucking lying, folks. I'm not. I lying. love it, Bills. I don't blame you, bro. Fuck. I'm not lying. I just I didn't see it at all. Like <laughs> what? That's everything I, I, I tried to fight for a championship or some shit like that. Or what? She's crying. She was walking with her flag. She was, I mean, you got you saw, right? Tears in her eyes, crying. I mean, the only thing that wasn't yeah, happening was tears dripping down the eyes, but she was all teared up. Plus 130, Jessica Penny. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not lying. I just put a quarter unit on it, man. I don't even know why, but. I, 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 I'm still staying off this fight. I well, have no idea. That, te that tells me, real quick, before I forget, because I'm a stone and I just smoked, that she's planning on retiring. On this fight, like I said, win, lose, or draw. Why would she be this emotional fight Jessica Penny? I tell you what, Jessica Penny's a beast. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, they was she crying? She's like, thank you for giving me a, a fight I can maybe win. I mean. She she, she just did a lap and then uh, fist everybody all the way around the ring, too. 
It's a beautiful girl, though. Don't know, yes. boys. Lines. Wait up. I was looking oh. at the odds. Where's it Plus at? I don't see it. Money. Plus money with a don't know. Shoei Tan main card. Are we doing Shoei's main card? But uh, for Shoei, it's nineteen dollars and sixty nine cents. Has Ooh. to be sixty nine cents. If it's awesome. twenty. I'm, I'm not doing it. It's got to be sixty nine cents in there. So if it's gonna be twenty, Shout twenty sixty nine. Shout out to Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda bets. Haven't seen your name in a minute. Nice to but see thank you. Thank you, plus money. Hope you're fine. Do the fucking shit, bro. Plus money. If you stick around for the main card, I have a good feeling Nick will be doing a shoey. Michael Monday up in the house. He's on Penny as well. Plus one twenty-five. It's one of Clint's buddies right there. Always in the chat. Thank you for coming, Michael Monday. Is Clint on Penny? I I haven't looked this week. I'm not sure who he's on. To uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Clint didn't bet this fight. X M O G. What's your name? What y'all? In the show with Monday. Uh, MOG, I like the under two and a half there. Ed does have a good chin, but they should be throwing it off. But you never know. You never know. And I have a mirror. We got you, Kevary. We got you. <laughs> well, Kevary's saying, speaking of donos, I should have enough to get a shirt. I, I think he does. If you like one, I'm sure uh, the boss will love this anyway, actually. Mills, I got a question from the public. Pick your, pick your shirt out on uh, pubsportsradio.com. The public wants to know why are you wearing sunglasses but not facing the window? Oh, bro. I mean, I just, like goes up in there, you know, like like when I when I'm watching fights, these are my secret glasses. Like I'm, I'm these are like an extra side of eyes on them. You know what I mean? So it's I like, think it's Mills. more of a fashion statement. You know, when you come hit mass and you touch back down to earth. Jesus, thank you. Nails, you could have just said bro. That's all you had to say. You know, hey, right. I mean, that says a lot. Right there. All right, here you go. So, you do. It's, it's probably yeah. like a, a, a syllable over. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got 453 to 50. Get my money off your face. All right, so. Oh, they're right in the pocket and slinging. They both land a couple punches right off the bat here. They need to chill. Yeah, because <laughs> they'll start out a little fast. Inside we, leg we kick. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Carol. Right? I'm not gonna try to say oh, that. I gotta walk away. I gotta walk away. Wow. Uh, 427 left. You got Penny in the middle. Oh, nice front kick that was caught by Car Carol, and she's Penny's down, and she's kicking her, but I don't think she's gonna want to go down with her. Oh, she does. She goes Everybody down. Everybody, show the fuck out. Man, why the she, fuck are you going to the ground? God damn it. She should right. not be going down the ground, Penny. That's what and I mean. And that's that there's backstanding and then guillotine attempt by Carol, but no, no that's nothing. So no, now Penny no, on top has Carol up against Cage. What and if you fuck? have money on Penny, you should be happy right now. I'm a little happy. I just need him to slow down for this. I need him to slow down too, Mills. This shit Why? You, you, just, you put the plus one thirty. Regular, oh, yeah, yeah, but Billy has first round finishes. two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I tell him to like three that. fights on here on my other book. I, there's <laughs> there's been nothing that the, anybody's been really hurt though on Mills, but I get what you're saying. Fight to start round two line was minus 12 fucking 100. <laughs> and you still put it in your parlay. No, 1969. 1969. Come on, now you know better. All right, so Penny has her elbow in Carol's neck, but to be honest with you, Penny's done right nothing now. from this top position. Oh, God, Bernie. I'm reading it right now. 3.05 left, and actually Penny's got up, but then she tried to throw a punch down on her. My man. Carol's got her trying to up kick here. Carolina. Carolina, sorry. 2.52. I love how Carolina's kicking her, her in the gut. Penny really not doing much. Penny coming back down into full guard, 242. Nice Smart. back fist by Carolina there. Yes. And the like ref's trying to get Carolina's feet out of the cage. She's grabbing the cage also. Like with yep. her and him up. And him up. <laughs> She's going for a knee bar a, or ankle. We got a game of twister here, guys. You know, I, I think Carolina just needs to put her hand on the black circle and she'll be good. You Carolina take going for a, a leg this lock. Is, this is an exciting fight. This is actually. You know, <laughs> you take away the names and everything. 
Let's go. She's trying to lock up some type of heel hook or something. Carolina is Penny. Just Penny is submission. She knows where she 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 can be and not be. It looks like Penny is going to end up in full mount. Wow! Let's and get this. Carolina gives up her back. Come on. And then they roll. No. She's going for an arm bar. No. no. One forty nine left. Carolina uh, wow. Penny's trying to get the arm bar. Wow. Wow. She breaks Carolina's the protocol. She'll get it. Job. She's keeping her wrist together. She's holding, you know, doing a good job staying yeah, out of it. Oh my! Yeah. One thirty-five left, and Penny is really going in hard for this armbar. Yeah, well, I just want to get my Fuck prediction me. right at least. I'll get my prediction right. Come on. Fuck the prediction. I want the money in my bank account. And now Carolina's actually been able to get a leg over the back yeah, no, of the no, head of Penny for a second. But still going for the arm bar. Now Carolina's trying to stand up, which is kind of awkward. Just stand up. Dude, she rips that arm away, bro. That's all she fucking wrote, bro. Yeah, yeah. One, 104 left. She's trying to get the arm away, but she's doing a good job. She's actually got – she's stacked up. Let's see if she can pick her up. She does. Oh, my God. She's been – oh, she's screaming. I can see her hair screaming. Oh, you, just, you just went deeper into that arm bar, girl. And then – Carolina went over and she's out of the armbar now. Oh, but now she's about to be in a fucking yeah. Forty-three oh, seconds triangle. left, no, and, and for the arm Mills again. has not breathed for a minute. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just a mad scramble. That's and a now, great fight so far. Oh, the armbar's in. That's it's it. In. Thirty seconds left. It's Tap, over. Carolina, don't let her break it. it. Over. Tap Penny her up with the submission. I am glad Dude, I did not. I, what I say. Under two and a half, it's uh, plus two ninety. Looks appetizer, but I'm not gonna fucking take it. It's probably gonna hit. What the shit? Wow! Wow! That was crazy. I didn't have anything on that on that on on uh, on that bet one way or the other. But I'm Car- pissed. I didn't take the no distance. That Carolina needs to retire. Oh, she. I think she retires tonight. Oh my god! She made easy work of her. That was easy. Couldn't get, she couldn't make it five fucking minutes, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Burn she hit that plus five seventy five first round. We were talking about uh, in the chat too. Carolina getting that. What about Jax getting that arm bar? She just got arm barred. I'm not gonna lie. Dried, I need, I need spicy with uh, plus four. She tapped the first time. She tapped before that. Look, you're gonna see the replay. She tapped before that, like right away. She tapped into I'm the looking, roll. I'm looking. Ready? Ready? I'm right. I'm watching. Um, maybe it wasn't a tap. No, it was not a tap. Oh, my God. That's popped out. Oh. I mean, he almost called it before she tapped. He, the referee saw the yeah. arm. Sometimes they got to save people, you know, and that would have been worse. But she actually looks like she's using both arms okay. Carolina just hugged her. Yeah, she probably tore some stuff, though, on the reel. You know what I mean? She just – adrenaline's going right now. Hey, Oof. congratulations. Michael one day hit the sub prop for a nice. unit. Nice job. No, not a single person here thought Carolina was going to win, so that's good. Well, I did, but I didn't bet oh, it. did? I just said I had a feeling that Carolina could win, but I was not I was not bold enough to put money on it. That bitch crying coming out to the fucking to the fight. Something was going on. Who knows? Well, she was dumb. She went down to scramble with her. I don't understand what Carolina was even thinking. So we said that right away. Why do you do? You know, I remember Billy yelling. Yeah, and like, that made no sense. The, going to ground with her right now. That was the only way for Penny to win the fight was on the ground or decision. I think she could strike whatever when it yeah win a decision, but yeah, like fucking, she just dominated the ground easy with her. What up, Tony? Trey Franklin in the house. Next fight under one and a half. He's going minus one ten. Tony, yeah, it's Tony Boucher. What's going on? All right, Nikki, you want to put up the screen here for the next one? Big Show, welcome to the. Oh, Big Show. All right, next up we got Alonzo Menafield, Ed Herman at forty years of age, unreal. Uh, ten and two for Menafield, twenty-seven and fourteen with one no contest. Ed Herman. Uh, both guys coming off a win. Both guys fighting out of the states. Uh, Alonzo Menafield at six foot height, and Ed Herman at six foot two, two inch uh, uh, high, uh, taller. Uh, both weighing at two hundred five. Actually, that's weird. That says that two hundred five and one eighty five. I got to double check to see what this uh, uh, what they're fighting at here. Uh, Seventy six inch reach advantage. Or excuse me, reach for Alonzo. Seventy seven for Ed Herman. So Ed Herman's got half inch on each arm. 
and then 41 and basically identical, basically identical. Other than Ed Herman is weathered at 40 years old. He's taken a lot of shots. Okay. What are you guys looking at? You guys yeah. Taking? So Mills, do you have anything on this one? Yeah, I got a expensive price tag. I got Alonzo Manfield, uh, straight money minus two fifty, um, and then I also got an insta prop. I got round two to start minus one fifty five. All right, Billy. Sorry, Billy. We got room. To, we got. We can. We can get some. Um, get, we can get it back. Rounds one or two. You just gotta give me like probably like two more fights to. Come. I hear you. What do you got though? Alonzo Manfield rounds one or two. You're probably gonna have to give me like two fights to comment out. Yep. Well, Yep. So that's right. the same bet I have. Is many field round one, round two, minus one thirty. Nikki. All right. So I kind of like uh what Billy just said there. That round uh that round prop. Let me see here what I can get. I, plus I got it yesterday. Three seventy five. That's not good enough. Um I, I took the double the one ahead round one, round or round two at minus one thirty instead of trying to Wow, I don't know. Wow, everything's juiced here. Jesus, Lord, everything I'm looking at here. Um, Yo, shout out to Plus Money, man. Uh, in the dono, dono, oh, dono. Oh, did he dono, dono again? Session. We about to bet your lunch money on that one, my man. Hell yeah. Get your lunch money on that one. Like this I said, is. it's expensive price tag. You know, it's that, it's that lunch that you got to save up for. Know that you did some good work that week. You know, uh, reward yourself right at the end of Pre the day. You know, appreciate that, Plus Money. Man, yeah, the, I don't best, know. the best one that could be Minifield TKO round two at plus six hundred, but then round one's only plus one fifty. If you go TKO, you know he's not yeah, going to submit. No, I not. Oh my gosh, uh, what's inside the distance? Back to back donos. Let's go! Oh. Thank you, Tony, guys. with the super sticker. My man, my man. thank you so much, dude. Next time, give us a message or something you want us to read out, or you know, if you want Zoe to bust some raps for you or something, you know, oh, let that's... us know. He, he uh, got you. You better believe it, Mills. I'm right there with Buster Rhymes and those guys, man. I, I can get it. I know you can tell. I, I'm trying to let them know, you know. I'm just yeah, um, I'm looking, Nick. So, inside the distance, is gonna be a little pricey, I think. Minus 170 mm -hmm. for minute field. I'm gonna pour the Alonzo Minifield and Fizzy together. At minus one twenty-two. I like that. I ain't mad there at you go. At all, because that's a that's my part. Yeah, that's on the board. I got it at minus one thirty on lunch one. Okay. Yep. Let's get it done. I, I have Fizzy up in the parlay, but man, Fizzy up is so damn expensive. I mean, Bobby Green is getting disrespected. Oh, true. Let's like this up, chat. What's your favorite bet tonight that you guys are making? Uh, I know you guys got some predetermined <laughs> bets from this week. What are you guys thinking right now for the rest of the card? Yeah. Tony, okay, says, Tony says he needs a rap for me, but uh, Tony, you do not want to hear my raps. I do not. No. Uh, that, no. that would not be pretty. No. Mills, Mills is more of an artist than I am by far. Give the man some credit. But, I'll, but Zoe, I'll, I'll, I'll some bars here now. it was my first time never hearing Zoe rap is when I got inspired. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was the best thing I never heard, you know? So I was like, oh, That's man. good. That's good, because I don't want to do it, because it would not be pretty. No. 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 Nobody should rap I, that, that has a Dolphins. I would say even Nikki. Wrinkle. You know that. Nikki oh, I can throw a better rapper than me. I could throw some bars out there. You can catch me on a on a on a on a on a, on a day, and I just rip something, fucking three, four bars. I'm like, what did I just come out of my mouth? I did. Yeah. It did. Whew. This is these commercials are absolutely delicious because it's uh, Pizza Hut, but they're fucking long. Well, long. what's happening is is all these fights ending uh, in the first round are killing us. I mean, there is literally the last two fights first round. The great Big truth. Yep. Big Back show. Bill, Bill, Big I am in Vegas. Show. I do not have my fireball here. That unfortunately, I'm in uh, on the road. You, should, you know what? You need to order that from the front desk. I guarantee they can bring it up. <laughs> you're, Gary, you already you've never bodied me in a in a rap contest. We already we already <laughs> talked about. We we'll go deep ways and di uh, Discord later. Yeah, be there, be square. I wish, Jake. I wish I was a white Eminem. I wish. I wish. Wait, a white Eminem. Eminem is white. It, that's a oxymoron. <laughs> oh God. 
<laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> uh, guys, both got me Kaiser and fucking Zelda. I'll be right back, guys. Roger that. Uh, big Show's going Minifield round two knockout. Plus 600, round three KO as well. Plus 14. Skipping that first round. And I get it. I almost did that as well. Walter Colson with a down. Oh, hit it. Hit it. There we go. Dono, 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 dono alert. Let's go. We got a dono alert. Shout out to the live one in the chat. You got Walter Colson. Gotta wear the shades when your bets are so lit. Let's go, baby. You know how it is, man. Alonzo inside the distance. Case of our sub. I play case of our sub too as well, just because I already got money on him. I think I only got like plus 450 or 350. I think, though. I need to check it again. But yep, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Let's go, wonder, man. If it's if they, they offer Alonzo a knockout prop, if it's lower, even by t by twenty cents, I would take it. But I don't think he stops running. You know what I mean? Hey, all right, here we go. So, what if I was to tell you guys? I'm just making my last little bets. What if I was to tell you guys on this fight coming up right now, um, right here, that one of these men is on a three fight winning streak. The other guy lost two of his last three fights who would you pick yeah, yeah i know alonzo but it's ed herman <laughs> you know it's, ed herman. it's one of those on there you know so, so he's due to lose stuff. so four fight would be the, uh, unreal what makes the eye always doesn't transfer over to the ring you know sometimes the big muscles and everything like that that you see from alonzo manfield sometimes doesn't play out give you another deeper story so big fan of this guy seen him fight uh on lfa before he came to uh ufc live in the event uh, he knocked somebody out viciously uh, in, like, the first or second round. So I've seen this upcoming ever since then to contender. The thing about this is he's never gotten better since then to now. So that's the only thing. So I don't know what we're going to see out of Alonzo Manfield right here, but we should see enough to get the job done over Ed Herman on here. Oh, and he better know that, like, he has to put a performance here. You know what I mean? He has to know that he's been lackluster in his – you know what I mean? He's got to put on a something. I think if what anybody exactly? remembers, most people remember Zed Herman. You remember, I think it was his last fight where he was getting beat, and then he yep. said they said he got kicked in the nuts, and it was a liver shot, and he should have lost. And oh yeah, that was, it was that's part so of that three fight winning streak. You said that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, that liver shot landed. Is, I remember. Mm -hmm. We're all live for that. Yep. Yep. It was against Mike Rodriguez, big underdog in that card. So I was just throwing it out there, too, to, to ask, because I like to play devil's advocate, too. So, I mean, is anybody betting Herman out there? Because I'll be honest, I mean, like, Lonzo Manfield, I mean, shit. Like, we we, we, we seen we seen what we've seen from him here, you know. And if he doesn't get it done within the second – before the second round, in the second, third round, he's a whole different fighter. He should still be good enough to get it done. But I'm just scared. Like if Ed Herman goes for those takedowns later in the rounds, you know, and tries to take his back. But anybody out there betting the dog on this one? If so, speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm on round two to start minus one fifty five. Oh, it's gonna be a banger. It better no be a way. banger. No if this fight goes way. to the decision, there's the there. there I can't believe this fight goes to Yeah, this, there's no way this ain't a banger. I can see it go, I mean, I can't, by a very small margin, but if it does, it's just because Ed Herman has a chin of, of fucking and, stones. And as, as we're saying that, Kenny's saying he's taking Herman by decision. Oh, <laughs> wow, by decision. Like, man. I got to see what that is. What is Ed Herman? <laughs> Yeah, but, I know Zachary. It's I would take it, but it's like minus three hundred almost around there. Herman by decisions plus four twenty five. Par, you know it's parlayable though with. And he's plus two fifty on Hold the books right now. Hold up. Yeah, I got well, I got plus two twenty now. Oh, I got. I see plus two forty five on. What's no? Hold on. Right now. Minus two eighty five. So, Fizia better beat fucking. That means I got to put a little bit on the on 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 green. I have, I have some stuff that finished with Fizzy of like six parlays right now. Um, uh, the fight not uh, inside the distance, Menafield fight inside the distance, parlayed with Fizzy of will get you down to minus 125. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play that. The fight doesn't go the distance. What's the odds on the fight doesn't go the distance? 280, minus 285. And then uh, Fizzy of it went down from a 350 to a 300. 
I got I, it two fifty in, in all my parlays because I did it like two weeks ago. If you guys remember, all the well, most of the parlays. But I agree with the chat that it is a live betting opportunity. If if Herman yeah, yeah. makes it past like a round and a half, if you're in the middle of the second round and and he hasn't Alonzo hasn't got him out there yet, it might be a good chance to bet Herman live after a round and a half. Mr. Sherman, Herman. And these lines are going up. So check this out. This is exactly like how the fight should have been. Michael Chiesa is now a minus 120 favorite. Vicente Luque plus 100. All right. So that's the line that it should have been. I got him at plus 125. But that line movement really just got pushed over. And then Tisha Torres, on my book earlier today, she was as low as 150. She's all the way up to a minus 160. So that line uh, pretty much uh, jumped up. The other three fights stayed the same. Casey Kenny line, uh, Rafael Fazib line, and the Vince Morales fight, and the um, Jose Aldo line. So, I mean, it seems like a little bit more money is coming in now back on Jose Aldo. He's a minus 115 favorite. Zero gone, uh, same shit. Nothing changed on that line. Yeah. I I just put in a little – I did what you did, Nick. This fight doesn't go the distance, and I put it with – my favorite fight of the night, which is Chiesa. I, I like Chiesa better than any other fight on this card. So, okay. Wish I'd have got the plus 125 you got with him, but it, you put the two together, it's plus 150 something. So, Nick, stay focused. Yeah, that same that same LFA card I went to, it, he fought on it. Dominic Reyes fought on it, and Curtis Millinder beat Kevin Holland on it for the main event. All three of those uh, people, uh, and all four of them made it to the UFC. But yeah, it was it was a nice little event. Well, it's gonna be a banger. That's all I know, and I think we better go night night. Herman's got twenty seven wins in the UFC. Seven by not go, but 27 wins. That's impressive. 81.5% finish rate. 15 submissions. Could Herman submit Medfield? He could. Of course he can. Easily. I don't think he will in round one, but he could. Easily he can. Mm-hmm. Yes, he fucking can, Nick, okay? Fuck. No, that's Oof, all I'm here we go. They're still showing highlights. They had to go a little ways back to find some mini field highlights. Man, he doesn't. He hasn't done anything impressive. Knocked out. I want to say Paul Craig and shit like that. But I mean, he doesn't have that real power that you would think when you see him. You know, and moves like a robot. Moves stiff. Um, you know, doesn't use his body like how you think he really should. So. I don't know, man. Like I said, I've been following him for a while, and he hasn't really just gotten better yeah. on anything. He hasn't corrected too many things. When he punches, he still looks off, uh, you know, doesn't move around better. Does, you know, the one thing he did do is this. He did slim down on his uh, muscle tone. Now he's a little bit slimmer. Instead of muscle mass, he's a little bit slimmer and trimmer. That's the only well, hopefully thing. Hopefully that will help his cardio a little bit because that's probably one of his biggest weaknesses is the cardio. Also, he said pretty – He's about to get subbed. Oh, man, hope I didn't talk to him to existence. I that could be a way to get Herman. That's why I was like, Nick, man, you, you kind of like uh, – that's all, that's all I'm I was saying. I, I got to read the stats off. They brought him up on the, on the screen. Her Herman by lose. subs, like plus 700 or plus 800. And he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu or some shit. So, I mean, he's – he has what it takes, and you know he's. Think about it now. Oh shit, he's old. He's forty years old. He ain't gonna try to stand out here and bang with this big ass muscle looking guy. He's gonna try to rough him up, get him against the cage, take him down, and you know win that way. So, man, that's the keys to victory for Ed Herman on that one. What, what, what do you think, Billy? If, I'm putting uh, a tenth of a unit on it right now. I'm putting a tenth of a unit on it right now. By eight, at plus eight hundred. I mean, just just in case. God board. No, I fucking hate you, Nick. Still kind of melting mad about that last fight, but uh, I think Metafield should get this done in one or two. Shake it off, Billy. Shake it off. I can't shake that one off. Because, like, I was talking to Mills all week, and I was like, dude, I got these two exact parlay odds, but which one's going to be safe? And could you fucking notice the Munoz and Gon one? I should have just went with that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? 
Who would have thought? Like, bro, who would have thought? You picked bro. round two to start in like all the fights, like, and this was like one of the easiest ones we all would think, right? The, the highest one for fight to go is the distance, you know? We all know it would. And what happens in the first fucking round? The lady who comes out I'm, crying. I'm like started. so mad, dude, that like I could, I could fucking throw up in a trash can right now. I feel you on that. Trust me, I feel you, man. Over two and a half on two of my big parlays on my other book. That's why I'm not really too, too limit because it's on my other book. So I'm like, once I got to look at that and pay at the end of the week, it's a different story. But, um, you Bro, know, right lose now. Lose the minus 1,200 in a parlay is just embarrassing. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that was a minus 1,200 in there? Minus 1,200 in the parlay. Right. So then, so, yeah, so, that's, so that's then not sports, so we're transparent. It. What was that minus twelve hundred? What's really gonna do? You know what I mean? Sure <laughs> no, that's what I'm right? saying. Before I think the same fights. I was like, just just damn, dude, I got this down to the same as I got this Munoz, but I ended up fucking still losing. Like, what the fuck, man? I, yeah. I'm so mad. It wasn't even like the biggest bet in the card, but it's just annoying, man. Because I didn't want to parlay this card either, and I thought I could sneak my way out of it, but it just got too cute. Too cute for school. All, good. all right boys i joined nikki i uh i couldn't help it so a point one unit on herman by submission round three at plus 2200 man you guys are putting that bad energy out there. if it's gonna go that long so i i, I can't 22 to one <laughs> but i still got the big bet on minifield. field no i trust me i, I know I, I I got lean on. I mean, I'll be damned if. See, I only got. I, I can't play no props on Ed Herman or anything like that to hedge out. But I'll be damned if I wouldn't tell you right now that Ed Herman ain't in one of these parlays on this board on this paper somewhere. So I got him in one of these ones stashed away too, just just to, just to cover. But nothing like that. I wish I could, cause yeah, if I could, I would definitely take a Ed Herman by sub mm -hmm. prop to cut just to counter. But we'll see. I mean, it, I still think Manfield knocks Oof. him out probably round one. 180 in the two. building. Hi, Mark. Okay, Let's fucking go, guys. Let's get this going. Everybody, if you could in the chat, hit that share button on Twitter. Mostly Twitter. That'd be awesome. If Mike Rodriguez can knock him out, I'm pretty sure Minifield can knock him out. And Herman looks a little, 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 little flabby. A little flabby. Man, do I need this bet to fucking hit and get this night rolling, man. What the fuck? You, you know one like person I haven't seen tonight, team. Nikki, is Bobby Landy. He's usually in here nice and early. Oh, my goodness, man. Who? Oh, yeah. Bobby. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got Matt W in the building, Ron Lofton, oh, Eric Rojas, Real Deal Prime, Juan Chavez, Dirty Rag, 22, Ben Quee Quee, 72, Chris Dromini, the man, no, uh, XMLG, X, Nigel Lee, I see you, Robert Cherry, what's up, Andrew Alijo, Austin Johnson, Eric Rojas, Skyro W, Jerome Ortila, Zachary, JW in the building. We got Plus Money rocking with us. And we also got Eminent Hippo, Daniel Burkhart, Stemi OG, Jesse Nunez putting plays out there too. Check it out. All right, big, big 453, 452, right. big black kick and overhand right Good lands for Minifield. From the center. Uh, the right almost clipped him. The leg kick definitely hurt. <laughs> little jab there by Alonzo Minifield in the center, uh, center octagon. One, two by, uh, the center. One two by Alonzo. The one catches him, the two almost. Took his head off the shoulders. He is uh, another one too by Minifield. Right now, center out to gone both guys. You know, Ed Herman has that chin down stance. He's okay. That's one thing he does. He keeps his chin down, kind of like Sam Alvey as well. He actually looks like Sam Alvey right now. Big leg kick by Alonzo Minifield. 420, 418, 417, 416, first round. For a light heavyweight, Herman's got some guts to it. And he moved up 85. And the big check left hook by Alonzo Minifield shakes fucking Herman's head. 405, 404. Ooh. Big hey, jab. Wow. That overhand right, though, was a little wild. Talk to me. By Alonzo. Talk to me, nice. Finish him. Nice overhand right lands on the side of the head on Herman. I think that one was shook him a little bit, too. Jab misses for Alonzo Minifield. 
It's gonna let he you watched go. the Rodriguez fight. He should know to go to the body of Herman. I think he goes to the body. He'll be done. Yep, he's soft there. Big. I mean, he's, he's literally soft. He's got there. that gut. He's got that yeah. dad bod. Been jerking those beers in this all the time. You can tell one of the nice right clips, uh, Herman, right in the forehead. Ooh, in the forehead. That got hurt. 325 left in the first round. Big. Goes to the body, like you guys said. Big liver shot yeah. by Alonzo Minifield. Digs right to the body. Keeps on doing that. He'll, he'll put, pull him, put him down. Nice jab by both guys. Herman's blinking a lot, man. I think uh, one of those uh, one of those shots clipped him and and, and shook him. All right, here we don't go. Don't ask, don't tell with a don't know. Thank you, don't ask. Yeah, don't ask, don't ask. Show, hopping in the show, like good show, guys. Keep it going. Let's go, man. Always nice show. jab, overhand right, just misses by Alonzo Metalfield. Let's go, don't ask, don't tell. Thank you, brother. Hey, Herman's uh, start, coming forward. Alonzo's on his back foot, but he's fine there. Herman Lazy like left Sam by uh, Herman as he shakes his arm out right afterwards. Herman looks like small and Sam Alvey. So I just said that earlier. You hear me? Damn. Oh, no. Yeah, no, he does. He does. 228, 227, 226. Okay. Okay. Lots of pawn on him, pawn on him, pawn on him. Big overhand right. I mean, he's swinging for the fucking fences right now. <laughs> he he missed by a mile. mile. He yeah. He's just going to fuck down. Check left, left hook for uh, Herman uh, to the body, I think, did not land. Pong jab for Herman if it does not land. Pong jab for Herman does not land. Both guys jab at the same time, does not land. Big jab for Alonzo Men if it lands right on the nose. Man, do I 158, 157, 156 into the first round or left in the first round, I should say. I'm not trying to jinx myself, but I can see this going through this. Nice leg kick. Spins Herman around like a ball of fucking arena. Spin him, spin him, spin him. Big check left hook lands for. Oh, I'll go ahead to take this real quick. Yeah, I got it. Got 132 left. Herman taking more of the center cage. You got Minifield uh, circling. Nice left and a nice leg kick by Herman. Returned right by Minifield. 117 left. They're circling. Let's go, right here. I like this pace for Minifield because he doesn't have good cardio, and they're fighting at a slow pace. Nice leg kick Talk by that Minifield. Pace, so we need that shit under 10 minutes. That's true. That's true. No, I'll baby. take the round two, though. Round two is fine baby, by me. Round two to start, baby. The cast is you're going you're gonna to get to round two to start unless Minifield clips you with one shot. You have 55 seconds left. All right, I'm back. 54, right. 53, 52. Alonzo Ooh, just circles. Left. Big left check hook. And Her Herman goes like this. Well, you felt what that means. You felt mm -hmm. it. That was a big shot. Mm -hmm. Plus money with a dono. Plus, Plus money with a dono. This is Herman's size, size dono. dono for Smiles Sam Alvey. Yeah, That's see? Yeah, Herman does look like Smile and Sam. <laughs> oh, jab by Alonzo. Herman throws a left. Does not land. Jab by Herman. Does not land. 21 seconds, 20 seconds, 19, 18. Nice leg kick lands by Herman. Ooh, Herman has, oh, big left after, after Herman threw a spin. I don't know what it was. That landed, though. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of the first Cash round. Shit, baby. What? Round two to start. Minus nice 155 on there, man. Should have put it on the board. I don't know why I didn't, but um, fuck, yeah. They felt like this. This fight could go the fucking distance. Jesus, Lord. Abino, take the under two and a half in that fight. That's the way I, I know that's the fight's like this. Events. The fights like this, people usually expect them to end this and that. I don't. You know, like I usually go for the round threes to start, but round two was right there, so knock that one down, man. So we got Eric Rojas rocking with us. Sabino Iganio, real deal prime up in there. Asking Drake or Vince, I'm placing a bet right now. Please help. So let's let's help him out real quick. What you guys got? Draco or Vince? Me? On my board, I got Draco. Uh, I'm going to lie a bit, but Draco will be my lean pre-bet. Uh, so. uh, I have under two and a half. That's that's the way I'm betting that fight. Got you, Bill. What was the question? Draco or Vince placing the bet right now? Um, Vincent. All right, there you go. We got plus money rocking with us. Real deal prime. Bone quee quee. Seven two. 
who we got up in there? Dirty Rag 22. Low key Mills, I kind of like the under two and a half and where we've been picking a side, to be honest with you. I agree. Is that the same as you, Zo? You said under yes. two and a half? Yes, yes. There you go. There you go. All so right, you, here got, we go. you got two people on. 450, 449. Herman coming forth. Those are big left hook, does not land. So this is the shirt right here to wear. Anfield don't know how to win a, a fifth, a uh, three round fight. He doesn't fight three rounds. Like, oh. Herman can take a right beating, now. though. That he can. 428, 427 to the sec or le uh, left in the second round. 1 2 lands for uh, Alonzo, but nothing really on it. Yeah, he doesn't. This is what I was afraid of. He looks real bad. He hops around. And Stiff hops jab off. lands for Menafield. Rocks fucking Herman. But Herman get rocked. He takes that shit. Sabino and Guanio with the super sticker, man. What's good? What's good? I'm loving it. Wait, let me see the picture. Nice jab by both guys. Four minutes left. Uh, there we go. That was the part by me. I thought Big was step in up. one, two lands for Menafield. 350. 348. Big donos tonight, man. We appreciate everybody, man. Even if you're not donating, if you guys are just rocking oh, with us. The whole Sam time, Alvey gets on top from a fucking. A, a, oh, wow. Manifold gets right back up. He tried to sink <laughs> a choke in, too. Herman did. He said, no, 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 no. 333. Big. Oh, rocked with a 1 2 by Menafield. He spits it out. Another jab by Menafield. He's got him backed up again. Oh, big right lands for Menafield. Uppercut. Overhand right. Uppercut. Overhand right. Overhand right. Smacking overhand rights. Oh, big ones! He's gonna crumble! Overhand rights! Get him on the uppercut! Holy cow! Gases. Don't you fucking clinch! The, Don't get gas out! Don't. Don't gas out! Stop! Don't gas Back out! Back up! Uppercuts by Herman! Don't gas out! He hit him with everything but the goddamn kitchen sink! No, he hit him with the sink. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. might have. Big <laughs> leg kick he lands by Alonzo. He might be gas now, guys, for this yeah. round. It might down. be that time to hit that uh, Herman live. 249, 248. Now, Herman's gas, two-hand cut. Fish, he's like, that clip. Herman's got that shit. That is bad. Trust me, man. I remember. Oh, man. Bro, he's literally nice check hook lands for Alonzo. Alonzo's on his back foot, but he's still there. He's a little. His, his legs look a little a little wobbly. Big left hook lands for uh, Alonzo. Okay. That's what I like to fucking hear, okay? Fuck. Man, I got two moves. Four, just taking everything. Yeah, Sam Alvey is, man. It's great out. Throw that overhand right, bro. Throw that overhand right. Alonzo. Thank you, Zoe, for saying that. It's got to be a good sign or something. Come on, man. You got two minutes to catch. You'll fucking take it. I big might... la uh, jab lands for uh, Alonzo. Overhand right just blazes the right side of uh, Herman's head. 156 left in the fight. In the or, Excuse me, in the second round. Nice check left hook lands for Menafield. It's there all day long. Fainting, bobbing, weaving. Herman coming forward. Not that big le uh, leg kick lands for Menafield. Right at the knee. You can see it right by the knee. It's red. It's, it's the whole vein sticking out. I don't even know what to call that. A push kick here by uh, Herman. If you have the over one and a half, that has cap. Come on, Menafield. Right. A nice right by Minifield clips the side of fucking Herman's head. This is unreal, bro. Hit him with everything in the kitchen sink there. Bro, I think I'm fucked. Dude. I think this is going to go to a decision. This is crazy, I know. Yeah. Minifield with his up. most uh, significant strikes in a fight, 50, and his most before his 39. Nice that leg kick. That hurt him. Oh, look at it now. Now it's really red. He's got a hematoma there. Yep. He's limping on it. Minute left in the uh, second round. Come Can on. Get him out of here, Lonzo. Oh, he's even trying to check Fucking he, go. Changed, he changed stances. Oh, yeah, that right is open. He just went fucking southpaw. That right is down the pipe open. You should see that. Come on. 45 seconds, 44, 42. It's right there, Alonzo. Come on. Throw it. Oh, my God. He threw it down the pipe. That that actually, I think that hurt him. That hurt him a little bit. Crashes in for, I don't know what that was Alonzo did. He got caught with a little bit of an uppercut by Herman. Not much, though. 18 seconds, 17 seconds, 16 seconds left in the second round. Fucking damn it, man. Alonso damn it. I'm going to lose much. my round one, round two. Dude, what? First loss of the night. Hey. 
Bro, I can't. Big over here left, fucking Mrs. White. Go to the body Ooh. next to went to. Oh, he just kicks him down to the ground. Oh, that might hurt. Oh, he can't. He can't walk back. He just hobbled back to the to the. Oh man, we we can get this no distance still. We can still get this no distance, bro. Holy shit. Dude, I can't find the bottom of a bucket to make a fucking shot today, man. God damn, man. Live, it's grayed out, but Minifield's minus 900. I mean, he won the first two rounds. What? Hey, oh. uh, do me a favor, grab this third round, Zoe. Okay. sitting here in a commercial i'm waiting to see if we can get a live line on this third round you know nikki what it's 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 on the prelim so we don't get the chance to bet like props on, on live right now i'm still grayed out all right here we go guys round three about ready to start Billy, mute, mute, your Billy mute your Discord. Oh, I can hear that. Oh, they're checking the leg of uh, Herman. Can I get lucky twice with the fight being stopped in between rounds? Oh, my God. That leg's so yeah. bad. There's no way they this let him fight. Round, this oh could my be round God. one that and round bad. two. That is fucking huge. Oh, they're looking at that is like He's healing for a broken bone, the doctor is. Bro, that's and bad. And they're going to let him fight. Go ahead and take it. Yep. Oh, I thought I might get lucky again in between rounds. I mean, he's hurt bad on that left leg. And then Minifield comes in, hits him with a one-two, and uh, Herman Smart pulls guard, but Minifield hammer fists in him. 445 left. Minifield's going for the finish. He's inside control. Herman's hurt bad. That's why he pulled guard. He had no choice to try to stand on his foot, on his feet. And now his only chance is a sub from the bottom. 430 left. Minifield had his forearm over his uh, throat. Just smothering him right now, Minifield is. Herman just can't do anything. 414 Minifield stands up. That's probably smart. Make him stand back up where he doesn't want to be. He can barely stand on that left leg. He struggled getting up. 358 left. And Minifield's staring at him. I watch. He has to take a little breath now because he probably can't breathe after all that action. Herman throws a wild right hook, and Minifield beats him to the punch with a nice jab. Minifield backing him up almost all the way to the cage. Herman looks like a wounded fighter trying to do anything. Nice left lands for Minifield, uh, and Herman tried to throw a kick. Wasn't even close. 320 left. Should be good, Billy. And not a lot going on. They're both in the center cage staring at each other. Come on now. You know that guy who said Herman by decision might it, it might be Minifield by decision, which is just crazy. It's fucking crazy. Look, look at his leg, bro. It's 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 he's got he's got two he's got two legs on his left leg. Holy oh, crap. Oh dude. And, and then Minifield kicks the other leg. Instead yep. of going for the right leg, he kicks the left. And he was almost standing like right even with him. Ooh, big left hand lands for Herman. Herman threw like three haymakers and landed one. And then Minifield landed jab. And now they're resetting. 235 on, left. Right, you can get it out of here. Come on, you can do this. That's, I would love uh, – somebody's got to get a finish here. Do you uh, got that on the disc score? A terrible check right hook by Herman missed by about a foot and a half. Check the uh, PC. I told yeah. you. But I didn't hit the Discord. Big head kick by Minifield. Herman bounces off the cage, misses with a check left hook. Minifield seriously showing some patience this fight. Unbelievable. Two minutes left. Yep. 
I mean, Herman's fighting on one leg and he can't get him out of there. Not a, a right hook that might have barely caught the chin, but it wasn't near full contact. I think one leg kick will put him down, and if he can't get back up... It would. I agree, but he's he, he's fighting southpaw because his hurt leg is his orthodox lead leg. He's not going to put that lead leg out there. He's missing with all of his punches. Nothing. I, while I was talking, Herman threw like three punches. He just landed one after they were a nice right left two. Yeah. But Minifield took it. 110 left front kick by Herman misses. Herman, uh, Minifield, another nice leg kick. Herman misses with a straight left. Significant strike, 72 for Minifield, 30 for Herman. And Minifield just hitting with a 1-2 right down the middle. Yeah. And Herman ate it again. Oh, well, there goes my poor little physio. With, uh, uh, I, man, I just I discounted Herman's chin. Same, so. He hit him with everything. I mean, he's I 40 years old, and he can still eat all this, and – He's going to lose a decision. 33 seconds left. Because I don't think Minifield has the power to get him out now if he wanted. No, Minifield no. just threw a, a oh my overhand God. right from his hook, from his uh, hips. And you got so Minifield by decision. Ooh, nice God nice you, one, dude. too, by Herman. What's that? Yeah, really? I said, if you have Minifield by decision, God you're bless the fucking you. mystic Mac man of the night. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Eight seconds left six. in the fight. Yeah, I got six yeah. seconds left. And it's done. Fuck. It's going to be Minifield by decision, folks. Oh, I want him to finish, too, because I have him in all my lineups, but whatever. Or almost all of them. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <sighs> Woo! I did not see that going the distance. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I cannot, okay, I can't if you had Minifield in a parlay, you should feel good. I'm back there now, Nikki, but I'll probably just be behind a little bit for the last two fights, to be honest. With you. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I think the real deal probably had him in a parlay or something, or maybe he bet it straight. <sighs> Motherfucker. All right. We already know what's happening here. We might as well go on and discuss yeah. this next fight, to be quite honest. This is the Dra oh, this is the Draco and Vince fight. This is that pick. I mean, you know, you're going no dan uh, distance on this, you said? I'm going under two and a half. What is the no distance here? Okay. And you and me, I like those... Uh, Two and a half minutes just in case. Yeah, I hear you. What'd you get no distance at? It's at minus 130 right now. Bro, there's not a mark on, on, well, maybe a little bit on the right side cheek, but left cheek. Uh, buffer's reading the decision, and it is Minifield wins if you had any doubt. Probably 30-27 is my guess. Yep. Vince Morales, Draco Rodriguez, 9-6. and six. On, Real quick, before we get to that fight, let me cash on this one real quick, man. Let oh, me get ahead. this lunch out the way real quick, man. Told you guys it was going to be expensive lunch on that price tag, but I ain't, I ain't scared to let it sometimes to get it. You feel me? Alonzo Manyfield, minus 250, closed in at a minus 280. Pretty much a one-sided fight, how, how minus 250 should fight. You know, wasn't worried, no worries in it. Uh, worries worried about him, uh, gas take issues. That didn't play out, so let's get it, baby. Bet your lunch money. All right. Oof. All right. Vince Morales, Jocko. Uh, we got here nine and six record for Mr. Morales. Jocko, seven and two. Uh, both guys coming off a loss. Both guys fighting out of the States. Basically, did identical in height. One inch uh, uh, advantage, five eight for Jocko. Uh, 135, 70 inch reach for Mr. Morales, 70, 69 and a half for Draco, 36 in the legs, 39 uh, for, for Draco in the legs. So 
That being said, this is basically identical. You know what I mean? And that's what the odds are based upon right now. Minus 110 a pop. So this fight right here, I mean, it's a live betting situation for me. I'm going to take the no distance like I just did, but I'm going to live bet the fight. What are you guys doing? Passing on this one, dude. I'm just having a bad evening so far. Just bad beats across the board. Had the Gatto by a submission or decision. That didn't hit. Also had uh, Alonzo Menafield rounds one or two. That didn't hit. So I'm just going to take the night a little bit slow. Uh, biggest bet of the night is on the main of the card. Um, I got my boy, I can't even say his name, Michael Chiesa. Uh, it's going to be my biggest bet of the night. So I'm just going to wait until – if that hits or misses, to continue it on, and I also okay. have Sonya Dolby too, so I'm just gonna chill out on this one. But I would lean under two and a half. And gotcha, I got gotcha. you. Oh, ten o'clock at the main card. We got Sin City Sarah stepping on at ten o'clock as well for the main card. There's still a lot of room to make money here. Still a lot of room to make money here. I appreciate it, Bernie. We'll be all right though. We'll live. We'll live. How do you so guys feel about the next you guys feel fight goes the distance at uh plus money plus 105 or fight won't go the distance at a minus 140. since well, Nick's usually the hottest with the insta props i'll, I'll kick it off to him first on that no yeah I, I was just saying that was that was my uh my my pre-flop bet was no distance minus 130. uh i know zo just said he's on the under two and a half i believe yep. he got like right around plus money plus 105 ish right Got it. I'm gonna look right now. I'll tell you what I got. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys in. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell what's hot. I'm gonna take the same thing. I'm gonna get it at minus one forty though. Only ten cents. No big deal. Let's get it. I get it at plus one fifteen. So there you go. That sounds better. Right here, Draco Rodriguez. Last time I remember, I bet on him. Uh, his first time in the contender series, he won for me. And I bet on him in his UFC debut, and he lost. Uh, the other guy, Vince Morales, man, I've been seeing this guy ever since LFA fight. Never was impressed with him in LFA fighting. Uh, still hasn't been too much impressed with him in the UFC. It's more of a fade, so I got Draco Rodriguez on this one. Though. But it's more of a fade just because uh, I don't like Vince, what I've seen off Vince Morales. That's what I did notice, though. That's, that's the one thing I will say on the weigh-ins. Man. He looked like in shape, like like he looked like he put on some extra muscle and stuff like that. So I will say that, like I'll give him a hands down uh, props on that. You know, at the weigh-ins, he looked it like he put on some extra pounds and muscle. So we yeah. might see a different fighter, and he knows that he's fighting for his job because he's the next to get cut with the loss like that. All right, big show. You got winning. Um, you have decision, and then a winning round uh, prop, or is your is your bet uh, the, uh, the fight to go to decision in minus one twenty? Both fighters and a decision. Both fighters and a decision. All right. Well, fuck you too, then. Okay. Exactly. Big shows against us. What a bitch. I got. We got Jesse against us too. He said over two and a half. We'll see. I mean, I need. That's I need action the, in, in every in every fight. And just there was two fights tonight. I wasn't able to get action on simply because there was no live betting opportunity. And I went into it live. Fucking. The Carolina fight, for instance. I was yeah. going to take plus 125 on Penny, but I just picked it instead of bet it. It's been a good night for me so far. Uh, you know, just, a, just above decent. Yeah, I'm still up a little bit. I lost a couple, a little few shekels on the last one. Last week was a fucking train wreck. If it wasn't for uh, the main event in the build and uh, AJ McKeever's pit bull knock on the distance, oh, I would have been a pissed pussy. Oof. You know what? Now that I'm watching Game Fight Volk, I think this fight, I think it goes a distance, man. I got this weird feeling. Oh, why do you do that to, to me, Nick? I don't know, man. I got a feeling like it could be like one of those like grapple heavy so fests. I got your back, so I, I, I feel you, though, Nick. I feel you. I, I feel that too. So I can am I gonna bet that? This. You know me. I can't do that. I can sit doing this, going over round three to start. Hint, hint, and then game wins inside the distance around round four, you know, round five, you know, so I can, I can see but, that happening, you know, so I can see how you can think that, Nick, but so it's a reality, both of those could be My only concern is with Derek Lewis is so far in the UFC, I would say the biggest knock on Derek Lewis 
has been he's very acceptable to body shots. And I feel like mm-hmm. Surreal God, who's probably the hardest body shot kicker in the UFC, Derek Lewis just might quit before. That's true. Uh, I didn't take it. I, I think didn't Derek take Lewis will quit. Like that's why I don't. Goes. Yep. Out. See, I, already got I don't see the not fight like going the distance. I don't see the fight. I even see Don can use wrestling and even some hit his ass. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't see this fight going the distance. You get no neck though, so it's going to be an arm or something like that, and that's a big arm, Bro, man. You might just tickle his ankle. You can't tell me you haven't seen Derek Lewis quit before inside the cage, man. I don't know, man. He hasn't I, been submitted yet, though, right? Uh, I don't think a, so. It's a pathology question. Yeah, I, sure I have to answer JP. Uh, yeah, guys, I, I got to go pay the, the dot guy at the door because this is an hourly motel that I'm in right now because of this outdated decor. So, right. yeah, it's a pay by the hour. Motel. You got to pay by the hour. Oh, I got you. <laughs> pay by the hour. Sounds like you got a lady of the night coming through. Yeah. Hey, no, nothing about the lady. But, you know, you got you got to save money where you can save money. You know, guys, put the shekels on the fights. You know, you don't need to stay in a... Five hundred dollar night room. No, 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 no. Just Google the New York, New York in Las Vegas. I'm pretty sure it's not uh, that. <laughs> Jake cheap. says he likes the wallpaper. <laughs> there we go. I love it. I do like the Fucking... wallpaper too, so not gonna lie. Uh, uh, no, the sheets. Lie. The sheets are clean, <laughs> JP. The sheets are clean. I I got a black light. I go yep. over them very carefully. Gotta make sure those uh, just stains are over your oh, pillows. Can you send me that link to the black light? Uh, where I got my black light? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I can send a little ad. So yeah, I live, I live oh in New Jersey, man. Go to Atlantic City, fucking. What's up, son? Yeah, yeah, you need to check the sheets there for sure. Fucking blood. Yeah, I got a nice one for you, Bill. You just plug it in the wall, and you know, just check everything out. Send me that one under fifty dollars. No one use so that shit can be a couple hundred. I see you, uh, plus money <laughs> body checks. I see you. I see you. <laughs> The hotel cost bigger, probably a lot, Michael. Probably a lot, but now he's fucking around. That so, would be so plus money saying, <laughs> I tell you guys, gain in round three, four, or five body kicks, body kicks, body kicks, body kicks, body kicks. Right. I like that though, because like how Nick was even saying, even me, just when the main event starts, I always sprinkle the round two and threes and the three, fours, and five. So, all right, especially on that one, I'm definitely doing that one. That's a definite. Eric, I'm just yeah. I feel you. Trust me. I don't bet overs. I'd rather just pass on it. Can't I, I? I like to have fun while gambling. You know what I mean? Kevin, I can, I'll full answer your question, but you got to restate that. Can't do it. I can do round props like what Mills does, but other than that, like it's just like second round to start. Third round's hard for me. I mean, it's a chick fight, yeah. But well, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, boo. Austin says that's why he's only pointing the camera up at the ceiling. No, it's because he had to different, uh, do a different shot, uh, like from his, the view, because it was on ESPN. So his TV was only uh, put in a certain way. Yeah, from the hotel. To get it to that. It's pretty hard to stream in a hotel, man. I feel like you got to like rearrange the whole entire room just so the TV doesn't go. Yep. All right. Uh, I'll take Vince Morales. And I like the name. I'm a Holland fan. Let's go. Hey, we got 175. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it was the same. 175 people up in here. If you all could hit that share button right now to Twitter, ex baby mamas, baby mamas, friends, family, invite them all. Uh, let's see if we can get this uh, past uh, 225. Be this past 225. I'm putting the uh, a good old beer in the boot. Beer in the boot. Beer in the boot. Booty, go. booty, booty, booty. You got a new boot? Uh, how'd that end up going? I want to hear the boot I mean, I mean, he's not new. No, I mean, you know what I mean. The other one. Oh, the other one I had to throw out. I put my yeah, hand inside good. of it, and it was this thick of mold and, like, slimy shit. And yeah, I'm like, what, 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 I've been do- what, what have I been doing to my, 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 uh, my system in the last two months? Oh, Lord. Did you uh did you hide into uh Mr. Tim's room and uh just grab the first boot you saw or yep. was it the chaos yep. selection? Nope. I just grabbed the first one, the dirtiest <laughs> one, and grabbed, just picked that bitch up and said, All right, motherfucker, that was, that's the new one. I wonder if your dad's ever gonna walk inside his closet and be like, Where the fuck are all these boots? Bro, he's got <laughs> so many fucking boots in the, from the last 25, 30 years from from running, running, right? 35, yeah, 35 years of commercial roofing. Shit. 
Yeah, yeah, owning a, um, a roofing company. Fuck all that. Yeah. That's a prostitute sting room from <laughs> Bernie. That's a prostitute sting room from <laughs> for cops. Oh God. Uh, Kevin Holland says, "Who do you have in the next fight, Daddy?" That was weird. Well, he said versions the first time. I, was like, I can't answer that. I'll answer the question, but I can't answer the question. Oh, oh, really? Did he? All right. So that being said. So who do you have? No, he's good, man. No, <laughs> we gotta get rid of that guy. No, who said who? He thought I was gonna do that. <laughs> no, he was. Jesus, don't jump into conclusions, man. Uh, I think Jim says, "How are we doing, boys? How you doing, brother?" What up, Daniel Jones? I, I will say, been better, been worse. Um, so this one's yours. Definitely. Yeah, I got it. Better. Call this no distance home. Let's do this. Oh, oh we, got our, we got our ref quick, back. Yeah, Jeff Rex Road. We, we got we got the quick stoppage guy back. <laughs> Daniel, I'll give you a quick example. I lost a minus fucking twelve hundred in a party. What up, Daniel Jones? Oh God. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go then. Yeah, Rodriguez in the gray and Morales in the black. 451 left in round one. Dab missed by Rodriguez and a leg kick missed by Rodriguez. Rodriguez clearly bigger here, guys. Morales clearly with a little bit of size uh, difference. 430, leg kick missed by Morales. Rodriguez jumping around a lot, not throwing much. They both miss with the jab at the same time. Got 415 left. Uh, Draco missed with a jab and Morales. He left his arm out there for a while and Morales hit him with a jab back. Yeah, just hopping around, not doing shit. Yeah, I mean, Rodriguez is doing a lot of feigning. Rodriguez gets a short left hand in and Morales misses with a wild overhand right 351 left nice jab by rodriguez that one landed yeah, yeah, 341 left night night time not a, not a lot going on guys uh no. morales comes in and finally gets in the pocket he he landed a check left hook but draco landed a straight left on him leg kick by uh, Rodriguez um, misses. Knock a motherfucker out! Uh, Leg kick by Morales misses. Knock a motherfucker out! 315 left. Nice uh, right to the body by Morales. Knock a motherfucker out. And a lot of resetting. Like they get in the pocket. Nice. Uh, Rodriguez caught a leg kick but didn't do anything with it. Three minutes left. Rodriguez with a uh, yeah, Rodriguez with a one-two that misses, and he misses with a leg kick. Rodriguez does land a left. Come on. 251. Morales comes in and I like almost headbutted his gut. Yeah. So, then, oh, nice check left hook. Yeah, Morales with a nice check left hook. Morales with a nice overhand right that lands, and they both land a jab at the same time. At the same time. Two thirty left. I think it hurt Morales more though. What's that, Nikki? I think I think that jab hurt Morales more though. It could have. His bridge of his nose looks a little fucked. For my under, I don't like the way that it seems to be a slow. I mean, they're looking at each other way too much. Yeah. Either one's going into the pocket. But I don't mind it because these are the type of flat. We get we sometimes get those flash knockouts. You know what I mean? The way they're you know, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Mills, you called this shit, dog. It's Morales is damn trash. <laughs> <laughs> Rodriguez lands another jab and circles all the way around to the other half of the ring. Like he's circling like 180 degrees around the ring. Morale is chasing him. 150 left. Like homie's chasing him, but not throwing anything. Like uh, Morale just missed him really right back. in the left, and then he lands a right in the left. Morale just threw cool. four punches and yep. missed two and landed two. There we go. Do something. The two he missed would have put his head off his shoulders. Mm. Yes. He missed the big ones. He hit the littler ones. Mm. Oh, big overhand right by Morales. Oh, yeah. Hopefully he can just fucking a little bit less than Draco. 
Rodriguez just not letting his hands go that much this round, guys. He's yeah, not he showing. Zo, do you think the ref so he got tired out this last fight? Uh, he's coming into this fight with a little bit of hesitation or something. It looks like it right now. I mean, it looks like he's just a little hesitant to pull the trigger, although he yeah, just landed a nice it. jab there. Because that's really not his fight style at all, the way he's fighting this first round. Now, now they get into the pocket. Morales lands one punch out of three, but Morales is the one that seems willing to go into the pocket. Rodriguez seems yeah. to be that's comfortable been... bouncing around outside. And I can't tell if maybe – oh, there's a takedown by – well, not he didn't get him down, but he – He's got a got his back. Morales has his back. I was just gonna say, and either guy have have, have look for a takedown, so that's why. I look, fuck it. Morales shit. is trying, but he's trying to pick up that leg. He, he doesn't do it. He gives gives up on it and lands a right on the exit. Good. Twenty five seconds left. Kick by Go Rodriguez sleep, misses. Go to sleep, Po. Go to sleep. I ho. think Morales is gonna win this round, guys. Go to sleep, Po. Shaking on the really this round, even though he did the little humping of the leg, that wasn't a fan. What, out, what I started to say is, I think Morales is cut at the hairline. I, I keep on seeing like red at the top of his head, at, right at the hairline, and right at the bell here, they oh. mix it up right at the end. And uh, Draco lands that last punch of that, that round. Hmm. I don't know how to judge that round. Be quite honest. I think it's Morales. I, I'm gonna guess if I look at a live line. It's gonna be I give it to Morales. I got money on Draco. I think. Morales yes, sir. Jan Jones on yeah. violence. You Shout out to buddy. everybody rocking with us after round one, man. We got Eminent Hippo. We got Seth Burrell, Daniel Jones, Dry Spicy Squid. We got Isaac M F, Tony Bays, Bill Weathers, J P, Saj UFC, North Ender, Walter Colson, Brian Lofton, Austin. Angler, Bernie 086. What up, my man? Kevin Holland plus money. Eric Rojas, Nigel Lee. Can't forget Nigel Lee, Michael Lindy, uh, JP. Uh, who else we got? Jake Kaiser in the building. What up, man? Jake said he couldn't wait for this card. I remember, man. Seeing you on Twitter. Uh, Real Deal Prime, uh, Keto XCV, and uh, JW and Anonymous. And Isaac, yes, we do this every fight card. All right, here we go, guys. Round two. I got 455. Morales takes the center of the cage. Uh, Rodriguez threw a little bit harder punches there. He threw a one two. I think he had a glancing left that landed. Come nice on, light boys. kick by Draco, but Morales trips him, takes him down, and Morales is in, looks like, uh, half guard. Yep, one in, one out. But then Morales stands back up, 428 left, and he's going to back up and let Rodriguez stand up. That's weird. He, he's, scared, he's scared to be on top control. He did that in another fight where he knocked somebody down. He was scared to get on top with him. He got it on top. And I like that, though. You know thing. what's weird about that, though, Millis? I don't know why he's so scared to the ground, causing to Ricky Simon. So, you know, he's definitely been grappling with Ricky. So, I don't know why he's so scared to go to the ground. Very weird. Yeah. Oh, well, Morales is definitely going hard in the pocket now. There's a leg kick land by Rodriguez, but Morales came inside. He might have landed one punch. A lot of wild punches. Nice That's front like. kick by That's Morales. Want. What's that? That's that? I want these wild punches in the exchanges. The yeah, so do I. So the now, they're, now they're grappling right in the center of the cage. Rodriguez backs him up, puts him against the cage. He's in on a single leg. Trying to change it to a double, but Morales goes all the way down to a knee to defend himself. Don't want this. Rodriguez is not going to get this. No. Nope. He's going to go for the trip it. instead. Hopefully, he realizes it. it. Three twenty left. Ugh. And like you said about that two on one earlier, he gets him down. Nice. He picks his ankle. He does. Nice. A nice ankle pick. But then Morales is able to get right back up. Yeah. But he got the takedown, so that's going to yeah, be a difference. Yeah, but Rodriguez is right back in on a single again, 258 left, and gets him down again. He's not going to be able to keep him down. He's trying to jump on his back. He can't do it. And Rodriguez is still working. He's going to try to get, get him down three times. 
it, it's a double. He's trying to do a double, but his hands aren't grasped. Oh, they are grasped. He does. He picks him up and oh, puts him down. Yeah, dumps yeah. him again. Now he's in half guard. He should be able to hold it with this weight where he is. I think he's going to be able to keep him down for a little bit. Morales goes to a knee, though. And Morales gets out the back door. Wow. And Two, up. 18 left, and they're standing. Rod that made Rodriguez work quite a bit for those yeah, takedowns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now they get into the pocket. Rodriguez does land a left to the body. Come on now. Come on now. You can see the redness on the back left shoulder of Morales from the cage. They both miss a jab again. I mean, it, I've never seen two fighters do this more often. Both miss it like over the shoulder. Morales, nice one, two, Lance. Jocko's plus 150 dog right now. He just landed his best two punch combo of the game. Oh, nice body work by Morales. Morales cut charging in. There we go. Come on, guys. Get at it. Yeah, 130 weird. left. Weird. Hmm. And. We get those rallies, and then they go back to standing at distance. Nice one-two for Rodriguez. One eighteen left. Jab by Morales misses. Two hundred minus three hundred live line on Morales plus two hundred comeback on Jocko. I think probably Morales is probably winning this round again, Nick. Yeah, I mean, he's up. Well, Jocko did take him down a couple of times. I mean, but then Jocko's volume is just one-two and done. Yeah. He just doesn't. Morales is putting more together. And Morales is coming forward. This is worrying me about my case a bit. Nice leg kick by Draco, and it was partially caught, and then he tried to land a one-two. I think he got at least one of those punches Morales landed. What I've got. Hmm. I mean, the significant strikes are close, 30 to 27, but it seems like Morales has landed more to me. I know, right? Dude, I'm shocked those stats are that close. That's got to update after this round. Nice one-two by Rodriguez, 25 seconds left. I'm going to have that half of the third round to go. Damn it. It could yeah. be because he's just backing up the whole entire time, bouncing. Uh, Rodriguez forward. lands a two-punch combo, 15 seconds left. Morales comes in and eats a shovel uppercut. Nice yeah. left and uppercut. Eight seconds left. Hey, shout out. It looks like we got a new chat, chat viewer. It looks like uh, Justin J4Y. Howdy, fellas. Hello, chat. Looks like a new name up in the chat. What up? What I up, think Drucko stole that one. You think so? I think it was 1 1. Yep. I hope plus so. 180 to pl uh, minus 270 now. It was plus 200. So let's I'm ask with you, Ron. I am not feeling good about my under two and a half, Ron. I'd not let's ask the chat what they I'm think. If you guys think uh, Morales is winning, won that round. Put number one if you think Draco won that round for number two. I no, think personally Morales is up two to zero, but knowing the judges, it's definitely closer to one to one than it is closer to two. To yeah, two. they're taking their head next round wins it. Yeah. Morales is minus two hundred and Draco's plus one fifty. It just changed. Money's coming in on Draco. Like I agree with a uh, mod's uh comment right there. He said uh Morales two oh, he's just putting more pressure in the way more the aggressor. And I agree, man. I just don't know if the judge is He's, so he's wearing say. a little bit more on the face, Morales is. And he got those two takedowns and ended the round with some good strikes. And that, I don't, it, that round looked even to me. I, I think it could be a split decision easily after how close that second round was. For sure. So, That's what I think it is. No matter what I we're saying, right now, I can easily see it. Two zero. The Morales judges or maybe one one. I, but I'm thinking like the judges right now. I, I think the judges got a one one. All right, here we go, guys. Four fifty one left. Draco lands a jab to start off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Morales lands a two punch combo to the body. Throws an overhand right that's blocked. A right hand by Rodriguez that misses. Rodriguez, nice looking check hook, but missed with it. Come on now. They, Rodriguez misses a jab and he eats a right because of it. Yeah, Morales is leading the fight. You know, he has Drake on the back pedal the whole fight. So, I mean, I think Morales is yep. going to win the fight, you know? Go to sleep, ho. Yeah, these guys aren't throwing power, they're just throwing precision. I agree, Mills. 4.08 left. I got a minute 35. I'm going to take Any this chance? 
Brown under two and a half is definitely not hitting. What's that? I said the under two and a half is definitely not going to hit. The way no distance in him either. That's what I got. It's not even Some a fight. Like a have to happen. Live sparring match. Put this on the early prelims. Why is this on the prelims? Yeah. 343 left. I mean, shoot, they're touching each other's gloves. Like, they just touched each other's gloves. I mean, are you in there to fight or to do a sparring match? Now uh, Morales put together a nice three-punch combo that backs Rodriguez up against the cage. And then Morales signals him to come back to more towards the center with his right hand. Dude, this is at even odds right now. And plus 135 to minus 175 just went to. It was even odds. Why? Ago. I don't know. Rodriguez just lands a nice right to the body. If it opens back Rodriguez up, I'll take Vince. In the next 20 seconds, Nick. I'll take Vince right now if it opens back up. Please, two, minus 200. I okay. like that they stole my my chicken. Three minutes left. Rodriguez doubles up on the left hand and lands a right. The three-punch combo, that's the most punches – Rodriguez okay. thrown together this whole fight. Nice Rodriguez choice. misses with a right. They come in to grapple. Rodriguez does land a nice right left to the body and a right to the head. Rodriguez fight IQ idiot. Didn't shoot for no takedowns after he actually had one in the second round. Could have made it that type of fight in this third round. On it on the back pedal the whole fucking fight. So, I mean, it's easy to see. And if you're on the over two and a half, cash it, and my bet is down the drain. Well, mine is as well. I can tell these guys don't have enough to put each other out. 217 left. Morales, charging forward, does land a right and lands a knee to the head. And then they separate again. I wish I would have known they were going to fight this way. Honestly, I could see the first robbery of the night happening. Oh, yeah, they stared at each other a lot in the first round. Well, no. Nah. Morales got this one. It's not even. Yeah. Right. Morales in on a double leg. He does have his hands clasped together. He, he's just not hey, tall enough. To pick him up. Is, he cast that over two and a half. That's what's yeah, I knew. I remember somebody had the over. Yeah. Nice. Hey. No, have you cast it? With the black. Oh, the the oh, Jesse Nunes? Get it. Chicago White Sox. And At least somebody won. I think we got five likes to 150. Let's get that shit with a big-ass titty. Oh, nice one-two for Morales. One fifteen left. Left lands for Morales, and he misses with a wild overhand right. Morales with two shots to the body, and Draco just circles out. I mean, he's just not busy enough. He's just a little bitch. I feel you, but Draco's late cardio looks fine. It's just he's not throwing it. Enough. He's not. I mean, he looks. He doesn't look winded, but he's not throwing. He's not letting his punches go. So and then Morales just perfect. threw three punches, like two body shot. I mean, Morales is just peppering him. It looks like one fighter just got signed to the UFC, and the other fighter knows he can get cut from the UFC after this fight. Yep. True that. True that. It, if well, if Morales doesn't win this. There's Texas judges are. Sure. Well, Morales has 64 strikes to 51 for Rodriguez. And it feels like more than that because of how he's moving forward, Mills. Nice body exactly. kick by Rodriguez, exactly. and then he eats two punches. Yeah, nice by him moving look. forward, it makes it even more, you know. Yeah, I mean, those, those that makes it look closer than it is watching it. Nice body shots, overhand right oh, to the nice, body. Nice, oh, yeah, overhand I mean, right. They're scrapping here with eight seconds left. And... Morales just misses the left and right, goes right in the pocket. Nice uppercut lands for Rodriguez, and that's the end of the fight. Oh, last punch landed by Morales, too, overhand right. Yeah, Morales had an overhand right right at the end. But I think, think it's going to be two rounds. Do you think they robbed me? I'm, I'm, uh, I got the minus 200. Do you think I'm getting robbed here? No. No. I think you're going to win. I thought I they won that round, too. Split decision, 29-28, I think. Mm, Draco's a bum. Or all team. three judges, I mean, 29 With a capital B. Draco is a bum. Me, uh, me and Brady were talking about it earlier this week that Draco could be the one that's overrated. Did you see how he was moving around so in the first round before you before he decided to fight? How he just start yeah. bouncing around? Like, yeah, man. Anonymous, yeah. I would say she's top 10, but I wouldn't say number one. Oh, thank you, Daniel Jones, with the dono. 
Not Daniel, Daniel Jones, Jones, the quarterback. Jones. Hey, thank you, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for tuning in, man. Let's make some more money. Uh, look, Jay Kaiser goes, Judge is going to screw you. <laughs> oh, fuck. There we go. Hippo, come in the night, man. Jericho felt like he was up two rounds. Dead ass, though. Yeah, he, yeah, I mean, he. it was just a bad fight for him. Period. I mean, uh, Vince, you seen what he didn't do. You know what I mean? Nothing impressive. So it was just like two bums, a bum fight. You know how, like, when you see bums fighting the alley and shit over cartons? Oh, man. Draco seems like the type of fighter to drop his first two fights in the UFC and win the third. <laughs> He's just darn, get him out of Like, bro, Vince Morales is a bum, bro. And he looked like yep. the lesser of the bum in that fight. And again, Daniel Jones, DJ, nickname right there. Uh, appreciate it, brother. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's Let's a good question. The Either of them from Texas. That's a good question, Peter Rose. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I bet on a bum fight? Exactly. Because I was fading the other bum. That's what I'm saying. I was fading <laughs> the other bum. It was all off of fade off Vince. You know what I mean? Exactly. I got to ask myself. But it's because I was fading the other bum. I was really highly fading the other bum highlier, you know? So that's, that's all I was. So it's not like a pick that I'm mad at. And like, you know, that shit's fucked. Next time, quit trying to fade bums. Vince got it. One judge had 30-27. Two judges had 29-28. You nailed it. And Draco, Draco acted upset like he thought he won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's a bum. I have a piss real quick. Jax, what up, dude? <laughs> Jax says worst fight of the night. Yeah, it was. Hey, I'll be honest. It kind of killed the mood. I'll be honest. It kind of – the girl fights was better. Both of the girl <laughs> fights was better. <laughs> okay. So, That's like, true. it kind of killed the mood. It, dr it drug it out a little bit. But we're going to end the the uh, prelims on a nice fight here. I think I think this is – I think Bobby Green fights the level of this competition, and I think it should be a good fight. What do you guys – I know Nick's going to call up all the stats and everything, but – Fuck it. Let's just do it right now. We got Bobby Green versus Rafael Fazeev. Bobby Green, 27-11-1. Coming off a loss his last fight. Arguably a robbery of a decision. Um, Rafael Faziz is coming off a early first round finish. Um, he's from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Um, Bobby Green is from the United States. Bobby Green will also have the two height, uh two inch height advantage. Also, the reach is somewhat similar, and so is the leg reach here. The big question here in this fight is Rafael Fazeev, is he a really a minus 350 price tag? We are going to find out this evening here. What do you guys have in the chat? Put your plays down below so we can tell before the next fight, and let's go to the members of the current stream right now. We got Jacksonville Zoe. What do you have on this fight, sir? I have Fiziev in a parlay from last week, so I think Fiziev wins. Uh, I think the line is wide, but I had uh, Mads Burnell with, against Sanchez. I had that fight with Fiziev, so that's my side here is Fiziev. Okay. Okay. I don't blame you, Zoe. When I when we were looking at stuff to parlay in the future, man. I was on Rafael Fazeev, and then it got the fight week, and I was like, holy fuck, man. This is a way too wide of a line. But let's see what my boy MMA Locker Room has, because he's been on a nice little streak here. Mills always likes to go, uh, I would say, against the grain, but still cash tickets. Uh, Millie Mills, a.k.a. AJ McKee's number one fanboy. What you got on this one? Man, I'm going to tell you guys, man. Bobby Green. Local from the city, local from the area. You know, usually when he's fighting right now, he's a big favorite. He's coming in a big underdog, you know. And, like, how would I not go with one of the guys from the local area, you know. But I'm not. I got, <laughs> his, I got him in the last leg to close out this Manfield parlay at plus 130. Then I got him in another parlay with uh, Johns and Gain uh, at plus 150. That was the first uh, bet that I made uh, right when this fight got announced uh, like about three weeks ago on my card on the bookies and stuff. So, 
I like it, Mills. Let's go over the chat plays real quick, give Nikki some time here. Infinite Hippo says, Fazeev by K or decision closes out that Menafield parlay. Um, no excuses, mate, says Fazeev is my first on the parlay. Let's go. Um, Sajio says, Matrix style is back. Go, Fazeev. Um, Infinite Hippo says, Fazeev looks like a mini Yuri Prakashka. Ain't that facts. Um, Andre Grace says, yo, these judges, what the fuck, man? Why is so I got a. Reg22 says, I got Fazeev, Moneyline, and a parlay. Big Show has rounds two, rounds one plus 295, round two plus 475, round three plus 825. MLG says, who y'all got between Tisha Torres and Angela Hill? We will save that for a little bit later on. And uh, Nigel Lee says, this is a past fight for me. And let's save the best man for last. Nikki, what you got on this one? Um. Well, Alonzo Minifield, Fizzy of Parlay. Kai Kamaka, Fizzy of Parlay. Uh, Yoder, you know, that fight by this, you know, goes to decision. Fizzy of Johnny Munez, Parlay. Um, Mana Nunez, Fizzy of uh, Slovenia, soccer, you know, soccer game parlayed. Obviously, we know Nunez is not on there anymore. I have uh, the fight doesn't go to distance in Randy Costa with Fizzy of, and Nunez was in there as well. Um, Joey, Julio Arce. Fizio, I've been in for two weeks, bro. So I got to put a I'm little waiting. bit. I got to put a little bit on on Bobby Green just to uh, solidify. Money in my pocket. Made this for All right. Good to go. I want to say thank you to JP for the dono. He's trying to help me out here at my Crosswood Roads Motel that I'm staying in. Uh, I really appreciate it, JP. There you don't know go. what it means to me. This Crossroads Motel. It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> it's rough out here in these streets. Cool oh man! So let's go, Fiziev. So I hear you got a lot of Fiziev, huh? Yeah, but I had, I had, I had, I had, yeah, but I had just, I had just bet uh, Bobby Green as well to get like a profit. But if Fiziev wins, that's where the money comes in. Look at Vaughn taking under three and a half in the main event. I'll be using Fiziev and Nunes as, as an anchor for two weeks. Yep. Oh, that, that that showed. I mean, how many were there, Nick? Was that like six or seven? I mean, you kept on going. You're like the Energizer Bunny. You lucky five, made it. Nunez wasn't on this card. Five or six. Five or six, one of the two. But uh, yeah, I wish Nunez, dude, Nunez was bringing tickets down. My ticket down, fucking semi cents a time. So, pisses me off. Dude, this has to be the biggest drink I've ever drank in my life. This shit looks like a fucking supersized drink. Because I'm not even one fourth through this drink, and I've probably been drinking on it for like the last six hours. Should got a fucking drink. Big goal. I'm gonna take um uh Fazy off uh wins by decision two right now. Um and that's uh plus one twenty seven. I'm with you on that, Mills. I actually uh, forgot to say this. I got fight to go to distance at minus 146. What does the fight go to distance at? Minus 146. Uh, Bobby Green has only been knocked out one time so far. In one time. Here. Two. Dustin Poirier. One time. One time. One time. Hmm. You remember that album? Who just one time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the unders just moved to plus 110. No distance. It was at 115. Why are people smashing the under then? Damn, check this out. Rafael Fazeev just dropped all the way to a minus 260. All the way. He's been at a minus 325 all week and just dropped to a minus 260 right now. Wow. That makes sense. That makes sense. Dang, I thought the line was too wide. Somebody put a big bet. That's one person putting a big yeah. bet. Mine's the same. Mine's minus three hundred. But I got him at two. And all those parlays, are, like except right for the now, Alonzo Menafield, minus two sixty. Except for that Alonzo Menafield parlay, that was at minus three hundred. The rest are at two uh, two fifty. Because I got him at two fifty and uh, maybe two sixty. I got to double check, but I'm pretty sure it was two fifty in Bovada, uh in the last two weeks. This is the prelim main event, right? Oh, Bobby Green almost just broke his neck diving into the cage. I just took no distance too at plus one twenty uh, ten. By the way, <laughs> yo, wouldn't that be shit on. if you would have got fucking hurt doing that front flip inside the octagon? Yeah, like real hurt. Like I got a buddy 
I shouldn't say a buddy, but a friend that I know that uh, jumped off a surfboard in the sand, like it was, you know, the surfboard was in the sand on the beach, and tried to do a backflip, and he landed on his neck, and he's paralyzed from the neck down. Sorry so to hear that. Uh, the link in the spirit of the friend, friend, Bobby but Green has the potential to make this a fight of the night candidate. There has not mm -hmm. been one fight that leaves another right now. Yeah, you're right. We haven't had a fight. One. Mm -hmm. We haven't we had, did a have some finishes early. We had some finishes early, yeah, but, but that's that nothing like right. you know. Blah, blah, yeah. the boom, of the night. boom, boom. Definitely, definitely no bangers. Yeah. I mean, the biggest banger was Minifield and Herman, probably. The Can biggest banger, low key, was Gato Leonardo. <laughs> well, then, uh, that was some shit, though. So. What up, Meaty Mugly? I'm trying to Let's think, like, what know. other fight was more entertaining than that? Swerve to the motherfucking end. Swerve, swerve, swerve. North Ender has over two and a half rounds in this fight with the fight goes the distance in the Torres fight. Look, Gerardo. What up, Gerardo? Let's get this. 170 in the building. If you guys could, sincerely, hit that share button right now on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, sincerely, yeah. hit that share yeah, button yeah. if you could. You dope. Oh, man. Buffer just gave Green some kind of announcement there. That was crazy. That was main. That was uh, pay-per-view Bruce Buffer right there. Right, I have to. Nikki, there's your ring girl. Oh, that's her. All right, you got this one, Nikki. Let's fucking rock and roll. I could hear it. With the girl screaming? No, nah, somebody just had their TV on. All right, 449, 448, 447, 446. Bobby Green with his hands down, coming forward as usual. Kicked by uh, Physio, <laughs> Mrs. As usual, dog. Is he oh, the lightweight body kick by Fiziev? He's talking some shit. Keep his hands down. Bro, I'm telling you, this kid bro. is the lightweight Kevin Holland, dude. They remind me so much of each other. Not one punch thrown in 45 seconds. All leg kicks. Nothing. I feel like I'm watching a kickboxing fight. Yep. Another octagon right now. He's got his hands down. Oh, now you see some. Yeah, Fizio, I mean, no, excuse me. Uh, Fizio takes two lefts from Green. I think it's the first time Fizio in a while will be inside the octagon with somebody that isn't going to be afraid to fucking go strike for strike with him. Like Hano's was last fight, tried it, and got knocked the fuck out. So. Oh, big uh, overhand right by uh, by Fizio. And a uh, body kick by Fizio. 338, 337, both laying leg kicks. Step in, uh, kick by Bobby uh, Lee. Does not land over him left. Does not land by Bobby Green. Excuse me. He got his hand straight down. This is what I, I mean. <clears throat> it's hard to bet on Bobby Green, Nick, because his fighting style. I mean, look at. Yep. It's like we're one, two, and it's just like got we're already in Texas, and it's not like he has the fighting style that big is. right lands by Fizio. 305, 304, first round. Leg kick glances uh, off Green's leg. Well, goes he hands so down. He, bro, he's, I mean, it's like a, a matter of time before he gets caught with a punch and he goes, it goes night night, bro. Uh, he's human. Mike goes the distance is scary, bro. I think he can get clipped by Physio. Ooh, one two to the body lands by Physio. Looks like, oh, big overhand right Lisbon lands by Physio. And, and, and Green calls and him off. And he's throwing three punch combos, Nikki. Yep. And Green's one punch and done. Both guys kick. Nice body kick by Fizzyuf. Fizz right now, Bob and Weaving, keeping his head off that center line, which you have to do, which Bobby Green is not doing, keeping his head, hand straight down and his head on the center line. Nice stuff, I think, uh, landed by Green. Body kick misses by Fizzyuf. 212 left in the first round here. Let's fucking go. Bobby Green mouth wide open right now, but he's always like that. Start get caught with overhead and right. Two minutes in the round. Left in the round. 
Step in, Miss by Bobby Lee. Another jab, Mrs. by Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Bobby Green. Nice left by uh, Fiziev. Chasing around the cage, uh, uh, telling him, let's fucking go. And they shake hands. Kind of. I don't know what to call that. Uh, no, 140, 139, 138. Oh, nice left. Landed by Bobby Green. It doesn't look bad. Another left by Bobby Green down the pipe. I mean, if he's winning this this fight so far, he's under the you know. The I mean, you can just see it. Dude. The it's uber confidence. Nice split by fucking Fiziev. Fiziev wow, nice. minus three fifty live. Nice, nice uh, kick to the shoulder. Supposedly, maybe did in the shoulder on Bobby Green. Nice left lands by uh, Fiziev. Hopefully, Bobby, Bobby Green. Can leap left. Oh, big overhand right lands for Fiziev, and he screams at him like a Viking. And that I can, that I can, I can tell by his eyes that hurt uh, Bobby Green a little bit. I can tell by his eyes. His eyes look a little bit like not wide open like he was before. That one, he felt his power. Fiziev is mimicking him when he punches. I'm going, oh! Body kick. He did. By Fiziev lands. I think a left land there, uh, land there by Fiziev. Bobby Green's not Both throwing a lot. Nice uh, uh, straight right by uh, uh, Fiziev. Body kick just misses by, uh, excuse me, by Bobby Green before. Uh, Nice elbow in the clinch by Fiziev. Green shrugs it off, said, yeah, you got me. Fiziev misses a kick. Ooh. Bobby Green right I mean, now. Bobby Green's Ooh. doing some nice striking in here. I don't I don't think that's just, just a talent discrepancy strike. between the two, to be honest. I mean, he's landed probably about 25% of his straight, nice uh, leg kick landed by uh, uh, Fiziev, made uh, Green switch stances right at the end. I mean, I, I he he might have landed like three or four like decent strikes in that round. I didn't see anything more than that. Fiziev minus four fifty live. It's Fiziev one zero. Appreciate everybody rocking with us, man. After round one, man, we got dry spots. The threat is squid, dirty rag twenty two, eminent hippo swerving. Uh, let's see who else we got up in there. Uh, we got uh, Joseph Noosebaum, Moody and Medium Ugly up in there. I see you. We got uh, Walter Coulson rocking with us. We got Jesse Newton still here with us. We got Gerardo Hernandez with us. We got Rashawn Weld, Chris Drondry. What up, my man? Juan Chavez, Bernie086, Michael O. Let's Mark go. Ragman, and Andrew Gray, and Sarari Kanyon, and Michael Zero. Let's go. Michael O. Oof. Plus 150 of decision live. You can bet right now, Simon says. What book is that, Simon? Probably like bet three. I think it's probably bet 365. Rodriguez 1-0, oh, Fiziev. Here we go. Fiziev's call, calling him on. Yeah, Fiziev's that's what I'm saying. He's fighting into it. I don't like that. Big leg kick over the top. And a left hook landed by uh, Fiziev. Goes to the body with a uh, hard leg uh, uh, body kick. Fiziev does. Okay. Nice little chop kick by uh, Greenlands. I don't know what landed there in that exchange. That was crazy. Oh, uh, now they're in the clinch real quick. Fiziev right now. Nice little knee by Bobby Green. Uh, nice elbow, though, out of the clinch by Fiziev. Just look at the Bobby energy Green. of both fighters. I mean, Bobby Green seems so relaxed, low energy, and Fiziev's bobbing around all over the place. I think he realizes how dangerous this guy is, is what it really is at this point. I mean, he fought Diego Sanchez like four fights ago. 4-14 uh, left in the second round. Who said that shit? Oh, 1-2 just. Fiziev throws a 1-2 that grazed the hairs on his chinny-chin-chin. Chin. Right? I don't even think that landed by uh, Bobby Green. Inside leg kick glances and outside leg kick by uh, Fiziev lands. Green caught the leg, Here's but he couldn't not take him down. Because like, man, we robbed you that one time. I remember. Here you go. This right is where it was moving his head a lot. Nice leg kick Gerardo. by Fiziev. Hard leg kick by Fiziev. Bobby Green with a one-two down the uh, pipe. I think the one landed. Two didn't. Need the clinch. Lands as well for Bobby Green. 3.30 left in the second round. Fiziev's left leg kicks to the body are nice. Yeah, they're hard, too. Quick and hard. Nice left over the uh, pipe by uh, Bobby Green, but he get that he's that leg's getting chopped. That right left leg's getting chopped. He knows he it. Dope he's ass ass he just did. 
What, what, what do they say when the when the fighter always shakes his head? That that mean it really did, did hurt him? Like he's shaking oh, his head. Like, no, a nice no, body kick. Nice body kick by Fiziev, and that definitely hurt. That definitely he felt that nice body kick by Green. Green's right there though. He's not moving away. He's oh, one right two, one two. Oh, they he's hurt. Hurt. Green, no, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's, he's hurt. hurt. He's that he hurt. was, but he he's okay. He back, he came back, but man, I thought he was oh, hurt. Oh boy. Yo, if Bobby Green can get off some more strikes, night. you guys are calling it. Night, night, man. Sorry, he sorry, Nikki. Slip by Fizzy of two thirty two two thirty one left in the second round. Go, baby. Let's go. Nice Let's high go. kick. Left hook lands. Another left hook lands by Fiziev. No okay. The screen goes back go. with a one-two. They're throwing guys. in the puck right now. Right now, they're clinched up. Bobby Green trying to go for a takedown. Doesn't get it. Fiziev shooks him off. The strikes are pretty much even, though, as they show, show him on the screen. Oh, wait, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I think that. It's oh, a big overhead right by uh, uh, Fiziev. Before that was a jab by Green. Must uh, left uh, right down the pipe by Green. Live Fiziev is minus sixteen hundred. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Dick. That's it. Inside and outside leg kick by Fiziev. Overhand way. right by Fiziev lands right in the button. Who's me? <laughs> you can parlay with Gon. He's, in, he's in the fight, but he's he's losing both rounds, in my opinion. Double jab by uh by Bobby. I think both of them. Right, this, is a, this is a 30-27 unanimous decision in Fiziev saver. Mm. But Double typical under. green, I mean, he's in the fight, yeah, but he's not. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Probably green throws a, a little teeth kick, does not land. Like it does not land for Fiziev. 110. Hey, Bobby, he's getting a little bit of fatigue. His mouth is opening a lot. Oh, big right lands for Fiziev. He calls it, it on. Like Leg kick lands for uh, Fiziev. Nice jab by Bobby Green. 1 2 by Bobby Green lands. Oh, they're trading. Leg kick for body kick. Oh, Fiziev's throwing trade, the puck. Like oh, big right lands for Fiziev. Oh, he's shit. They're throwing bombs right now. Holy Damn, crap. I'm telling you, fight of the fucking night. Bobby Green's cut right above his nose. I'm telling you, I think his nose is broken, dude. That's why he's breathing out. We want to see. And Fiziev's We want to see. Right now, we got 32 seconds left. 27. Here. Nice uh, body kick blocks, but that had to hurt still. Nice leg kick lands inside with Fiziev. Overhand right lands for Fiziev. Nice jab to the two. The second one was blocked there by, uh, by, by Green. I mean, excuse me, by Fiziev. But Green had a good combination there. Step in knee by Green does not land. Body shot lands and a hook lands by Green at the end of the round. Definitely fight of the night so far, guys. Yeah, I still think it's too old Fiziev, though. I don't. I, 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 mean, I mean, wonder if the books started losing money from that because I remember back in the day, Ooh, we used to have. Live line like, minus 275. That went down. It's back to nor It's back to regular right now. They're saying it's 1 1. What? Minus 275. You yep. know what I mean? Like, it's. Where are you seeing 275? My right now, short. live line. I'm looking at uh, right now, live line. So live. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I have to update it. It's 1,400. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, the refresh oh, button. Thank you. What? You're about to give me a heart attack, Nate. No, yeah, it's 1,100. Now it, went to, it went to 1,100, though, just now. So I saw after that. Round two, you got total strikes. You got Fizzy off 71, and, uh, and then you got uh, Bobby Green with uh, 62. Out of those 71, 18 are leg kicks. Out of those 62, Bobby. Bobby Digital. Bobby Digital. Here we go. Oh boy. Sponsored by Modelo Cerveza. They touch gloves. Fio says, hey man, good fight. Leg kick misses by Fizio. This is bomb. He's sticking a moving hook and jabbing, as my pops would say. Okay. Straight left misses by Bobby Green, and a left catches Bobby Green. Hmm. Lucky misses by Fiziev. Step in uh, lands for Bobby Green. Wide mouth wide open though. Bobby Green right now. Nothing going on. Nothing going on. A little bit of moving. A little bit of action. A little bit of hooking. A little bit of jabbing. 
Body kick by uh, Fizzy of Lands. Teeth kick by Bobby Green, somewhat lands. Body kick, well, I think that he shook it off, but I think that landed by Fizzy of. Nice body kick lands again by Fizzy of. Oh, overhand and right. That had to hurt. Oh, and a, and a left to the chin. And a right to the chin. Damn, Bobby Green said, let's fucking throw down. Holy shit. Lands a jab in the meantime. Leg kick Go get that bonus, Bobby. Oh, outside leg kick lands by Fizzy of. Oh, another one. Kick it again and again. And but Bobby Green lands right to the meantime. Oh, this okay. is awesome. Look, he knows he's getting paid tonight. Let's he knows go. he's getting he's paid, getting paid, no paid tonight, Nick. He's going for Body shot to the That's right by uh, Bobby Green. Fizio moves around. He needs that fight in the night bonus. Nice right, right by Fizio. Let's get that 50K. Mm -hmm. Exactly what he's thinking. Hey, Bobby Green is doing some nice little body punches and combos right there uh, yep. within that three minutes, though. Right right now we got 319 left to the body by Bobby Green. Or the shoulder. Man. Man. I don't know. Nice, nice one-two by Bobby Green lands. Fizzy off looks Nice tired. left by Bobby Green lands. One-two by Bobby Green lands. Fizzy off is tired. Yeah. Fizzy off is gassed. And this is why you hedge, folks, because this might go to fucking Bobby Green. <laughs> Fizzy <laughs> off is gassed, folks. Nice, nice, nice right by Bobby Green. Yeah. Bobby Green's tagging his ass up. It all depends Fizzy if they get the first two rounds by Fizzy off. Fizzy off tired. Not I'm taking plus 750 right now, a little sprinkle, small <laughs> sprinkle. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Green's winning the third, but I don't think he won the first Fizzy two. Fizzy is done. He's done the way he's punching and the way he's moving around. He bro, who has ever seen another, this I'm one? Putting another who got Bobby Green? Plus 700. They give me plus 700. So, holy shit. Bobby Green sticking to move, hooking and jab. Green, green, not a little. Green. He's slowing down a lot, man. Or yep. knock his ass nice body shot by Fizzy of. Fiziev is done. Fiziev is probably telling him in his corner, man. He was like, nice left 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 right right Jab by Bobby Green lands hard. Leg kick lands really hard for Fiziev. Big overhand right. Raise the chin of Bobby. Overhand right lands for Bobby. Mm. What a fight we got in our hands. Yeah, Bobby's going to pull it out, looks like, folks. Oh, plus 235 and a plus 700 ticket on him, so... I'm okay. Let's go. I just need fight to go this Oh, time. wow. They're fucking both landed good shots there. Fizzy comes forward, I, though. That one hurt Green. 140. Well, yeah, I think it might have. 140. Nice jab by Green, though. Nice body shot by Green, though. Go get that bonus, Bobby. Nice left by Green, though. Body shot by Green, though. Over here, straight right by Green. Green's land. He won this third round. There's nothing uh, um, Fizzy can do to win this round, but not. Uh, one two by Bobby money. Green, big uh, body kick lands for Fizio after he takes a big huff and puff. Overhand left does uh, land on the side of uh, Bobby Green's uh, jaw. One two one two lands, nice leg kick uh, by Fizio. You know it's crazy though. Uh, nice one two by Bobby, Bobby Green. Green. Up on the strikes. Holy shenanigans! Overhand right one two by friggin' Fizio. Bobby Green answers strike, back. Strike Double friggin' right by Bobby Green. Out striking him is right. Bro, for real, bro. He's yeah, like out striking him by the Oh, point. head kick lands for Fiziev. Fight of the fucking night. Yeah, Bobby Green won this fight. Won this fight. 41 seconds. Right. He only won the third round, Mills. He only won the third round. That doesn't Depend on these fight. judges. Watch. Watch. The judges going to give it to him. Bobby we got an echo. We got an echo. Uh, leg kick uh, lands by uh, a Fiziev. 26 seconds left in this round. 24. Or 23. Both guys in the pocket right now. Clinched up. Overhand right lands for Fizio. Left lands for Bobby. The fucking green. Straight left down the fucking pipe. Big right check. Left hook lands for Bobby Green. And again. And a left. And a right. Bro, Another one argument, though, for, for Bobby Green. He's making uh, He definitely is. He's oh, making a good argument. Oh, Bobby Green is tired. And the fight is over. They're both oh, tired. Crap. We'll to Bobby Green, man. Watch. Oh, like the way crap. That he looked in the fight too, and it was a close fight. And then when the when the when the numbers get displayed, I get what the I get what the betting numbers oh, display. Crap. But things not these stats things. and what the judges just seen probably for the last round, and then they probably think like, yeah, it was close. And then we just oh, seen that thing. he probably my, did win the fight. Can you hear me or no? Easy yeah, fight my inner things. Fight. Messing up. What the hell's going on right now? Not good. I think it's 2-1 Fazeev easily, but easily fight of the fucking night. 
Oh yeah, I do forget that they judge for each round individually, so it's already. Yes, they like do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it should be totals, <laughs> If it went by the totals, man, Bills does make a good case. He did actually strike him, and I don't think there was any fucking takedowns that got involved in that. So, because he looks like he's gassed too in that corner. Man. Like he's like he exactly like what was that? What do you mean? What was that? That was just a three round fight, bro. Like against Bobby Green, but Bobby Green's in your face the whole fucking fight. Like like that's like playing basketball and somebody playing full court press on you the whole game. You know, bro. It's like playing a basketball game and the team starts coming back in the third quarter, but they just don't get it enough. Yeah, oh, just, what a third round by Bobby Green. 74 to 35 significant strikes, man. Mills, bro, you do make a valid case, bro. Let these judges' scorecards come back stupid, and they're going to be like Bobby Green. Boom. Hey, guys, my thing's freezing up real quick. Let me uh, restart my computer. Oh, Billy, uh, take this one over, okay? Yeah, no hey, doubt, bro. Notice. What the hell is going on? Right? Oh, wait, we just went back to normal. Let's see if it stays this way. Hold on. You want to know how bad these judges are? There was a judge that gave it 30 to 27 Fazeev. How in the hell can a judge yeah. give that 30 to 27? Okay. All right. I'm with you. Oh, man, you almost made me have a heart attack, bro. I thought you was, I thought Bobby won. Oh, no. Gosh. No, but they, how does somebody mm -hmm. give it 30 27 for – how does that third round go to not Bobby Green doesn't get that third round? That no, is I how you sell the right. fight, Bobby Green. Get that fight of the night bonus. You might have lost. Oh, getting that fight, bonus. But you're still getting paid, man. I, I I really don't see anybody else really beating him out for fight of the night so far. And on the main card, there could be some decision. Snooze fest. Hey, sure. Can you bring right, the here. Quick, so I can cast this parlay. Cash it, baby. For Ziv and Alonzo, baby. Minus one thirty on there. First parlay cashed on there, baby. Bet your lunch money, man. Coming in through. Clutch minus one thirty. Shout out to Fazee, man. Let's go. And I also got him in this one. I just need Don to close out that last one. Let's go. Oh, and our cash Fazee to win by decision as well. So that's another thing. It's the prop. By the fucking bang. Let's go. Let's go. Man, yeah, Fazee cast all my callers. Slide edge. Right. It's time for a war. We got Song Yadong, Casey Kenny, 16-5-1 for Mr. Song Yadong. Casey Kenny coming in 16-3-1, both coming off a loss. Mr. Yadong fighting out of China, United States for Mr. Kenny. 5'8 uh, for Yadong, 5'7 for Casey Kenny. 135-pound uh, weight class here, 67 inches reach for Yadong, 70 for Casey Kenny, 38, 38 inches in the leg. For you, Don, 36. So two inches on each side, basically for leg and reach. What are you guys looking at here? Um, I think it's almost about time here. Um, let me pull it up for you, Nels. Yep. I got to do something for myself on mute real quick. All right, so here it is right here. Casey Kenny, bet your lunch money with me, minus 110. So keys to victory. This is what he has to do. He has to use his jab. Uh, when he uses that jab, he usually outstrikes his opponents um, on a three-to-one ratio and establish the leg kicks. He's real good at establishing those lower leg kicks. So what he likes to do is he'll go up to the top uh, with the jab, then establish the leg kicks down to finish out those combos. Second, Thing he has to do for the keys to victory in locker room's eyes, use that wrestling. If he uses that wrestling against Song Yudong, it'll definitely be able to mix it up and keep Song Yudong a little bit tired. And third, don't just stand there and trade. Don't give us what we want. We want a war. Do not stand there and trade. Use the whole ring. Use the whole octagon. Use your distance. Use that footwork that you have. Those are the keys to victory for Casey Kenny to get your lunch money. Me, personally, I'm on the other side of Millie Mills. This is one for our record here. Uh, keys to victory here for Song Yudong, man. You know, overall, the young prospect entered the UFC at the age of 19. Now that he's 23, he got to get off to a fast start. His last fight, that's the reason why it was so close. 
got off to a slow start. Like Mill said, man, if Casey Kenny can uh, establish some leg kicks and get inside the clinch, maybe get some wrestling, I think he needs to avoid the clinch and avoid the takedowns. If Song Yudong can be the aggressor here, I think he ends up winning this fight. It may be one of those fights where Casey Kenny might outstrike him on the scorecards, but it wouldn't be the first time that we've seen Song Yudong end up getting the robbery decision. That is my pre-fight Hot take is that we see a Song Yudong robbery victory. People are going to be pissed, but I told you to get on the right side before the fight happened. Team Alpha Male, baby, let's go. I think we're going to hit a quick commercial. As well, shout Fucking go to the moon. Can you hear me okay, uh, Billy? Jake Kaiser says, eat your lunch money with you know, baby. We eat, man. No one and then I we also you guys, got, we getting it. We get we it. Also got a legend in the background. Can you hear me, Billy? Yeah. Yes, Nick. All I right, good. My That's shit's it. fucked up. My internet. The intro, man. I'm trying to do the intro. We got the girl from Las Vegas, the Sing City Sarah. Herself. Let's go. Voila. Hello. Happy freaking fight night. I'm so happy to be here. Main card time. That's Welcome fun. to the right How's it going? Oh, What's the vibe? How are you guys feeling? Are we good? We eating a lot of lunch money this week. You know, last week it was a little bit hard. You know, I had to starve and eat for two days out the week, you know, but that's how it goes sometimes. This week, yep. though, we eat. We eat. We eat. I love that for you guys. I love it. Going good. How's your Saturday doing out there in Vegas? We're doing great. Uh, I've been watching the prelims, just caught those. Excellent prelims, a lot of great fights. Uh, just really feeling the fight night energy and having a good time. Yeah, my internet keeps up like this, and I have to restart my computer. I'm here for Sin City, Sarah. Hard eye, hard eye. And Tone says, What up, Sarah? What up? Hello, hello. Jake says, I thought she was cheating on us. I'm here. I'm just a little late tonight. <laughs> I am here. So we're putting you right in the hot spot, right off the grid. First fight in the main card is Song Yudong versus Casey Kenny. Who are you picking? You know what? I think I'm uh, really going to go with Casey Kenny on this one, but I love Song Yudong just because of his name. I think it's so funny to say. <laughs> I <laughs> It's so much fun for me, so I just want to keep talking about him. But I really am going with Casey Kenny on this fight. Um, yeah, we're going with we're going with him. He seems to be the favorite, right? Is that he's still the favorite right now? Yeah, a lot of money's been coming in on both sides. Sharp action on both sides. Me personally, I'm gonna go with Song Yudong, but um, Mills is on the Casey Kenny side as well. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, Trance is calling me out. He said I was boozing on another channel. That is correct. I have another shot here. I'm ready to take it. Are you guys drinking tonight? Have you already been drinking? How are we feeling? Let's go. Let's go. We're Let's ready. Go. What are you ready? drinking on first? What are you drinking on? The Terramana tequila. Let's go. Very right. good. It's pretty much always probably going to be the same for me. I uh, got a fight night party going on, so I'm trying to shake, take a shot with my friends. But let's go. Let's do it. We ready? Cheers. You guys, Cheers. UFC 265 going down. Yeah. 
Woo! That one was a little rough. I spilled it half down my chin, but we got most of it in. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys drinking? Uh, me personally on? drank a little bit too many alcoholic beverages last evening with the girlfriend. So we're going with the super size Coke and uh, no alcoholic beverages. Okay. I can respect the Coke, you know. I'm usually a Red Bull and soda type of girl, but tonight we're drinking. <laughs> uh, and I don't think Millie Mills even drinks like that. Um, overall, though, man, we need the first fight of the night to start, man. That fight, that last fight got my adrenaline going and stuff. Yep, it really did. That last fight was a banger. I saw a couple people on the timeline saying fight of the night, maybe. What do you guys think? Best Easily one so far? Yeah. Definitely fight of the night right there from both 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 people. They both deserve that bonus because they both fought their ass off, even though, they, um, you know, the scorecards didn't display that, though. I think the uh, bigger question is, what is the performance of the night? If you're Dana White right now, you're glad of how everything went, but you're questioning uh, who's going to get that 50K fight of the night bonus because there are so many finishes on the early prelims. Uh, me personally yeah. – I'm going to be a little bit biased. I'm going with my girl, I Carly, getting the fight of the night. Okay. Nick, you're muted. I respect it. Oh. Looks like we got Nick with some technical problems. Technical problems. <laughs> we got this, Billy. <laughs> we got this. Let's just Give all the bonuses. Nick's got some technical problems. Dana doesn't even want to pay out the fucking fighters, man. More, more or less than give out all bonuses, man. Oh man! Everyone's Ooh. telling us what they're what they're drinking on in the chat. We got, uh, let's see, Jake is drinking a Bud Light Lime uh, with twisted teas. <laughs> uh, what else you got? Get better or no? Yeah, Ford it's fast drinking a Coors Light. Andrew Love Grace it. with Heineken and Tito's vodka. Sheesh, child. You're going to end up being sleepy when you get a bed, man. Thank you, you Annan. We have beautiful voices. Perfect. See, Billy, I told you we got this. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't make it to the next round of American Idol, so I highly appreciate that. Guy. <laughs> there you go. And this, this fantastic uh, guy I got tonight is from Scarlet's, a fantastic strip club I went to last night here in South Florida in Miami. If you guys would ever go. Ooh. Trust me. Oh, oh, you're with okay. us now. Welcome, Nick. Oh. Yes, I'm back. I am back. Something's going on my internet down here. It happens like once every six months. It's weird. I have heard I'm a little glitchy tonight on the stream. So let me know if you guys are having issues. I'll try and, uh, you know, reboot. Because on my end, it looks perfectly fine. So I'm not sure. Yeah, so far so good. But I'm getting the same thing. So I have a feeling that it's StreamYard. Okay. Maybe. Yep. Cause my uh did your arrow thing keep going up, Billy? Actually, knock on wood, not gonna jinx it. This could be the best my internet's done in the last month for fucking stream, so I don't know what it is. It's uh, Billy's weird. on fire. Yeah, I'm on fire so much that I can freely do whatever I want on my phone. Billy's you know, on fire. Knuckles. You don't have to see my knuckles on screen every time I want to type something. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna get the new haircut, fresh cut. He's ready to oh, go. Oh, yes. Here, you see the cut? All the locks yeah, are cut it all off. Ooh, all wow, looking fresh, looking clean, Billy. Back Billy to the all right, guys, I'm about to retweet this. Let people know that I'm on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Damn, go. They, they packed the stadium out, looks like. Let's go. Full house in Houston, home of Derek Lewis. Uh, I don't know what all you guys have talked about tonight, so I feel like I'm behind. A uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you been? You've been watching the whole car, right? I have. Yeah, I've been live on over on the Bloody Canvas channel with them for the prelims and here for the main card. So I have. I've missed or I've watched so most of the fights. How do you feel about the lady empowerment? You guys got three women fights on the uh, on this UFC card. How do you like the women fights on here? Which ones were you more impressed with? Were you more impressed with Carolina coming out crying? Why was she crying when she was coming out? So right when that happened, I like bet my opinion. And well, you know what? I, I'm walking away. Uh, I did not see 
her crying. Is that a real thing? She was really crying. Yeah. yeah. Well, How did well, I, I to the arena crying? So I live yeah. bet Kenny, and I wasn't going to bet it the fight at all. And I bet it just because of that. She was crying. Mm-hmm. Well, you Here's know what? It was, it was a good bet then because that's a that's something that I would have usually picked up on too, especially how the cry was. Uh, but yeah. she just came in emotional. She had the flag, you know, coming down, and and she had like her eyes were just just next she wasn't, fucking. You know, she wasn't fight. tearing, but she was all. You know what I mean? And I noticed it right away. I'm like, I thought she was going to retire, Sarah. I thought she would win, lose, lose or draw. I thought she was going to retire, to be quite honest. Oh and she didn't. That's what the vibes I got. Yeah. Okay. Then I probably would have made the bet also, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't like to see that kind of stuff right before the fight it gives off major. Uh, yeah. Yeah, major. Not so she good vibes. A, if she's crying, I mean, she's emotional. She's in her, you know, she's in her own head. So. Yeah. I'm gonna have to like, yeah. guys or something. Oh, Billy, stop! It happened. You can't go back in the in the future, buddy. It happened. Dude, I just it don't happened. like the you know go back to the bad times for the people. That <laughs> we lost the minus twelve hundred fight to start round two in a parlay with that fight. So fuck that fight. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, yeah. what, 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 what he means there, Sarah, is it was too spicy of a bet, which means too or to put in the parlay too high odds of a bet to lose on. And I get it. I get literally it. Literally five fucking minutes in that fight, and it couldn't even be like, oh, my goodness. And it goes to the last 20 seconds. Dude, I could literally, like, I would be I honest. I it on stream for, like, what? Like, a solid 30 minutes after that happened? Yeah, it took you a little bit of out of there. But to yeah, be honest. It took me, like, five, five minutes. So, yeah, we had, a, we had a big bet. So, he had round two to start, linked with, like, five other fights for round two to start, like, for a parlay. And then I had over two and a half to start with, like, two of the other women fights in, uh, to go over two and a half, uh, so yeah, it, it it hurt us on those to see her go out in the first fucking round. Line well, movement man. though, folks. So Casey Kenny now money coming in, closing in at a minus one thirty five right now. On them. so they feeling the boy. They probably off the henny, so they bet my boy Casey <laughs> Kenny. You know what I mean? I had a feeling he's coming with some bars. Yeah. Oof, here we go. So all of you got Casey on this one also. Oh shit! I nah, I'm on an island by myself here. I got a uh, my my main man song Yadong or Yadong song, however you want to say. It. Um, my greasy theory for this one: greasy. There's gonna be a fucking robbery. First robbery of the night. They're gonna raise the team out from male hand. We saw it the other week with uh, Miranda Maverick and uh, Macy Barber, and I think uh, you know. Something can happen. Rob- I agree. It's a robbery there, but you got that good side of the robbery. You got the barber. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Team Alpha Male is the good side of the robbery. We're going back to the well. You know, when you see the chin, you ride favor in the corner. That does influence things. Yeah. I'm going to sprinkle no distance at plus 145, and I'm going to ah, the, guy, the rest of it. Be that guy, huh? Yeah, I got a feeling this fight's going to go the distance anyway. I just want violence. Let's go. We feel like it's gonna go. No, di- it, no distance hit. I'll do a shoey. So no distance hit. I'll do a shoey. And off the board, I also got round three to start. Uh, minus two sixty on the board. So I just need this fight to go ten minutes, baby. You can go ten and get finished in the third round. So I'm, I'm all I like you. Exactly. I like that, that language, Nikki. I can hear that. I think we'll be joined by late hits. I like that comment. Let's see what happens. I'm excited for this one, you guys. See, I'm still I so no. Let's get it. I'm just here to laugh at the people who bet Pitbull. <laughs> You're still on that? Wasn't That's me. my Marshawn Lynch. I'm just here so I won't get fine comment of the year. So yeah, I'm gonna be running that probably all year on it on an all year promo for you guys. Until the fight gets rematched. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just here to laugh at the people who bet. I'm going to slam, even, I'm slam that bet even harder. No distance is what I hit big on, but I had AJ McKee. No, you was on it with me, though. You had AJ McKee winning. Yeah, yeah. You got you, Big Show, and uh, Mills were all, all over uh, AJ McKee by, like, a wide margin. And like all what? three just tried to talk me into the bet, and I still didn't take it. Hey, shit fucking happens. Ooh, song it on out here, looking like uh, Jack City. He actually fell out after the weigh-ins like a son of a bitch. Quick off-topic question. Can I ask Zoe this real quick? Did you place any wagers on the uh, FedEx St. Jude Invitational? On the what? 
Uh, on the uh, golf tournament? Yeah, I have DeChambeau, uh, and I have DeChambeau is the only one in the running. I have I have Kepka at minus four or whatever. Yeah, my two is in there. Skywalker DFS, what's up, dude? Skywalker. Yeah. Oh, right Sky. Seeing you here Skywalker the day with Miranda pops. <laughs> Dang it! I'll be back. Damn it! <laughs> Won't you forget your wallet downstairs? Oh, he's probably got a freaking masseuse coming in and give him a freaking back rub or something. Hey, don't expose my man's business on stream like this. <laughs> no, he actually. A back rub. No, nothing extra. Just a back rub, okay? Jesus Lord. Say that shit to Sean Watson, too, right? Miss you, too, brother. Um, <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, Sarah, what's your lean here? She said, what do you like? Uh, I got Casey. I got Casey, Casey Kenny or Kenny? Yeah, but I'm not feeling 100% confident. I wouldn't be surprised if Song uh, Yadong pulls it off. Gotcha. Is that not a stand-up name, you guys? I absolutely love it. Did your mic change right now? Did, uh, did you change your mic at all? No, but I have told I have been told that I'm having issues tonight. Is it glitchy? No, it's not glitchy. Just uh, it's something different. It sounds uh, like underwater. Uh, different from when you first came in. Oh, does that sound different yeah, now? Sounds... Yeah. Is that better? Oh, Yo. I had my notes on top of my computer, yep. so I won't That's come there anymore. There it is. Bam. I knew something. Uh, what does this mean? We should have had Zoe and Sarah share Scream. What does that mean? Let's do it. Let's share it. Oh, oh wait, I was talking about that. That was in Vegas. Vegas. Share so, Scream. What? Scream. Scream like the movie. It was in Vegas, I think. That's what they're saying. Oh. Oh. It was a party. Oh, somebody's in. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's in the at the New York New York hotel. I'm not sure. <laughs> Why didn't you let me know? Hey, Austin, right? Okay. Less is in his whole house, man. We, I, I know what's going on in the hallway, the kitchen, everything. Wait, I got a question though. Like, I had the green screens here, right here. I got two of them. Do you think there's any way I could like hang it up on the wall or to cover it, or do you think there's it, the room's just too big for it? You no, just behind you, it'll work. You could do know, like, like this is a deep ass fucking room, though. <laughs> Sharpie, <laughs> let's go. Let's get it, Sharpie. You could do a backdrop stand. Oh, that Start. was a nice right, right to the face. Started off. It's already started. There we go. Four forty-six. Four forty-five. Yeah. Right now, both guys in the middle of the right now. Song it on on the back foot. Casey Kevin coming forward. Kick by Casey Kenny just misses. Overhand right two by Sedong lands. This is the fast start that I need him to come out to. Yep. Nice body kick by Casey Kenny there. The uh Zoe, you want to grab this one? Zoe's not here. Oh, I thought he was just here. Shit. Um middle outcome right now on the monster single 412, 411. Exchanges. Both land. I kick thing. by song and on just fucking misses. Almost took his head off the rafters. They're both kicking, missing the leg kicks, right? Yep. Honestly, it looks like Kenny's trying to find his range, and it looks like Yadong is just a faster fighter on the beat. Hey, Sarah, could you lower that a little bit? Overhand right lands for Casey Kenny. Holy shit. That was a nice overhand right. Uh, Mills, peep that uh, last message by Sharpie. He said we got live betting on the main book. Nice left by Song and on. I see it. Yeah, sure. What do you mean, the carrot? We always we always have live. Uh, we can only have live bets when it's like a big pay per view, like the numbers on our book that we share. Not share, but we both have the same book. And what am I Casey Kenny. on a big stick? Casey oh, Kenny's currently back in Song Yudong up against the cage, but it looks like Song Yudong is trying to establish his range here. Three ten three. 09, 308. Um, pretty interesting fight so far. I would say Casey Kenny's missed a lot of leg kicks, but if those land later in the fight, it could be a huge problem Ooh. here. Chinese prospect. Casey. Chinese prospect lands a huge body shot. Looks like Casey Kenny's feeling it. Oof. You can see him grins on his face after that. Hit. Yeah. Smiling at him. Mm -hmm. 
currently oh, really not too much going on. Song Yudong goes in again. Nice left, Oof. right, nice leg combo. Casey Kenny tries to uh, fake a takedown, kind of get Song Yudong thinking about the takedowns a little bit. Like Mills said, keys to victory is Casey Kenny to use a little bit of that grappling. Song Yudong is being the aggressor here going oh. forward, landing some nice shots here on Casey Kenny. Casey Kenny still trying to land those leg kicks, but it just hasn't really worked out for him so far here tonight. Um, Song Yudong returns a nice little leg kick. I would like to see that a little bit lower, though, from Song Yudong. Those uh, high thigh kicks don't do shit. They rip a little knee. Casey Kenny starting to move forward a little bit, trying to walk down Song Yudong in the typical Casey Kenny style. He's trying to brawl in the pocket. This could be the actual fight of the night candidate, maybe not the last one, because uh, it looks uh, like these boys are going to swing in the pocket. I don't know. I think the last one is. Right now, yeah. by, by the way, live line, That's even odds for Casey Kenny. Song Yudong minus 120. Nice leg kick there by Song Yudong, returned by overhand right by Casey Kenny here. Casey Kenny's trying to move forward in the middle of the cage. They're both at the middle of the monster logo. Nice high leg kick there by Casey Kenny. Um, kind of has his hands down a little bit low. You can see the little redness on his nose a bit. Backing Song Yudong up against the cage. Goes for a spinning back kick, and it does not land. Song Yudong evades the leg kick there. Song Yudong has his hands down doing that Bobby Green type of style right here. And uh, just don't those really fucking roundhouse, there. Casey Kenny. Are you wasting energy? None of them connect. He is really. wasting a lot of energy doing that. Wow. Uh, Song Yudong trying to look like the Kung Fu Fighter or some shit. Wind up. Oh, 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 oh Casey Kenny. He's on the oh, ground. Oh, my oh, goodness. Let's go, oh, Kenny. Kenny he dropped him with the straight. It might have been off balance more, Kenny but it was, it was, Nick. Yeah, it looks good for the judges. What's the live line at right now? Plus 135, like Casey Kenny. Oh, he's back together really here. They're the back same. inside the middle of the octagon for a quick second. I thought we were going to see a flash knockout by uh, Casey Kenny there. That definitely woke up Sonya Dong a bit. Looks like he's trying to breathe in, Shake breathe out, right and get breathe back to normal. Out. Breathe out. I need to fucking breathe. I need to breathe in real. I almost was about to say, this comment, say, wax on, wax on. There's some topic for that. Uh, Casey Kenny's getting a couple shots in there. Casey Kenny definitely won the first round, man. Yeah. I think so. You can get him at plus money right now. You can get him at plus Kenny? 125. I, I wonder how the judges are going to score that. Was that a knockdown or is that not a knockdown? Like, I'm going to take, take it. Plus 125, a little shimble shimble. Let's go, baby. Uh, I so believe that is the one. end of the one. first round. After in the first round. round. On the main event, man, we got a my J rocking with us. Jesse Nunez, Nigel Lee, Sharpie in the chat, my man. We got a uh, Bagatini, Bogari, Andrew Guerre, Trans Canada, Austin Angla, Kyle Age, Martinez Nation, uh, Yannick Ludic. Uh, Dirty Rank 22, Eminent Hippo, Scress Free 2 Week. And last but not least, Dry Spicy Squid and Bill Weathers, the Skywalker DFS. Skywalker. Marlon Z, what up, dude? I need five more minutes for the sound prop. Five more minutes. That's it, baby. Let's go. What up, we got paid? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, Lord. I hope Kenny wins and this doesn't go the distance, but. I'll take the Kenny win, and I'll and it goes it goes the distance for for Mills. Mm -hmm. now, he's at plus one hundred five now, and I got him at plus one twenty five. That don't make no sense. How is Kenny plus money though? Like, damn. I got him at plus one twenty five. You're trying to big people into buying the song you don't want. Yeah. Nice leg kick by Kenny. Four fifty five. Yep. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, nice. Okay. Leg kick there by Song Yudong there. It looks like Casey Kennedy's trying to uh, bait Song Yudong back inside the middle of the cage. They both exchange big punches there. Nice overhand right by both fighters. Nice inside leg kick there by Casey Kenny. Um, has definitely been the aggressor here. Um, Yudong's coming back out a little bit. Nice high leg kick that somewhat almost lands on uh, Yudong's head. Uh, Casey Kenny is looking pretty good here in the first 30 seconds of the round. We are at the 420 mark here. Song Yudong gets a couple of nice shots in there, but uh, not enough to get Casey Casey Kenny's attention there. I got to stop saying Casey Kenny. That is a tongue twister of a word. Nice leg kick there by Song Yudong. There it is. Inside there. Uh, Yudong is backing up against the cage, but ends up getting Casey Kenny on 
the inside right there. That was a nice head punch right there. Uh, Casey Ketty, I don't know why his left back, the left side of his back looks a little bit red, maybe from the uh, cage. But uh, I wonder what both corners said to both fighters because uh, my favorite, man, you got to tell your boy, your dong to pick it up a little bit here because uh, I think he's losing this fight. I would say a 10-9 round for Casey Kenny. Casey Kenny, you could just see the confidence on Casey Kenny here from that uh, knockdown in the first round. He looks like the fighter that is being the better aggressor here. Those leg kicks are finally starting to land for uh, Casey Kenny, but Song Yudong turns a couple of them. Tries to go for the high leg kick, but it does not land. Uh, Casey Kenny, I don't know why he's doing the Muhammad Ali shuffle, but uh, <laughs> he's going to win your fight, brother. <laughs> a little shuffle. Yeah, dude, he's like literally Muhammad Ali and Shuffle in the middle of the cage. Uh, tries to fake in for a takedown, but ain't nobody buying that with Casey Kenny. Uh, Song Yudong tries to land ain't the left flush. I haven't really seen the left hand from Song Yudong too much here in this fight. Uh, he lands the inside leg kick. Both fighters are honestly trying to fight for fight of the night, honestly, because uh, this is a pretty close competitive fight. Ooh. Casey Kenny somewhat covers up a little bit. Song Yudong is crushing. Pressuring forward, and uh, I would honestly say, even though Casey Kenny looked good in the first 30 seconds, Song Yudong is winning this round. Um, plus 110, yeah. minus 130 live line. All right, plus 110 and minus 130. Even money, minus 120 live line. For Just who? Drop. Casey who? Kenny, right. even money. Just grayed out. Yeah, you can't say it. Pick them fight and say it's minus 130, minus 110. It's, it's even right now. Uh, that, that exactly where it opened up. Uh, Song Yudong tries to go in for the leg kicks there. Casey Kenny looks a little bit red, but not concerned at all. I don't know why he's trying to bait into this uh, kickboxing type of fighting style from Song Yudong. If he really wanted to win this fight, he could just take him to the ground and uh, definitely get the control time. That would probably win the fight here. As I say that, he goes in for the takedown, gets Song Yudong up against the fence here. Song Yudong's trying to defend the takedown, defends it perfectly yeah. there. Um, currently, live odds are minus 145, Song Yudong plus 110 on Casey Kenny. So if you're a Casey Kenny backer, you can get him live right now if you think he's winning the fight. Uh, Song Yudong's laughing a little bit, but shit ain't funny inside the octagon, brother. Mm -hmm. Plus 110 and minus 130 in Bavada right now. I think it's Song Yudong is trying to. Mills kind of noted this earlier in the fight. I feel like Casey Kenny is wasting his leg, uh, his. Uh, Stamina a little bit, trying to go for these huge leg kicks that are nowhere close to winning. Yeah, nice he's missed quite a few. He has. Oh, there. That was a check. I thought it was a one-two combo, to be honest with you. Oh, Casey Kenny goes in for the huge uppercut there. Doesn't so, land, but man, that would definitely catch a fighter's attention. You know, what I noticed about the song uh, in his fights, you know, because uh, I used to, I bet him in other fights, you know, he really just slows down his output in those two and three rounds. Slows down. Yeah, tremendously. no, that's why I said he has to get off to a fast start because I don't think he's going to win round three. But Casey Kenny kind of somewhat slows down his fights too, like Dominic Cruz won. Uh, his eye fights. looking nasty too. What I'm going to his eyes looking really nasty too. So I think I might take a song you don't a bit right now and get out of the other live bet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you should have just tailed me on my pre flop bet. Casey Kenny's kind of getting to Song Yudong's face here. Uh, nice little one-two combo ends by a nice body shot there. Song Yudong actually goes in for the takedown, pushes mm -hmm. Casey Kenny back up against the cage here. Uh, whoever would have guessed this one, man, they would be a million dollars richer here. But uh, Casey Kenny counting down ready for this one. He is going in for the takedown, but Song Yudong is defending the takedown. Three, two, one. And that is the end of the round. Man, baby, I told you, man, this week I wasn't playing, man. I got to eat, man. So I got round three to start right here. Song your dog, minus 260, man. Cash it. Fight was going to last 10 minutes. Not too late. Still got some place for you to get something to eat. Plus Horse Radio, F the rest out. We the best out. Sharpie, you know me. I got to get a fight out, Mike. My okay. fault, Chris Harm. Uh, I'll do a little bit better on the timestamps there. They were just throwing so many fucking strikes back and forth. It was kind of hard to get out the timestamps. If you want, you can call and I can do the timestamps up to you. I mean, it would probably be easier for me to say the timestamps. The only one that really matters is the over two and a half for people. Uh, I wonder, what would you say, though, Mills, if you're in the corner of Casey Kenny, what would be the motivation to get him this win in the third round? 
Man, I would tell them you don't want to leave it in the hand of the judges, man. Use that take use those takedowns right now. We already know you know you can use that output, but right now try to change it up. Use those takedowns. Try to shoot for at least two takedowns in this round. You know what I would yeah. tell him? I would tell him take his man piece out of his freaking shorts, mm -hmm. put it on the table, and come forward and march down. That's how I would say. I just said that it. That is good fight advice, thank you. Fight advice. Round three has officially started. First fight on the UFC 265 pay-per-view event here. Casey Kenny versus Song Yudong. It could be a even 1-1, one, one, and the judges might be a part of the play the first time of the night. And we saw the judges on the last fight say 30-27 for Rafael Fazeev. So it could be a, a ugly decision here uh, as this first 30 seconds goes off. Not really too much happening. Song Yudong lands a nice couple one-two strikes. Uh, Casey Kenny gets in for the inside leg kick here. Kind of fading. Casey Kenny is trying to find his range still, I feel like. And Sonya Dong's piecing him up a little bit. Casey Kenny, bro, if you want to win this fight, you got to put your hands up here because he's looking like a punching bag here in this third round. That is. It looks like uh, Sonya Dong's finally the fighter that is dictating the uh, – Yeah, and Casey Kenny's uh, output is slowing down in this third round. It's crazy. He's the one – He's now he's only throwing one punch. You that know, right eye of his, too, is starting to swell big time. Oh, yeah, God, was nice, combo. Red, nice combo there by Song Yudong. That definitely will catch a fighter's attention and then ends it with back-to-back -back body shots. And maybe that's why Casey Kenny's uh, body is looking a little bit red on the left side there. Uh, Casey yeah. Kenny tries to return his best Song Yudong uh, leg kick and lands the body shot himself. Man, bad fight IQ by Casey Kenny, dude. He could easily just take Song Yudong to the ground and try to win this fight. I don't know why he's trying to stay in the pocket. Here we go. Not 325 really left in the, in, the, in, the, in the round. 320. Nice inside leg kick. Uh, Kenny kind of moves in, gets inside the pocket, tries to land a shot, but it doesn't land. But Song Yudong is definitely leading on the output on the scorecards. It would be interesting to see if they uh, count that knockdown as a knockdown in the first round because that might be the difference of this fight. Both of them kind of exchange leg kicks and uh, clash the leg kicks, but finishes it nice with a left hand there by Song Yudong. It looks like Casey Kenny is uh, starting to feel the pressure a little bit because uh, Song Yudong is getting the – confidence i feel like the uh momentum is in song yudong's favor but casey kenny lands a nice head kick almost gets caught by song yudong on the way down and tries to land the same exact leg kick and it absolutely does land on the face of song yudong um you know parks of being an asian fighter it doesn't look like he's taking a lot of punishment here in this fight but probably different on the scorecards yeah i agree leg kicks by song yudong uh, I mean, by Casey Kenny and Song Yudong tries to return one there. Nice body shot there by Song Yudong. And this is what I was talking about on Clint's show, man. I feel like even though, like, these numbers are close, I feel like Yudong is landing the more aesthetically pleasing shots here by the judges. Yeah, yeah. no, he is. And he's out striking him. It's crazy. If I would have told you that Song Yudong is out striking Casey Kenny 91 to 65, I, I, I'll be – that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at right now. Holy 30, shit. 30, 30. So, I, I – hey. Song you here, sir? Oh, you're on mute. Over oh, no. two and a half has officially cashed. Oh, back down to the ground. Casey Kenny is. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Oh, what is this? But uh, I'm going to take it on Song Yudong. So let's go, Song Yudong. Lands a nice one two combo. He's just landing three punches while Casey Kenny's only landing two. And that might be the difference in the scorecards here. Song Yudong's trying to walk him down like Casey Kenny was doing in the first round. And maybe those leg kicks are catching up to Casey Kenny because it looks like he keeps on switching his stances and uh, can't really find which stance he wants to finish the strikes in, to be honest with you. Yeah, hey, I can hear oh, a little bit. If someone has a TV shot. on, turn the TV down if you could. Nice body shot there by my boy Song Yudong and uh, tries to catch the leg kick. Casey Kenny does a little weird turn, but Song Yudong could push him up against the fence there, but he doesn't. Uh, both fighters are back inside the middle of the octagon with one minute left here. This is the minute that you need to oh get boy. everybody. Song Yudong oh almost got taken down there by Casey Kenny, but Yudong was able to evade the takedown. Shouts to Team Alpha Male for getting Song Yudong ready for these takedowns because he is defending them tonight. Uh, Casey Kenny tries to go in for another takedown, doesn't land it. This, this is the first time I've seen Casey Kenny get gassed. Like, you know, not gassed, but gassed, like, you know, I was struck and looked tired, you know? Yeah, he definitely looks like he's gassed, dude. It looks like he can't uh, take the pressure of Song Yudong. Even though Casey Kenny mm -hmm. 
could be the more overall talented fighter. It looks like Song Yudong is just has the speed advantage on KCK. He's the better right fighter on today. You know, I give it to him. He, he won this fight. I lost. I, think, I just think he has a speed advantage on him. In case Kenny kind of underestimated that. Sarah, do you have your uh, thing on a little bit? Volume oh, yeah, Kenny, is it, nice one two combo. Yeah. Volume that you see here. Okay. Five, uh, yeah, yeah. Four, three, two, one, and the fight finishes with Casey Kenny in top mount. Both fighters gave it all that they got, and let's see which fighter will win because Casey Kenny's trying to win the judges here by standing up on the side of the octagon like he just knocked out some y'all. He didn't yeah. knock him out though. Why is he doing that? It makes him. He has to sell the fight. I honestly, I think he has to sell the fight and hope for a robbery. So, so check this out. So at the end of the rounds, at the end of 15 minutes, no knockdowns for any fighter. Uh, total strikes 111 in favor of your dog to 81 for Casey Kenny. Out of those 111, 15 were leg strikes. Out of those 81 for Kenny, 12 were leg strikes. One takedown for Casey Kenny. So right there, the keys to tomorrow victory. He didn't use them. As you see, I said establish the jab. Uh, he got outstricken by his opponent. Didn't do it. I said to use his wrestling. Only got one takedown out of uh, five attempts. Uh, I said establish the leg kicks, too, at the end of the combos. I got outstricken by Sonya Dong uh, at leg kicks. So all my keys to victory, uh, pretty much he didn't uh, pull out any of them. So it ain't, I wouldn't be surprised if he loses, you know, so. I think that uh, as I pull it up again, Mills, on that third one, man, don't stand and trade and make it a war. And that's exactly what he did, man. I feel like Song yeah. Yudong was uh, able to avoid the clinch and the takedowns and be the aggressor. And uh, I thought he would get off to a faster start. But uh, honestly, it was Casey Kenny that got the one on the faster start. So it looks like two out of three of our keys to victories uh, have really hit for both fighters. So let's see what the judges think here. Let's ask Nikki and Sarah. What do you guys think? Uh, who do you think won the fight? You know what? I really think it was Yadong on, on my side. Those legs kicks. Uh, Kenny's whole side is nice and red. Uh, I really think he took this one, but we'll we'll see. I think him jumping up on the cage like that at the end was a little, was a little silly to me, you guys, but we'll see what happens here. This was definitely Song's fight, I think. Yeah, I, I honestly agree with Board's Fat's comment. I think Song Yudong won that by the fucking skin of his teeth there, man. We'll see what Barely the judges decide. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Let's Come back to see that decision. Go. We're coming up, no, Bill. We are coming up. <laughs> Put that on the board. Another one down. Bill could be on a hot streak. Let's fucking go, Song Yudong. Let's Team go. We'll go against it. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a good one. I needed that one, man. Even money too. Mm -hmm. Too oh, Still not used to you with that haircut, Billy. Mm -hmm. Billy got a haircut. Yeah, yes. so I'm back to the hat waves, though. Cheers. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so lost that one down the locker room right Sharpie. there. From a straight play. You had you out of a bit. Uh, I got it minus 110. I did hit the prop round three, but I lost more money on Casey Kenny right there. So it is what it is, minus 110. Close fight, but yeah. I, yeah. I took the L and I made this right. You can say the fight was line right. It was that close. Mm -hmm. All right, next Ooh. up we got. Next up, we got, we got the ladies. The ladies. The ladies. All my ladies. Tisha Torres and Angela Hill. What you guys got? What are you thinking? All right, right now we got Tisha Torres, Angela Hill, stature. I should say actually first. 11 and 5, 13 and 9. Both come off a win. Both fighting out of the states. Five foot eleven to five foot three. Angela Hill is two inches taller. Uh, one hundred fifteen pound weight class. 60 and a half inch reach for Tisha, 64 and a half. So we got about a four inch reach right there. And I think the legs are 35 to 38 and a half. So a little bit of reach advantage there for Angel Hill. I'm liking Tisha Torres here, straight. I'm taking her straight. 
Been all How right about now. you, Mills? Oh, she went to 175. What the shit happened? Yep. She's Man, going so up. I mean, Money coming in on the t shirt. Go ahead, Mills. Like Angela Hill, think about it. I mean, she should be on like a four fight winning streak right now. A lot of people think she won her last, you know, two fights that she lost one against Claudia, one against Karate Hadi. This is a rematch right now, you know. Right now, Angela Hill is in the prime of her career. She's never going to get any better than this. So, I mean, to get her at underdog money, y'all can go ahead and have her. I'm on Tisha Torres minus 150 right now <laughs> on it. It's a rematch on it. Tisha Torres uh, is, feels disrespected at the press conference because I guess Angela Hill implemented something that, you know, uh, she only had these wins pre-USADA, that she was taking steroids, this and that. So I'm looking for Tisha Torres to come out there and do damage. So I got Tisha Torres minus 150, and I also got Tisha Torres to win by decision uh, plus 105. All right. Billy. Man, this one kind of has my head turned a little bit. The pick is going to be Tisha Torres, but the reason why I can't go to the betting window with it is because uh, if you watch the embedded series this week, um, Angela Hill's main partner that she had uh, working out with her was Jessica Pena. And Jessica mm-hmm. Pena looked absolutely on fire this evening. And that could be all the difference with the good momentum going in their camp. And, uh, you know, Angela Hill's going to be definitely motivated for it. But overall, I'm just going to have to go with Tisha Torres. She should have the uh, game plan and the keys to victory to be able to beat Angela Hill. But it's not a guarantee ever in women's fights. We saw me lose a minus 1,200 in a women's fight. So that's the type of shit that happens in women's fights. All right. So I got three people on Torres. Sin City, who do you think is going to win? I'm going with uh, Tisha also. She has a 90%. uh, 90% of her finishes are by decision, and I'm hoping for something different from her tonight. I'd love to see a knockout from her. I'm choosing Mm -hmm. Tisha. I absolutely adore Angela Hill, uh, but, yeah, I'm going with Tisha on this one. I think she pulls off the win. All right. I am on an island on the panel. I bet (laughs) Angela Hill earlier in the week. I made a mistake. She... I got her at plus 125, and if I, my dumbass wouldn't would have waited, I could have got her at plus 145. But I am on Hill. I think she's improved. I think Torres is getting older. Uh, I thought the line was a little funny because Torres has been winning recently. Hill's lost uh, a couple fights in the last year or two. So I thought the line was a little funny, so I, I'm going to the dog. Oh, I, I took t uh, I, I feel took, you on that, though, because, like, when the fight – so when it first got announced when it was supposed to happen, I was on Hill, all right? And then when it first came out, I was on Hill for, like, the first three, four days. But then as I started just, you know, thinking about it, I started seeing it from a whole different angle and views, and I was like, yeah, nah, man, I'm not going to bet Hill. And then I was convinced that all of a sudden that Tisha Torres is going to win. Her keys to victory, so check it out. Angela Hill, she doesn't hit hard. She doesn't, like, just inflict so much damage that she's going to, you know, uh, cause, like, a TKO for the ref to stop in and stop the fight. So the only way for her to win is really to outstrike her opponent by about 30 or 40 punches for the fight. Tisha Torres, she can throw just as many punches. So when Angela Hill counters with three punches, Tisha Torres is going to counter back with three or four. And then uh, Tisha Torres can use her wrestling and grappling to keep her to the ground. Angela Hill can't do that. So it's only one key to victory for Angela Hill. And Tisha Torres, I see, has two at least. So easy, easy bet for me now, man. All right. And Nikki, what were you going to say? Uh, I got her by submission or uh, decision. Minus 120. Double chance. Boom, I got him right here, Sharpie. Don't hate on me. I'm on my Joe Exotic status right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Got a little bit of a scuff on you. No, no. I'm going to go use the ladies' room. No, 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 All right. no. Not those. I'm not going to lie, though. Being drunk in those shoes is way more comfortable than the uses. <laughs> That's what matters. Ultimately, that was the uh, final decision. There you go. They're, they're just interviewing the girls now, so we've got a little more time. In the meantime, I want to see what the chat plays, man, because I was only 50% of the, the, the people whose plays who matter. So let me see in the chat, man, what you guys got on this fight, um, what side you guys are on. Uh, I'm, not, I'm surprised that uh, Zoe, you're the only one on Angela Hill, to be honest. Like, 
So I'm could be on to something, dude. You know what the greasy theory is about women's fights. You always pick the uglier fighter. And that's obviously Angela Hill in this one, man. That might be where the money should be at. Jesus, so, Billy. I'm just being honest, bro. You always pick the – I'm telling you, more times than not, if it's the uglier girl inside the cage, she wins more times than not. Unbelievable. Yeah, we, got, we got Mark also in the chat saying that he appreciates us being on because he can't watch a fight tonight, so he's just listening to us. Let's go. Love that. Wait, Jay Codger, you being serious or you fucking with me? Because uh, everybody else says they hate the shoes, but uh, I'm a fan of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, do you see Sharpie saying that you need walking shoes and harpoons? You need harpoon too, Billy. Oh, Sharpie, Shar- Sharpie Sarah only messes with girls that are 350 plus. So <laughs> it's the truth. 350 plus. That's it. He calls he himself a harpooner. I call it slump busting. He's a he's a he's a slump buster. He likes slump busters. He's he's oh, not. He just likes his uh, his, <laughs> his, his, his his bigger women. You know what I mean? Plus size. You no. Know? No hating. I'm not gonna hate. Everybody's rode a moped once in a while. Of us. So Sarah, you're wondering what a slump buster is. There's a baseball I'm player. I'm pretty Mark sure Green. she knows what a slump buster. Do you know what I slump buster not. is? See? No, of course not. I'm like, so, what the hell are you guys talking about? So <laughs> Mark Grace was a first baseman for the Cubs, and he said whenever he would go like 0 for 20 or go on a big uh, hitless streak, he'd have to go to the bar, find the biggest girl in the bar. And after he got done with her, he was out of his slump. Next day, he would bat really well. So that hence the word slump buster. <laughs> you see Sharpie's comment. He said, oh, God. I get it. Oh, Lord. I, get I it. love it. I love yeah. that. The slump buster, Lord. All right. Slump buster. Gosh. I would just say go to the strip club. You know what I mean? Hey, that's my boy, Jay Kaiser. Uh, I used to go to app a lot. I'm not a big shoe collector, but um, I like to wear nice shoes, so it kind of contradicts the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, take that sip of beer. Put it over my computer. Nah, bro, that ass, bro. I do have some weird, expensive shoes, but I also have the bands too. I think someone just asked if Danny's coming in. He'll be here any minute. He's yeah, that. I was gonna say. Um, he he asked, there. I dropped Danny off at the airport at. at Freaking one o'clock today. Uh, yeah, so I gotta text you what your fucking golf bets are. Huh? I knew you had sure. DeChambeau. I just knew it. Yeah, long day. You know, long night, long day. Let's go, Tisha. Tisha's just walking out to the octagon for everybody, man. You see her. Uh, she has a uh, Rocky in her in a corner. That's her significant other. They've been doing her thing for a, for a while now. Um, I'm just happy that they're not training together because I'm not too long. <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> But yeah, Tisha Torres, man, she's been fighting the the better fighters and everything like that, man. A body like that, you know, the only thing she has to do is put it all together and perform. So I'm looking forward to really capitalize on this fight right now. I ain't gonna lie, that's talking to her a little bit too much. Yeah, she's got abs. She is cut. She looks ready to go, oh, guys. I chiseled. Mean, she always is. Chiseled. 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 She always. Wish I had those abs. Torres. That's yeah, not the sound of abs, ladies and gentlemen. Guys. <laughs> you got some alcoholic beverages, though? Water. Oh, uh, I thought. Water. I thought you, so you went downstairs, grabbed a couple alcoholic beverages with the main guard. And yeah, what's this here? I, I hear you're in Vegas right now, and you didn't even let me know. What the heck is up with that, Zoe? I'm here for two days, and it's not like oh. I'm vacation. I, I got I've been working all this last week, and then I had to stay here out west to get to Portland on Monday. I see. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah, give you a pass yeah, this yeah, time, yeah. but next time you better let me next, know. Next time I'll, I'll shoot you a DM and say, "Hey, I'm coming to town." Let me know, well, guys. I, I know you. I know you, you people off the strip do not like coming to see people on the strip. I mean, I'd have you to, know, you know. Go ahead. Usually, usually that is the case. However, I have been on this trip quite a bit, so uh, oh, wow. I mean, you never know. I've probably been down there uh, more in the past couple months than I have in the past few years. So let awesome. me know when you're here. I'll come meet up All with right. you. I don't care. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, well, I'll go down, there. down there. Yeah, they made up a lot. I, I wish it was a couple weeks earlier when there was no mask, no more mask mandate. Now I got to have a mask yeah, on every day. Yeah. They got yep. Bruce Buffer introducing both of the women in the octagon right now, man. I got to give it to both these women. And you mean fighters? Stuck Gosh. around in there. Uh, they both yeah these 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 two fighters both stuck around in this little weight class weight division. Angela Hill had to leave the uh, UFC, come back and evict do it the hard way. Tisha Torres has been here, couldn't put it together. She's coming off a string of losses, uh, but put together two wins um, over uh, definitely opponents that's not worthy to be in there with her. So it's gonna be a good fight. Hey, show that was supposed to go. That was the sharpie now for it. Tisha looks nervous. Yes, yeah, she do. I was wondering, dude. I was like, I figured somebody just put it on. <laughs> nah, that was for Sharpie. That wasn't for a uh, let's announce that to the world. I got you. Fuck around and let this be the fucking stream that she'd be watching. All right, <laughs> you want me to take this one, Nikki, since you got the last two? Go ahead. I do? Shit, okay. Oh, we got Mike Beltran as a referee. And money's That's coming in. Tisha Torres closed at a minus 170, folks. If this one doesn't go the distance, I'll do seven. a shoey. Ooh, if it doesn't go the distance, you're doing a shoey. I didn't even bet it. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. God, I love you. <laughs> Sorry. You're taking a big chance on a fight that's probably like minus 250 to go the distance, but that's oh, No, no, no. It's minus four, 410. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I, go. I got I learned my lesson last ass. time. So. Teach your tours by arm bar. Yeah, 446 in round one. Uh, just in case you want to know, uh, Angela Hill is in the gray and Torres is in the red in case you are, don't know the fighters well. Nice kick by Torres. Three kicks by Torres. Hill moving forward. Hill with a straight right and Torres kicks her to the body. She's going to throw it all day. She's going to throw that kick and that push kick all day. Watch. Ooh, Superman oh, no. punch for Torres lands. 4-17. If I'm zone, I'm kind of liking how this fight's going. I don't think Tisha Torres is going to try to hit her to the ground. We'll see. If she don't take her to the ground, although she just hit her with a three-piece combo. Nice three punches there by Torres. She's doing pretty well on the feet to start. That might give her the confidence I need for her to just stay on the outside. Nice That's what I'm saying, though. It's true. By Hill. Two-punch combo for Torres. Torres misses with an overhand right, and Hill hits her with a right on the way out. Hill blocks a kick. Sarah, can you lower that a little bit? Oh, Sarah. kick to the body by Torres. Caught by Hill, and Hill takes her down. Wow. Nice trip. See if Torres Hill goes to the mat with her, though. With the, six, with the 1969 dono, it looks like there's a boot coming. Oh, well, there will be a, a shoey coming. Oh, that's Boy, right. Torres. Yeah, shout out, man. Board fat, the man, the man, the man, the man. Thank you, Board Fat. We do appreciate it. And anybody with volume on, uh, turn down. Yeah, 318 left. Torres has worked her way up now from the takedown. Still got a body lock on her, and Hill's trying to drag her back down, but she can't quite get her there. Can't 305 get left. Torres showing her. Look this. Angel looking good. Little rights, and Angela Hill takes her down good. again, but she gets right back up. Who 254. Thought? What's that, Mills? No, I'm just like, who would have thought? Yeah, no, I'm rooting for Zoe, him. man. I have no bet on this fight, so I'm rooting for Zoe here, man. Cash out ticket, man. Is it too hard yeah, to, yeah. to hedge out of this? Need of the body. Angel Hill plus it's 130. It's a fucking oh, it's up to you. Oh, oh, overhand right lance for Hill, but she eats two punches. I'll take it. Okay. Hill is right, still bro. the one moving forward more. Mm. Nice leg kick by Torres. Mm. What's that? Mm. It's a female fight. It, I don't really see the point of hedging because – the second round could look completely different than the first. It's not like a male fight where you can kind of. Oh, I just went to plus case. 165, too. So that means something's coming here. But, oh, man. All right, fuck it. All right, we got 209 left. They both front kick at the same time. I don't think either one landed. Uh, Hill steps in with a right, but I think she ate a right and missed with hers. Hill with a front kick that might have barely grazed her. She does want me in the pocket with uh, Tisha because that's where she's the best, right in that pocket. Yeah, Tisha with another leg kick. Hill caught it, but she couldn't do anything with it. She's catching the leg kicks. Now, yeah. another Superman punch tipped by Torres. She missed that, but she landed the left afterwards. A Hill with a nice two punch combination as Torres is backing up. High kick by Hill blocked. Who's Tisha's girlfriend again? 
Oh, um, big right Raquel by Torres and a nice side kick. Who was it, Mills? Raquel Pennington. That's right. She's always Rocky fighting girls. Rocky Road. Torres went for the takedown, but uh, she didn't oh, quite she didn't, secure it. Uh, so went right back up. Mm. Nice body kick by Torres. One twelve left. They, uh, knees touched the ground. I mean, they may actually count that as a takedown, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Front kick by Hill that lands, and then Torres with wild uh, right, and then tried to throw the back fist and missed with both. She said that step in right she's throwing though, Tisha. Like a step in right is. Yep. Is yep. That's money. Yep. 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 Got 48 seconds left. Hill still moving forward, and Torres the one backing up, and then Torres will go burst forward. Torres misses with a spinning back fist. Hill with a right to the body. Hill misses with a punch. They grapple, and in the exchange, they both land some nice punches there. Front kick by Torres. Torres misses with a check left hook, eats a jab. Damn. Oh, and then a nice two-punch combo coming in by Torres. 19 seconds left. Hey, they're going at it. There's not they're going much. at it. It's not like the men fight like Bobby Green where they're taking breaks. There's no break here. This is spinning back elbow misses for Hill. Hill with a left front Holy kick by mate. Torres. Nice kick to the body by Torres. Three, two. I think There's Torres probably won that round. Yep. Man, I think so. Appreciate everybody rocking with us, man. Let's 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 let the chat decide with us, man. While Nick gets ready for that shoey, so we Before got that, uh, though, one for bring, Tisha Torres. Let's bring Go someone ahead. in real quick, though. Let's bring in uh, motherfucking Danny Betts. The what man. up, boys? Let's go. What's up, motherfucking Danny? What up, Zoe? Sarah, right. Billy Mills, Nick. A boy, Danny Betts, was, coming fresh. with him like nine Betts. hours ago. It's so fucking weird. Fight, man. I love to see it, Danny. That pic that you posted on Bro. your Instagram of that skyline. Man, I wish I would have caught the invite. Minus live line right now. Tisha Torres minus 600. Angela Hill plus 370 on the block. Wow. Wow. I wish I'd have waited until after the first round of that. Hell, now plus 350 would have been nice. But you, um, you I don't think she's out of it. I think that was the first round. Big, but it doubled. Pretty not not doubled. My bad. Um, yeah. it doubled. I mean, it was up. No, it tripled. Yeah, I almost about. took Angel Hill at plus one. Was it 40, 50 or what? I didn't. You was gonna get it 50, at She looks like she's tiring out, right? We'll see. We'll see. I don't think either one looked tired to me. All right, tired. round two. Uh, high kick by Torres blocked. Let's go, Torres. Uh, ooh, nice back kick by Torres that landed. Hey, Danny, who you got in this fight? I was about to ask you because I got no bets on this. Got you, Billy. I got Torres money, lunch money, and I got her. Torres is winning the battle of the kicking for sure. Hill's still walking her down, though. Hill's mm -hmm. the one moving forward. Uh, man, she's yeah, just throwing all sorts of kicks. So we have 420. I, they're moving so fast, I can't get to every single blow. 420. Nice front kick by Torres. Hill's right in her face, lands a nice check left hook, eats a jab. To win the first round, I missed like most of it. I think Torres. It was close, but I do Torres, think Torres I think, won the first. Think, yeah, I think Torres. The, the, the betting odds say Torres because she's. Yeah, the betting odds like definitely that. say Torres. But I don't think it was like a. If I don't you look at the strikes, they had to be yeah. somewhat close. Ooh, nice rights by uh, Hill. She caught a yeah. kick and landed two right hands. Yeah, I caught her flesh on the chin. Uh, blocks a spinning uh, kick. Tisha Torres is just throwing bullshit now, man. Torres keeps on backing up and moving out of the way. Probably Hill's like doing spinning a good back fits and like high kicks to nothing. Yep. And acting like Hill. she's shadow boxing in the air. Hill landing. In, I mean, Torres this round has been mainly kicks, not as many mainly punches. Kicks. Not even, yeah. And when she's punching, she's just throwing at the air now. That's yeah, like, nice. Okay, that was a side kick. And nice. And she goes back side kick. Hill catches it, gets in the pocket, lands a right, and probably ate a punch from Torres there. Front kick by Hill lands. Nice jab by Torres lands. Hill wildly swinging at a, at a hook. But catches another kick, gets right behind her. Wow. And Idiot. Hill takes her to the ground. Idiot. Trying wow, to get a hook in. Wow. She got the right wow. hook in. 
Nah, and Tisha's too strong for this. I'm telling you. Her down. Tisha, She's too strong need. for this. Tisha's too strong for this. Go ahead, Nick. No, I think Tisha's too strong for this. I think she's going to power out of this. We'll see, though. Well, she's using the fence to be able to stop Hill from getting the left hook in. So Hill can only get right hook in, and she's trying to take her down. She didn't. Man, Torres is good. She didn't grab the fence or anything. She almost went down. She should be taking her Hill down. lets go of the lock, lands a nice knee, and lands an elbow on the break. She got it. 2.15 left. Hill still moving forward. Torres front kick blocked. Damn. It's a live one here. Front kick by Hill missed. And they both throw rights, and I think they both landed. A nice kick, kick by kick Torres to the, to the shoulder. Spinning back kick blocked, but it still had a little sting on it. Nice right by Hill. Hill comes in, lands a two-punch combo, and puts a Muay Thai clinch on her. Oh, hanging on to this shot. Muay Thai oh. clinch. Good shots, she though, by Tisha in the clinch. Tisha did get oh, some shots oh, in there. Oh, big shots in the clinch. Yep. This is, I, again, I think this is a very close round. Oh, Those man. are making their case for fight of the night, man. Come on. Not you think Torres is killing her? I, I don't think fight is. of the night, not performance of the night. I mean that fifth oh, yeah, not fire of the night at all. You know, sometimes big I mean, off that. You you know. They're showing strikes as thirty four to sixteen. I, I, I feel like I'm talking more that it's closer than that. Oh big overhand right. Good ass dog, sir. Nice leg kick. All right, minute left. Hill tries to do a flying knee and eats a right hand while she jumped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't like these kicks from Tisha, man. She's throwing them in their telegraph, and it's easy to block. Now she's just throwing them to throw. It makes no sense. Yeah. They both missed a kick, and then Torres threw up a weak high kick. Come on. I'm Torres just... charges in and maybe oh. lands one of the three there. That's stepping front right, right is nice. I mean, I missed a stepping right. Where are you at? I'm at 20 no, seconds. Right, right, I'm right there with you. They're, they're over and right, the Tisha throws. Oh, they both oh. landed like a two-punch combo in the pocket. Angela Hill is leading the dance, though. Bro, that's the thing. Who caught that live Tisha, line? I would T like to Tisha, have that plus 600 in my pocket going into this. Third. Tisha, nice thing. Right, right. You can great. get it, bro. It Tisha, it goes down to the <laughs> mat, and Hill's going to end 500. the round in full mount. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. She might have won this round. It could be one more. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, she's yeah. plus 500 right now. I can take it. You want me to take it for you? Want me to take it for you? I mean, I'm just going to stick to my bet. I think it could be 2-0, but it, it could be 1-1. It's Hill is leading the dance, and the question is, what did the judges think of that? I don't know, man. You already know these judges are good. I mean, they're Texas judges. Who knows? I mean, this is a hard fight to judge, honestly. It's close. Bro, I think it's 1-1, one, one, dude. Yeah. But I did miss the first. It could, it could be, yeah. Round. I mean, yeah, yeah, I missed the first Hill round. Plus I mean, fifth. 580. I'm going I'm to go ahead and put some little sprinkles on it. Yeah, I think that's worth a $10 bet. Mm -hmm. Like, how the hell you. Right, it's plus five, I got plus Bobby. 500. I already sprinkled it. 580 just locked Her, it in. 30-27. Fizzy He did not Yeah, that was ridiculous. He did not win that third round. Like two, two times the punches in the third round. Was that uh, ref <laughs> looking at the their. I'm sorry, was that the uh, judge looking at his phone the whole third round or what? Bro, Ziv got outstruck so much in the third what? round that Bobby How? Like, you got imminent hippo saying 2 0, but value on Hill. UFC judges on crack since day one, Jay Kaiser says. Uh, Gino Harris said I cashed out in 123. Uh, yes, see, Rusty Tinkan says yeah. 2 0 Torres. All right, here we well, go. 453. I don't blame you, Gino. I would have cashed out too. They, they both kick at the same one. time. Uh, Hill's kick blocked. Another kick to the body by Torres. Torres with a two-punch combo. Nice straight right by Hill. Torres, you got Hill trying to cut off the corners here, and Torres circling around. Torres with another on. body kick. Hill gets her into the grappling, lands like three right hands against the fence, and then... No sense. Whoever has volume on, turn it off, please. That's what Torres should be doing, man. Like yep. pressing her up against the cage and everything. Torres has not done that much. She's just not, a not at all. Not one. She didn't bully her at all. 
That's not like Torres. All right, 401 left. Hill moving forward still. Torres fake feigning leg kicks. Nice right lands by Hill. For as much as people complain about the Texas judges, I think the worst judges in absolutely the whole entire state are in the state of New Jersey after that PFL card. <laughs> they say Florida's bad too. Nice yeah. two punch combo by uh, Torres. Yeah. Torres step in elbow and then she eats her right on the way out. But that's a nice step in elbow by Torres. Torres is, has most has 97 significant strikes, her best of all time. Ooh. They both land a big right hand. Just some 100? Yeah. Is that, yeah? I mean, is it, is it me or? I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? It looks closer than that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the line is uh, 750 now, but well, yeah, it looks a lot closer than that. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying she's winning clearly. But I, I think Tisha still won the fight. I mean, right. Torres won the fight. There's no yeah. doubt. But yeah. But. What's the timestamp, though? 254. Uh, Torres just missed a spinning back elbow. Torres Cash lands two and a half. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, she's, she's throwing bullshit. You know what I mean? Like that. Old, she's just throwing kicks and spinning shit. Like Tisha's a little bit. Like I'm not gonna be betting on her in the future. Yeah, Torres backing up. Hill moving towards her. Catches another kick. Pins her up against the cage, and they both land the right hand. Torres moves forward. though, lands a three punch combo, and then a right hand by Hill on on the way out. Nice jab by Hill. Hey, shout out to Eminent Hippo for the nice stats. He says strike count has Torres up double. Oh, yeah. Man. I mean, uh, I think it's closer than that, though, for whatever yeah. reason. It might be 30 27. You watch, but. No, I but take that like, Torres. Exactly. Block. No, I get it. Like, the numbers really don't dictate exactly how this. Right. Goes. I'm just saying this. Yeah, she's winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miranda Maverick closed as a minus 1200 a couple yeah. weeks ago, and she lost. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's don't true. even make me mad because Maverick was. Won that fight. And she outstruck uh, her 84 to 36. Just don't knock Angela Hill out right now, Teacher Torres, because Teacher's going to win this fight. I got a minus 120. I did the sprinkle like uh, Mills did. All right, we've got 140 left. Or you can sub her. You can't knock oh, her out. Oh, man, they, just, they get into the pocket. Hill lands a right, and Torres lands a left. These girls are going at it. Nice right. I get Torres is bleeding from the nose now. Yeah, it's a good fight. It's a good fight. All Hill. the girl fights were good so far. That's yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. You know? Um, that fucking arm bar, that's crazy. Fuck mm -hmm. you, ah. Danny. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, bro, because I do remember you said you want to, uh, uh, what was it, round two to start? Bro, minus 12 fucking hundred. <laughs> yeah. It was just right. about it. Like if somebody right, just fucking poured a drink on me and I couldn't do anything about it. That's dope. The, the strikes are very much closer this round. 33-29 is what they're saying. Nice knee by Hill from the clinch. Hill's winning the clinching battles. That's the one thing I can mm -hmm. say. And she's 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 going to that with her. Tall girl should. That would be Tisha Torres trying to do that. Nice right by Hill. Torres landed a leg kick. Torres with a right and then Hill with a right to the body. Torres charged forward and then Hill moved away, moved away and she missed oh, everything. I never did that. 21 Torres seconds more. left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice jab by Torres. Knocked mm -hmm. her back. Torres for the takedown and she gets it. Got it. Seals, seals, seals around up. Oh, but yeah, Hill's going to get up. I think. Oh, no, she can't no. get up. Torres inside see, control. See, and see, see, Torres for the win. Teacher Torres for the win. Yeah, oh, yeah. And that's Those the fight. That easy. That would have been easy. Like, like giving a pretzel to a that's baby. That's a fight. That's a fight. I think I lost that. I think Tor is going to win. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, the judges don't like Hill sometimes. It was a scrap, though. It was, Let's get that past 200. Good. Everybody, hit that share button right now. Let's get past this 200 mark. 200 mark. Oh, that, one up, bro. that was that was my personal message to Scott. Actually, I have to do a shoey. Fuck, I already forgot what that. Fuck. Oh, yeah, man. Like ah. that. Like that. Board yeah. fat shoey. Let's go, Nikki. What the fuck, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Some of the comments I feel like when I comment, I don't want to put the dude on blast, but they're definitely vibing in that interview. <laughs> oh, shut up. I got Instagram. They be liking each other's pics. You know what they say, man. This one's for Tisha Torres. If she gets robbed, that would be horrible, but Tisha. 
for Tisha. For Tisha. Bye, Felicia. Let's go, Nick. Bye, Felicia. Huh? Boston to Boca. From Boston to Boca. <laughs> Drop. Oh, don't start that shit. <laughs> Uh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's man, go. Appreciate all the donos, man. Appreciate all the donos. So you get one of those when you donate. It was in 1969 from the boy Boston Nick, man. Started off doing big things. Started from 569 all the way up to that. <laughs> let's go, baby. <laughs> let's what? go, Nick. Ew. Hey, Hayukin. Hayukin. And then real quick, do you guys, like Tisha Torres won that shit, right? Yeah, Doors yes. Let yep. me get the board real quick. Then let me go ahead and cash this. She hit the go. Get this lucky. Oh, she doesn't know. Told you guys, oh, man. We eating on Tisha Torres minus one forty. Getting your lunch money. Then that was the play too as well. Tisha Torres by decision at plus one hundred five, man. Plus Force Radio. F the rest out. We the best. Minus one twenty decision or submission. But I also sprinkled that. Uh, the plus five. Well, you got five eighty, yeah. right? Oh, damn! Oh, shot time. Shot time. Oh, go back to Solo. <laughs> no, they, they call it shot time. They call it on the perfect time. I cut to you, and you were fucking <laughs> sneezing, bro. I didn't know my bad. Mean to drink tonight, but you know what they say. They say, "Legend will be remembered, and bitches." Will always die. No offense, no offense for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't do it, you people. Let's go. <laughs> Two times. Two times. Look at this. I got some more beer in here. Go ahead take this shot. Oh. Got more beer. Let's go. Oh, got more beer. All right. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on. It's going to be one of those nights. It's going to be one of those nights. Let's go, Nick. I like the hat, Nick. Nick hit his head so hard <laughs> that this camera started going foggy. Let's go! All right, man. Fuck. Go. The lace is in? Where the hell the lace is in? <laughs> I'm with you, Nick. Let's go. Oh. You best local strip club everywhere. There I'm with you, you, Nick. Let's go. At Ford, right? Oh, Modelo. Oh, what? Down the hatch. Oh, she's chugging the Modelo. Danny, where you at? Danny. Man, first time you don't get the fucking Modelo. The whole <laughs> like, right, right. You have good four chugs. Room. I got to take it slow. You got a good four chugs. That was good. Let's go. I've been Never drinking a motherfucker the last two days. Oh, get... Danny, you're up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Get Danny, let's go. Chug. Chug, oh, Danny, just continue with the party. Chug, chug, chug. Oh. Danny, uh, Danny got in the hotel about 6 30 uh, a.m. Yeah, boys, I'm a little, yeah, my energy's not <laughs> all the way up. You know why? I got back, I got back from um, the bar <clears throat> at 3 45. Danny got back at about 6 15. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Vacation, and my Uber man. driver got lost. I was like, what the fuck, bro? This is your the same way you got lost. Ain't, ain't that something? Yeah, he did. He did get this. <laughs> the same. This is legal for weed, right? Uh, uh, yeah. They get shit. We were smoking down, down, down the street. I was smoking bro, splits down the street. Yeah. I love that shit. Go to oh. the, the Sarah, is it legal for weed? Thumbs up, we thumbs up. Thumb. Yeah. All right, there nope. we go. Just making sure. Yep. Yeah. It's all legal. Billy, they literally oh. went. They, like, the guys we, we, went there. Yeah. Went their the, own shit. Like, yeah. Just making sure, man. I, I don't want to visit states that aren't legal for weed anymore. If you would have uh, went, no. you would have you found out. We flew in. Mills. <laughs> Connor. Connor. <laughs> Connor. You almost oh, so, Bro, big show. You almost maybe spilled this whole entire trip. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for him, too. I seen him do it the one time when I went back. I'm like, I'm getting him. As soon as My man, Bills, you, know, so you know when your throat hurts after you get those oh, smoking oh, after awesome. a while and you eat that ice cream? <laughs> like, Bills is like, yeah, this shit hit right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm out. <laughs> bro, he was, sm- <laughs> he was smashing that ice cream. He was like, it was not me. I didn't know. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> Come back, Mills. You're still. In the- I'll be back, back when it's done. <laughs> oh, He's going to cover his mouth. He's going to be like, We be posing. W. That's new name right there. What up, dude? Nah, you're awesome, bro. 
Yep. Up, Jack. Last, man. Up. That first shot got me feeling right it. There. We going back for round two? Oh, no, I had I had some dope go video yesterday. Go nah, I gotta go upstairs. Show, get, get bro. At the stuff. fight last night, I had a fucking Jack Daniels shot. That was my first bro. Jack Daniels shot since I was a kid. And I, was, I can, and I can tell. Goes, they, I can pace tell. Yourself. I'm fucking tripping. Like, I'm gonna take you. many shots. Then Danny Jack goes, pace yourself. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> and fucking bam, just hammer that shot. I can oh, tell, bro. I hit that shit hits you like hard. Oh, I can, well, it looked hard, like so much fun, guys. I got you started. Oh, that was a blast. It looked oh. like so much fun. So you got it in Instagram this morning? I have so many videos. I'm no, I get to see all I, these videos I have from. The I got to the whole. To, I went to the hotel at six in the morning. <laughs> but I got a. I, I, yeah, I got a. I got a bunch of footage. Yeah, so to see fighters, and I got a bunch of videos I can post over uh, uh, Twitter. I put them on. Nate Marquette. Awesome. Yeah, I love. I got back. I was so jealous. I was like, I want to be there with you guys. Yeah, so it, was, it was dope. That that would literally your flight would have probably cost like a hundred and like fifty bucks max, and your hotel would have been like a hundred and fifty max. Me and Danny split a room for like what was it seventy bucks a piece? Yeah, nah, yeah, like sixty six, something like that. Oh man! In a beautiful, a beautiful fucking two bedroom, uh, uh, two bedroom. Oh, yeah, it was nice. Fuck, nice. dude, my heart. I'm just, just saying. Dropped, I'm just saying. Next time, I need the invite. Okay, I don't want you sending me videos <laughs> without the invite. Okay, I all felt right. left out. That's all I'm gonna say. I felt all so right. Left out. I all was right. like, these guys are having too much fun without me. I keep to me and Nikki keep telling people, man. Oh, that time you see, you see some UFC fighters and good fights. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we get the yeah. we get these uh, fighter passes where it's like uh, you're on the fighter side with all like the fucking dude. We, we literally could and, walk and, like yeah. we, we could walk right there, like where the commentary is at, right next to the ring, everywhere. Yeah, like, it looked yeah. like you guys were in the front row. Yeah, we oh, anywhere. We like next, I saw, uh, camera, I saw, I saw where the cameras are, you know, and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. I saw the Evans whole, like a little bit past me down there, so I just walked across. Whoop. The whole other side is where people sit down and watch, and that shit goes back like sixty rows of seats. So, I just want the uh, chat to know I wasn't invited, or else I would have been there. Okay. Oh my god! All <laughs> right now, okay. We that's okay. Hey, hold on. Right. That's easy. Right. That's easy to say now. I was in, I was in South Beach. Me and Dan were sitting at the Clevelander, and that's when I saw your message uh, about coming on tonight and whatnot. And I'm like, oh fuck! And then I should have picked up. This is where we are. Here you, you know are. I mean? Yeah, yeah, I found out after you're already there having fun without me. What the heck? Yeah, hey, I mean, there's a spot. Oh, bro, that's that's I love that place. Whoever built yep. it, God grace his soul. Oh. <laughs> the thongs. I mean the the, uh, <laughs> the songs. Bongs. The oh, songs yeah. the DJ oh, was great. Great, great music. No, for real, the DJ was kidding, and they got the no, whole outside vibe. Except when he scares you, you go to the bathroom, right? You walk Yo, the that's funny. and he'll shoot you with like the air blower thing, like to fuck with you. Oh man! Yeah, I know so because when we're on the phone, you're like ah ah ah. Remember that? <laughs> yes, remember that? That was the, that was air blower. Yes, that was air blower. I could yep. actually hear the air blowing on you, and then you'd be like ah. Yep, and that was fucking it's 20, loud. Yeah, thirty it's, feet away from us. Right, it's loud as hell. Like it's you're like not ready for you. Like, oh, I wasn't invited. <laughs> and on the next fight, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. on the next, next fight. fight. I'm just giving you guys a oh, pull this bitch up. Yeah. Oh, oh. Kiesa. Vincente Luque. Uh, 18 to 4 for Mr. Kiesa. 20 and 7 for Luque. Uh, both fighting on the United States. Both coming off a win. 6 foot 1, 5 foot 11 for Vincent Luque. Uh, both uh, 156 pounds he weighed in. Uh, well, that's weird. They're showing it's a well's way about, so it's a 170. Uh, 75 and a half inch reach for Vincent Luque. Same for Mr. Kiesa. I can't see the leg reach because show has to go a little bit more down. <laughs> Their leg reaches, I think. Right, never mind. Same too. Let's just go with that and let's get. Oh, no, the wait, wait, wait. No, Kiesa, 43 inch and 38 for the Luque. So Kiesa got a five inch reach. No speed, speed up a little bit, Nick. They're inside the octagon. Let's we'll see if we can get some live bets in. Uh, everybody on the round table, quick round. I got Chiesa, two units, money line, biggest bet in the card. So, I got Chiesa. That's my biggest bet of the night. I got three units on him. Uh, Mills. 
Man, I'm all over Kiesa, my, uh, plus 125 on him, 2.5 units. Let's go, baby. Danny? All right. Damn, damn it, man. I'm on the Kiesa train, know, too. Right? I don't like this. Plus 105, this shit, one too. unit. Nick? <laughs> and all, violence! And I want <laughs> violence! <laughs> and also got round two no, to start, uh, minus 250. Save the best right. for last. Since oh, I'm Sarah. sorry, minus 170. I was going to say, 170. am I the only one going with Vincent? Uh, I'm yes! Vincent. That's one. So he dominated At least there's one. in his last fight. Let's, let's see it again. I'm going with Vincent on this one. Vicente. Vicente. Quick solo me. Uh, quick solo me. Vincent on it. There we but, go. Uh, For my boy, the Maverick, it might not be Miranda. This is the real Maverick, the Maverick. She ace the season. Let's go. <laughs> Biggest bet on the card. Let's cash this shit. What's your chia pet? Let's go. Pet? It's Kiesa. My boy Kevin Holland taking a shot. Let's get it. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Holland in the building. Let's go. Hey, hey, Kevin, have you worked on your takedown defense? Hey, Fuck no. Nick, are you ordering <laughs> yeah. my Grubhub again for me? Saw you earlier when you delivered it. That's a Discord special. Oh, bro, that little guy looks nothing like me. That guy looks like dude look. Ooh, I'm pulling this up. Bro, I'm a handsome man. That guy is not fucking good. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. You can't you can call, call it all you want. Dude, That's dude. horrible. That's fucking horrible. Quick That's solo before right. this goes. Does the guy had a unibrow. The guy had a unibrow. Austin unibrow. Dick. Put one for uh, yes, put two for yeah, no. Yeah, man. If I smoke some meth and crack, that'd be me. Oh, Lord. So one for yes and two for no? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I already know what's going on, Danny. I already know what's going on. You fucking motherfuckers. I ain't doing shit. Uh, you son of bitches. Andy Brady's chat. I love you, but I, depending on what you put them. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Big show. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, son of a bitch. All right. Come on, whatever. Kiesa. Get Luke pregnant. Razor. her. What's up, dude? Whoa, pause. <laughs> I do not want to see that. <laughs> dude, that's how he's going to win. Just grapple the hell out of this dude's leg. That's the creepy, more perverted Boston next Here's year. Here's my right language. I want shirt. Michael Chiesa tonight to go from white guy to complete Russian Dagestanian fighter and grapple. Yes. Fuck the shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, tie, tie his legs up. Dagestanian. Fuck you, Austin. I agree. There you go, swerving got my back right there with a two. There it is, right there. Ha! ha. There's only like, one guy. Go with this one, Billy. <laughs> right Let's go, swerve. Yeah. You're still losing, Nick. <laughs> That's his cousin. Oh, Sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie. You son of a tubes. Plug your ears. Are right, you gonna take this one, Nick, or you want me to get it? Uh, grab him, grab it. I want you get right the next one. one. All right, I'll fuck with the main event. Let's go. There you go. Slaughter, how cash do? Damn, just to get the boat. Damn, it's fucking $1.30. At last check, if you bet Today's on women. street price is $175. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy and, shit. Uh, that being said, <laughs> that being said, uh, I don't think you would do it. I don't think you would do it. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you won't. I, I was going to say that uh, if you bet on the U.S. women in the Olympics, they're up by 16 in the third quarter. Basketball? Yeah. Damn, dude, I thought the last game was the gold medal game. The, 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 line, the line was 17 and a half the last time I saw it. My agent swerving set the price. <laughs> All right, that's my agent right there. He's hired. Swerving hired. Fucking Kiesa. 36 yeah. he says. He actually means 36 69. That's what he really means. Sorry, sir. That's that's Hippo, the hassle. Hippo said one sixty nine. Martinez Are you Nation. Apologizing for saying something about sixty nine to me. Negative, Ghost Rider. Make <laughs> Negative. Just make sure. So <laughs> blessed. No. Jake Bruce, Bruce yeah, Buffer is going sir. nose to nose with Kiesa right now. We got, oh, call it. Honestly, no. I, no. I said so it was gone. Bruce Buffer. Bruce Buffer like, when he's was introducing him was like nose to nose with him. We got Nick, 69, we got 169, we got... My fucking first shoe, he was... All I the think Bruce Buffett might be on co cocaine or something tonight, guys. <laughs> the way he's <laughs> acting, he's, he's on coke that? or something. Do you think he well, knows he's, that? I'm pretty sure he's on, he, on coke. I mean, this 
All right, one. here we go, guys. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, round one. And I have 453 on the clock. Case is circling around the outside, and Luke taking the center. Let's go, Case, and start the backpack journey. Yeah, uh, that's what I want to see. He's staying at a quite a distance right now from Luke <laughs> 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 Hey, social distance. Yes, he's social distancing. Both I, fighters are providing social distancing right now. And, and Luke moves forward and Kiesa moves backwards more. Neither one of them. I hate to laugh having to take it on Kiesa for bed. I don't blame him, dog. I would be on the same type time. All right, we got 418 left. No punches or kicks have been thrown. Kiesa's on his bicycle. Around, around the cage. cage. <laughs> it looks like he's he's around the cage. Dog. Yeah, bro, he's got to be tired already. He's wear himself out. It, I, hey, his lateral shuffles are great. Oh, wow. first leg kick by Luke. That was low, too. Nice low ankle. 356 left. A little skinny leg. Just yeah. shoot for the takedown. He's going to go for the takedown at the 320. Asa lands a straight left and then ducks out of the way and gets the heck out before Luke yeah. pinning against the cage. Each really have landed huge. one strike so far. Hey, so I like it. I like down, it. Down. To switch sides, go from the other side. Switch yeah, it up. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's on his bike to the left, on the bike to the right. Kiesa with a jab, and he eats a right to the body. I'm telling you, 320 mark, he's going to go in for a take. Oh, Kiesa misses two punches, lands a third, but then he eats a leg kick again. And he is not – he's trying to – oh, big left lands, and legs. Luke's cut. Is he cut on the nose. Oh, I hope that doesn't dead. hype up his head and give him confidence. Right, so stay up and strike with him. Take his ass to the fucking ground. Facts. I, yeah, <laughs> don't think that you can strike with him. It, it, either he's bleeding or it's really red. It's it's. Oh, like, oh he trips he and falls. On a right hook. He tripped again. No, he oh, tripped on the cage. It was right, he tripped see. on the cage. Nick, does he look hurt? In on a double leg, yeah, he and he's did. down. Kesa with the takedown. Please stay on top. Please stay on top. Man, stay on top. Oh, he's going to definitely right. stay on top. He's locking that leg down right there, baby, just like how we want to see. But he did look a little rattled, though, on that. Dagestanian I, I thought mode, he clearly Kiesa. tripped. Dagestanian mode. He gets oh, back. he's going to get no his back. No Luke no turtle shells. What happens? No distance, please. God, very dope. Now get he's trying choke. to get the choke. Get that he's choke get in. Underneath the choke him, him out. Show him. Come on. No, no, no. I don't know. Because if he reverses it, he's going to be on top of him. And he can just lay down. Left. He's going for the chin again. Luke's doing a good job keeping it. Oh, he's got it. 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 Nope, he didn't have a hook nope. in. He no, he's broken just... again, the sick fuck. See, look, oh, now he's going to turn into That's him. what he does, bro. Now he's going to turn, turn into him. Right right he right 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 goes. Turns into yep. him. Now, oh, no. No. Oh, he's going for a dart. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at him. He's a roll. He's safe. He's safe. Oh, you can finish him here, He has it in deep. He's going to tap. 137. He tapped. It's over. got it, Sarah. Damn it. Oh, sorry, Are you no. fucking oh, serious? Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, somebody what? put that sprinkle too about the sun. It's crazy. I can't uh, freaking believe it. Eleven. Somebody. Uh, wow. Who gave me Jesus Christ? Wow. 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 What a turn of events there. Hell yeah. Holy shit on the stick. Wow. Hey, you got your no distance though, right? Yep. That's all I had. That's why Nick was happy. Fucking bro. Fuck. Oh my goodness! I did not think it was going to go like that. Holy shamoli! Why am I not betting? I could have won money on that. <laughs> we got plus seven fifty. We gotta set you up an account, right? Especially by sub. If you want to bet that, shit. Shout out to Brady though. I think he sprinkled that. Let's fucking go, right? Yeah, Luke. Sorry, yeah, guys. Luke I think by really when you win money, but that was Game my pick. Up, no, it didn't count for anything. <laughs> All right, that's fine. <laughs> Hey, you were the only person on Luke hey. Street in the panel. So why am I not betting? I need to get on this with you guys. Yeah, you that shit was oh, stupid, man. Be careful. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> I know, right? Ass. I'll be small. <laughs> you start off betting small, you know, 10, 15, 20 you know, dollars, wherever you can afford. Oh, <laughs> I would have to. <laughs> I would have to. He got choked out trying to choke him out. Like a yeah. idiot. Like a fucking idiot, yeah. man.
Like so the, 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 oh, the dummy, dummy looks Sorry. like a fucking dummy, and I'm the yeah, dumbass yeah. that had to bet him too, right? Dumb. Well, you know, you I just sub trying to sub yes, him. You like in the same much. position. He reversed that on you and subbed you within like 20, 15 seconds. You were trying for like a minute fit in 50 seconds. He reverses you, gets you in that shit, and, and subs you in 15 to 20 seconds. What the fuck, man? You you know how much I hate uh, uh, Kiesa. You know what I mean? And only reason I didn't bet him because he was he's been coming up in the ranks. And Luke, you know what I mean? Man, he's been he my just dark horse. He's sub, been he just for sub me. fucking Woodley and and wobbled him. And then I say Kiesa is the only person that could ever beat me. My dumbass. Hell no. I'm pissed at him. I'm, I'm <laughs> still pissed at him. Shot, but fucking no, uh, Luke. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, but yeah, no. Nah, oh, yeah. God, no, Sharpie. What well, happened? Uh, thanks but Billy, remember, no, remember what I kept eating. telling you, though, right? No, my you kids are me? eating for a week. Yo, he, not he eating spoke, for a week. Everything oh, you said about that fight, Mills, you spoke that shit to me. Uh, I was like, man. He I'm fucked like, up when he was trying to get up, bro. He left his head right there. Bro, he, was bro, up. All right, to finish a choke like that, by the way, that's it's really hard. He didn't even have his legs, like, grasped. So like he didn't even try like what, that's weird. That's all I gotta say. Crazy. I think, I think that weight cut that you guys were talking about. I didn't even actually see it, but I heard uh, Billy said it looked like he died or his puppy died. Right, Billy? He tapped out so quick, man. I'm I'm sorry, that was very I'm quick. I'm trying to get back to normal, but that's that was the first loss <laughs> for Kiesa. Shabam bam. Appreciate everybody hey, rocking with us, man. You got Dirty Red 22, Jake Kaiser, Razor Shark, Jake's neck, Rubber You got Slaughter, man, on the Pups Horse in the chat, man. Slaughter, shout out to Slaughter, man. Everybody give him a shout out, man, in the chat. Give him some love, man. Without him and what we guys wouldn't be here doing this for y'all right here on the side. They meeting all you good people. 40 ounce beer belly dude. JP, Nick Rogers, Mel Anthony, Chuck DLC, FT, Sharpie, Chris Drombany, Joshua Chipman, Jake Kazer, Matt W, Austin Angler, Eminent Hippo, CJ Crawford, Amar J, uh, Andrew Gray, and Anonymous. Wait, Razor. Uh, uh, Sarah doesn't bet yet. She gives out plays, but she gives out her picks. It's not plays, her yeah. picks. So I take little picks just to, you know, test the waters. I'm testing the waters. I'm trying to learn. I'm gonna get on the. I'm gonna get on the betting stuff, but I need you guys to help. So. Oh, I, I, I hope that you learn stuff. That Razor's uh, being a prick right now. Looks like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pig. I mean, I didn't bet that Taurus fight, but Taurus is my pig. You were. He yeah. works for Public Radio. Yeah. Uh, Luke, I guess Luke was calling out Usman to mine the chest. Did he, did he really? That's, That's what. <laughs> give me a free money move. <laughs> give me a free money move. I mean, he's still. Well, Usman obviously has to fight Kobe now. Wow, we got Aldo and Pedro Minos up next. Holy shenanigans. This one. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Things about to get serious. Shit. What you guys got on this one? I don't know this much. Jose Aldo, Pedro Minos. 28 7 0. 19 5 0. One no contest for Pedro. Uh, both come off wins. Uh, both fight out of Brazil. Mm -hmm. 5 foot 7, 5 foot 6 for Pedro Munoz. 145 pound weight class. Actually, no, they're fighting at 135 right now. 70 inch reach for Aldo. He's always been had longer arms than all of his opponents. And uh, the comeback here on Pedro Munoz is 64 and a half. So he's to get in there. Uh, and then when it comes to the leg, 40 inches for Aldo, and that's that's how he lands those body kicks. 36 and a half come back on Pedro Nuno. So that being said, I think all those uh, packed to victory here is simply leg kicks and body kicks, stuff like that. Pedro has to get in the inside. What are you guys thinking here? Man, so for me, I, I'll start it off. I got a... Uh... I got my little keys to victory. So for Pedro Munoz, he has to establish the leg kicks, okay? What I mean the leg kicks, man, he has to eat up those leg kicks of Jose Aldo. I'll, on top of that, I'll put Outland Aldo by using combos. We all know uh, Pedro Munoz has a lot of keys to his combos, and so does Jose Aldo, but he just has to land two or more strikes and be more efficient. 
third don't be a pedro what do i mean don't just stand there move your head he stands right in front of his opponents a lot of times you can't do that with jose aldo he attack that body and make you drop and a uh, third do not let aldo walk you down the whole fight it can be uh, misleading to the judges he can be losing by strikes but walking you down the whole fight and have the judges full so those are my keys right there for pedro Munoz to win the fight so I got him at plus 108, uh, actually not a minus 108. It's a plus 108, baby. All right. This play right there. All right. Billy, you got anything out of this one? I'm tapped out for tonight, man, after that shit, man. That just killed my whole <laughs> Like, I was going, I was ready to go. I'm ready to wrap this stream up, smoke a blunt, go to sleep, man. What the fuck? Oh, Billy. Come on, right. baby. Come on, Danny, dog. Take that L. I mean, I took that L. Shit, I bet him too. I, I, I don't got no bet on this one, but I'm about to bet Aldo. Honestly, I've been, I was back and forth in the beginning, but I think his experience of reach and I understand Muniz got leg kicks, but uh, people forget Aldo's kicks. Especially back in the day, he doesn't throw him like he used to, but his defense against those leg kicks are huge. And he's a counter striker, too, and a, he's got to pressure you all day. So this could be end up as a banger, maybe maybe fight tonight. We'll see how it plays out, but it I, all depends. All right. I want to go all those so bad. I want to go all those. So Me, too. Bad. I'm about to pull the trigger. <laughs> but I, I wasn't going to do it. I mean, here's, here, I, I'm on Munoz, and I'll tell you why. The last few auto fights, when I did the tape study, he slows down as the fight goes along, and I think Aldo could easily win the first, and I think Munoz is going to win the second and third. I think it's purely a gas tank thing. Munoz will have a lot of volume. Aldo's volume will slow down after the first round. Hold up. So you're saying Aldo has gas for one round? No, I'm That's saying he will start to slow down. He No, he, he will look normal. He just doesn't throw the volume in rounds two and three that he does in the first. He's still going to – he's not going to gas like a – People forget, no, man. Really People forget he was looking fight. good against John. To that third round, I was thinking um, a guy's ass with. <laughs> my fat ass John down. <laughs> hey, what's that noise? It's on the, it's it's on the speaker. Uh, Nick, Nick, you got it on the speaker. So I, I might just uh, – I, I have Munoz right now, and if Aldo wins the first, I'm going to live bet him again in the second because I think he wins the second and third round. That's a good way to do it if you're on Munoz already. I, I get the strategy for that. Yo, Bill, is Pete my fucking it, did, Sarah, did we ask you? Did I ask you yet? What do you got on this? Me and your bike, though. No. Who do you have? I've got Aldo just out of respect. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Pedro pulls this off. However... I've seen a lot of hate on Aldo this week, and I'm not liking it, you guys. Uh, both these fighters have similar styles. I'm definitely going in with Aldo because I just want to see him pull off the win so bad. But hopefully this is a complete banger. They're expecting fight of the night because of the similar styles. So we'll see. We'll see what okay. happens. Mills, I mean, next time you. I talk about some Chiesa shit, just tell me to pick Pilots Johns and let me walk away. <laughs> I can. Oh, Lord. Yo, I can. Bro, I was going to. Remember, a uh, video, you remember that shit? I was talking about the KO prop for that motherfucker. Uh, Bro. I had him in parties. He cashed off for me, but I wanted to sprinkle, I said, sprinkle that KO. Bro. Oh, man. So are you guys thinking this fight goes the distance, or you think it's not going to go the distance? That's why I'm torn on. I might take Aldo by decision. Yeah, because I, I mean, think it probably, Munoz, it probably yeah. goes decision unless Munoz, Munoz is durable. At, Munoz Zero. is tough to take out. So I think. Right. And all, Aldo, the only knockout I can remember is the flash knockout against Connor. Exactly. I don't know what to do here. Uh, so it's been pretty good. What what's the over under two and a half? What's that set at? Uh, no, uh, fight not go distance right now. It's actually a decent price, plus one twenty, and uh, it's plus one seventy for under two and a half. But yeah, I'm taking Aldo by decision plus one seventy five. I know. I feel like it's in a decision. What? Which I hate, just because you know, obviously I'm leaving it up to the judges. I'm up tonight. <laughs> 
I'm going to take no distance. Fuck it all. I mean, Munoz's best shot to get it inside the distance would be his guillotine because he has one of the best guillotines in the UFC. I know I'm preemptively going to this fight, losing this bet, but I want to hit it. Sounds weird. Hit it, hit it. Nobody, nobody uh, follow me into it. Let me uh, just. So I, will, I, will, I will warn people that I also was on Munoz and I thought he beat Frankie Edgar and I lost on that night too. See, I was on uh, I was on Munoz and I thought he lost. Yeah, yeah, I thought he won. Violence. It's it's funny how a lot of people get got different, you know. Yeah, and I try to be as know. fair and square as I can be, but man, I I just didn't think that. I think it came down the fifth round, if I remember right. I was saying I thought. But so, so watch that fight again. He was just outpacing them in combos, and Munoz was just throwing one here, one there, big hook, big hook. Uh, I have to watch. Edgar's just like pop, 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 pop. I'm out the way. Pop, 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 pop. He's just piecing them up and getting out out those hooks. Yeah. I, I can tell you, Danny, it's no fun re-watching fights that you know you lost money on. Kind of sucks. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. That's that what made me that, 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 Alonzo that just huh? sounds like it hurts, guys. Right I now. don't think I can do that. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Rewatch watch Alonzo Medifield. Yeah. Jake asks, is Aldo overrated? Absolutely not Aldo Hell is a no. better How player. is he overrated? Back on his name. Prior to the McGregor loss, he was on an incredible winning streak with only one loss in between there. No, he is not overrated. He's just a little bit older now. Uh, Aldo's a legend when it comes down to Dude. it. I mean, when he oh, had yeah. the, when he was dominant, he was reigning on top. Nobody could stop him. So Nobody. But he's I mean, not the fighter he used to be. I think course. everybody agrees I mean, that he's not. But you see and that, he, though, that. And he he's dropped down. He's not in the same not. weight class. So right, he, he dropped down. down. The, same, yeah. the same Aldo. He's not even in the same weight class, you know. So we know we're not getting that old Aldo. But for <laughs> a lot of fighters that's probably been watching maybe UFC yeah. for the last two, three years, four years, they're, they're seeing this Aldo. They don't really know the real Jose uh, Jose Aldo. Oh, so, shit. Nah, Jose Aldo is a legend. Shit. He can walk away the game right now already, like two fights yeah. ago. Thanks. No, I agree with you, Mills. Bro, I bet Pedro Munoz by knockout or decision. That plus one. To what? I bit the wrong. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, either, either bet bigger on the other side and lose the juice or you stick with what you got. Uh, um, I, it could work out. I'm not, no, I'm not mistaken. They're the same age, and I think their birthdays are like two days apart. Fuck, yeah, fuck. but Munoz doesn't have the damage. It doesn't seem like that. No, no, I know. I was just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, obviously, we got fight years. Yeah. We'll see what happens. No decision. Oh, man. Ah. I think that's why everybody loves uh, Aldo, oh, too, because he his fights are usually exciting. He's not a boring fighter. Oh, exactly. That's the thing. All right, so on the contrary, if you compare him to Anderson Silva, you know, Anderson Silva, legend, but his fights are boring a lot of times, you know? They're like, all right, do something, do something. Jose Aldo, they were both dominant at the same time, but his fights were exciting. You wanted to see him fight all the time and he still does that till this day that's what i'm saying he's a legend man like uh yeah, yeah. oh that's he's facts definitely don't think anybody's gonna argue that i think everybody he gets a lot of respect because of the way he fights and he's not he doesn't there's other well, fighters that don't get that same respect we were just uh speaking on that because somebody was asking if if, if oh, he was overrated yeah. yeah if he was overrated uh he's not overrated He'll never be overrated. Jose Aldo will be a Jose all day for the rest of his life. He, he, he probably is a little bit underrated if you look at how good he's been in his career and where people think of him, at least in my book. I don't think yeah. he's yeah, thought of as point. well as he could be. I agree. Because yeah. you talk about like the top five UFC all guys all the time, I don't think a lot of people would Aldo in the top five. Well, I hope Pedro wins by knockout decision. Because that's <laughs> a plus. Hey, one. I mean that's fine. Yeah. Now Pedro wins by submission. I'm gonna feel terrible. For right. Yeah, that, that, oh. just, I, you're gonna say all that about Jose Aldo. I got Pedro Munoz on my board. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying he's, he's a legend. You know, like you know. I think Razor just bet him. It was like seven to one his last nine bets. He Razor's said. been on fire. He just picks like one fight and then he goes hard and he's been hitting him. That's what's up. He sure has. I might start doing like a one, you know what I mean? Like a, and the rest. 
I want to see how it do if I just pick one out of the fucking bunch. To be honest with you, bro, that'd be a lot easier. I did that shit last week, and that shit worked out for me. I went with one prop, one money line, and once those two cashed, I picked the main event or the co-main event. I'm at. The oh side. yeah, but I, when, I'm, when I'm live, I'm I'm gambling on every fucking fight. That's what I'm here to do. You know what I mean? Nah, but, bro. Last week I did not feel confident in any props. So I just went with two bets, man. I wish I would have took the same shit I was on last week. What do you think I'll sit here and watch every fight? You know, like this? Not have right. bet on it. I'm to pull up Chase. Hell no. no. Over Fuck and no. Ass, man. End up subbing his ass. I'm, I'm going to fucking gamble every fucking fight. I'm going to bet every fucking fight. But for a top play, you can do that. No, nah, I was just saying, I'm going to pull up to Chase's fucking hotel room and beat his ass. Kevin Harden, come on. Bro. I'm on you. Because that was my. Your takedown defense is trash, Kevin. Come I'm on. mad because that was I'm I'm with Billy. That was my set. That was my second biggest bet on the card with Miles Johns. It was my biggest. I'm with you. I know. I know. Oh, Jeff, man. if I go to jail in Houston, I didn't mean to sell. Me out. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad. The no distance in there was fucking easier, bro. It was just yeah, it's it sucks. Bro, sometimes when you lose a bet like that, you just be one of the UFC like fuck it. Put me inside the octagon. Let me fight for my money back, man. Fuck. Aldo. Oh, you know. Let's so. go, DTM. Oh no, boy, no, no. where's GTM? Oh, thank you, GTM. Big homie, what it do? GTM. For me, but got to support. Okay. Oh, not a great night. Oh, that. My man. This is a pretty good co-main event, if you ask me. Overall, I mean, I think it's yeah, man, pretty solid. Fucking yeah. Nunez. And let me just go Nunez and gone and call it a fucking weekend. <laughs> but instead, yeah. Nunez got pulled off. My fucking yep. started looking at some fight tape. Got all happy and shit. And started fucking going a little bit too far, man. What the? What's wrong? I think all those definitely. This is supposed to be the easiest fight card of the year, dude. I was supposed to go Nunez, gone, walk away from the window. Ah, shit. What were you saying, Nikki? Uh, check the piece here real quick. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, one second. You guys, I did launch it. It was a chicken finger, and yes, it launched across the room. I'm happy that you caught that. How? I it missed that chicken finger. It was on my fork, and I went boop, and it flung right across. <laughs> That's why you were laughing. I was wondering, I'm like, what the hell just happened? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Brandon <laughs> says, "Did Sarah just launch chicken?" Yes, I launched it right across the room. It's all awesome. yeah, chicken in your house. We're good. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, that is a funny comment, though. <laughs> was it still alive? He said it's okay. It acted like, like it was. Evil. My goodness, it flung right across. Like I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> oh, Anyways, back to the fight. The monster. Oh, it, it was great, GTM. I had a blast. Mm-hmm. I got round. All right, Nikki, you gonna get this one? Oh, you see the PC, the pro chat? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'll grab oh. it. Because you want me to grab it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I got you. Where did that Ghost Rider? Got Mike goodness. Beltron as the referee here for this fight. Like the he cut it, Mr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He he cut a shit. He cut a shit. Remember that used to be long. No, he's got it all rolled up or something, doesn't he? I thought he didn't cut uh, it. I he, it up. he cut it a long time ago. Oh, I heard man. they're making them tuck it in. They make it tuck. That's it what in. I thought. It's tucked in. Okay. That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, bullshit. Right. Nice bit of back kick there by Pedro Munoz to start off this fight. 452, 451. We are getting the co-main event started here. The legend Jose Aldo versus Pedro Munoz. Pedro Munoz getting off to a fast start there and lands a nice little one-two combo. Hits the nice little leg kick. That will be the kick. The victory here is land those leg kicks on Aldo. Aldo is uh, you know what? looking somewhat a little slow and old here in the first 30 seconds of this fight, but still the first 30 seconds of this fight. Doing a lot of feints here by Aldo. Uh, spinning back kick there by Munoz does not land. Uh, Aldo goes in. Nice little left punch to the face. That was a creepy solo. Um, both fighters. Are kind of <laughs> I missed it. 
Left <laughs> punch there by right. Munoz. Alder starting to come in. Man, this could be the fight of the night candidate. I feel like every time I announce the fight, I always say fight of the night candidate. Man, we've been saying player. that on four or five <laughs> fights so far. This is the fight of part. the night candidate. Here, you said it for the Torres fight. This is a real bro, fight. Bro, shut up. I the fight a little Thanks, bit. Danny. Stop. 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 Nice little low leg kick there by Pedro Munoz. Uh, we are at the 340 mark here. Nice leg kick again by Pedro Munoz. That is his key to victory. Chop up Aldo's lead leg there. Um, Aldo's looking sucked out and dried out, bro, right now. Bro, Aldo just looks old, man. I, I thought that was just me. I wasn't about to make a comment. Nice spin and back kick there by Pedro Munoz. Looking like my boy Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley. With that He's being spin. real, bro. He looks slow, bro. bro. Something, something's off. Come on. We got to <laughs> say what's going on, though. He's checked like – Eight of oh, those he kicks. Checked, like eight <laughs> kicks. He might have checked eight out of the fifty kicks that he fucking got landed on him. He, he threw fifty. I'm not be realistic, bro. Do. Come on, man. I'm exaggerating. You got to spice up the fight a little bit, man. That's man, a lot. That's a so fifty, of mine. bro. No, no, no. no. All right, go ahead, Billy, get it. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh. Oh. Fighters are exchanging in pocket here. Nice exchanges from both fighters. Aldo got the better of the exchanges there, but Pedro Munoz lands the leg kicks uh, on his way out. Aldo's trying to beat up the body a little bit, but he needs to start swinging those leg kicks. It feels like uh, Pedro Munoz took a page out of Ooh. Aldo's book from the younger days. He's switching him up with the leg kicks. Both fighters going for the clinch. Nothing really happened there. Both fighters Is in the middle. right there in that clinch? You would think that Aldo would want to keep him there. And, you know, right, just yeah, look at him. Honestly, though, no. He I doesn't like really Aldo's feel like that. his range, bro. Like much bigger all the looks too. Yeah. Look at yeah, that one, two, three. That's body, a ton bro. of weight. Nothing there. A, there was nothing there by all that. Guys in body type. You know, he looks like bigger, especially, you know. Yeah. That's why he mm -hmm. always looks bad on on weigh-in day, because he cuts so much weight. I know, I don't think like he's like nice check off hook. Um, but nice check off there, like Mickey said. 155 left in the round. Pedro Munoz is starting to move in a little bit. And those leg kicks there. Another one. The one to the thigh. That the one doesn't really do it for me. I think that kick is useless in MMA. Uh, <laughs> nice punch there by Aldo. Aldo goes in for a clinch again. And they like to separate. Back inside the middle of the octagon they go. 130 left on the clock. Oh, nice shot there by Aldo. Uh, hit him with a nice little left hook there. Uh, Pedro Munoz. Looking all right, man. He's looking all right. He looks like pretty poised here. Oh, Aldo lands a nice little one-two combo. Doesn't look rattled at all. Goes in for the nice high kick there by Pedro Munoz. Um, to be honest with you, I think he's winning this round. But Live line, Pedro minus 140. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's why I, I, I agree with that like a thousand percent too. It's funny. That fucking weak-ass body shot by a little Aldo bit. there. And so, nice leg kick by the Your strategy is not going to work oh, out. Oh, big right by not going to work out. <laughs> oh, big right there by Munoz there. We are near the 52 second mark. We are counting down to the first end of the round. Aldo Lynch, nice little left right combo there. Uh, both fighters kind of clash heads a little bit. 40 seconds left here. It looks like Pedro Munoz is dictating the pace here earlier in this fight. Looks like the uh, more aggressor of the fighter. Yeah, he's coming forward for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I One like thing I'm say about Jose is he's doing some nice five, body work. Okay. He, he's he's done to the body a few times. But left right combo by Aldo lands. Pedro Munoz goes in for another leg kick here. We're nearing the 15 second mark. Nice uppercut there by it's Aldo. Over right. Ooh. You want to call it nigger now? No, no, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> right. I thought you were at the same time as me. We're watching the same thing, huh? Spit a back kick does not land, and that is the end of the first round there. Put a one in the chat if you think Munoz won. Put a two in the chat if you think Aldo won. Hey, Live now, see. Munoz that's minus me, 130. Oh, yeah, 120 is, each now. This is uh, it's a tight first round. This is, this is close, man. <laughs> oh, man. I knew it was fine. This is why I didn't want to bet it, and I still ended up betting it. <laughs> We'll see. And you, and you took Jose by decision? By decision, yeah. I needed that plus money, you know what I mean? If I was yeah. going to bet it. Showing the replays, they showed a beautiful straight right by Munoz. 
Man, appreciate everybody for rocking with us, man. We've been in, we've been here rocking for about six hours now, live, man. We got the co-main event, man. One more fight to go after this. In the meantime, we got Jay Kaiser with us, Brandon Olsen, Eminent Hippo, Keith Turner, and my Jay. Razor Sharp Picks, that's the man doing his horse streams every Wednesdays and Thursdays. Check it out on Pub Sports Radio. Uh, if you guys like betting horses or if you don't, that's the guy to follow right there. Not just that, he's also putting out his baseball plays as well. Check them out. Uh, Giovanni Bell, Jesse Nunez, Nick Diller, 40 ounce beer belly, dude. Taco well, no, Bud, two in the has Evo. officially gone underway. 450 mark here. Uh, both fighters exchange punches. Nice little inside leg kick there by Munoz. Spamming those leg kicks, man. Aldo, you got to throw some leg kicks back. Aldo is, uh, you know what, kind of looking a little bit old here. It's the first time I could really say besides the last one. He's looking old. Aldo starts to land his signature leg kick there. Uh, to be honest with you, man, I'm seeing a lot of people um, split on the first round. I'm seeing a lot of 10-9s on the screen. Yeah, there, there's – well, there's some that have Munoz too. It's, it's really split. No, no, Jose Cuervo. Not by Aldo. Both of them. I wouldn't say that they're softballs, but they're looking like it. Uh, Aldo goes on his bicycle, gets back inside the middle of the octagon, tries to avoid the damage there. Aldo goes in for another left shot. That left is cl landing clean for Aldo there. Uh, leg kick there by Munoz. We are near the over one and a half. If you guys are getting there, about a minute to two left for that one. First I round, yeah. I see why people are saying that Aldo won that first round because he's leading in uh, significant strikes and Munoz is leading in the That's what I'm saying. I don't know. This is not uh, uh, leg kicks 19 for Munoz, though. Yeah, but you know, a lot of judges don't really score that yeah. high. Yeah. Sometimes. He shot there by Aldo. Gets yeah, this there really by easy Munoz to be. at the end of that. Both fighters are back inside the middle of the octagon. 315 mark inside leg kick there by Munoz. Aldo uh, looks a little bit hesitant here. Maybe those leg kicks are starting to pile up a little bit. 19 leg shots for anybody in round one. That will definitely hurt him. You can't be a walking punching bag. Nice leg kick again by Munoz. He's mixing it up with the inside and the outside. I like that movement by him. Aldo lands a nice one-two combo there. Yeah, Aldo's minus 155. Right now. Oh, Ooh, nice high wow. leg kick there by Munoz. You get a lot of line on Munoz, though. I kind of don't blame you for it. I think Aldo kind of freaks out here. In the third it's – it. the thing is that Munoz throws more volume, but Aldo hits harder. So it's like what the hell the judges want. You know what I mean? I would mean? agree with that. Inside. Ooh, agree with that. Yeah, it's just hard. We don't know how they're going to yeah. score it. If you look at the left leg of Aldo, his lead leg, it's definitely reading up on the inside, the outside, the thigh. Uh, Pedro Munoz is just chopping down the tree, man. Nice little inside leg kick again. Aldo gets a nice uppercut there. Pedro Munoz, man, coming in for that. Uh, I feel like Munoz's fights always go to like some crazy split decision, like the Frank Edgar fight last time. I thought he got robbed. He did. See, I thought he lost, and I had money on him. That's just weird to me. But the Frank nice Edgar, like, yeah, punch yeah, combo yeah. there by I'm Aldo. Munoz gets in there. Um, we are near the 150 mark. If you got the over one and a half parlay, that is a casher of a ticket. Nice Paul yes, by Aldo. Man, it honestly looks like the over two, and half and two at this pace. Uh, oh, no, nice. no, no, I was just saying, like, congrats. Yeah. Oh, nice shot there by Aldo. That left is landing flush, dude, for Aldo. I'd like to see more of that. The jab is uh, there. Maybe a couple clinches, too, because uh, I feel like he's winning the clinch exchanges. Nice little one-two combo there by Aldo. I feel like only one of those landed, though. Not really too much going on here. We are near the 115 mark here in the second round. Munoz lands the left right there and also the left inside leg kick. Aldo not really doing anything. He's minus 200 right now. Yeah, I was just saying just the last, like, 10 seconds. No, no, no. I wasn't it's not saying bad. It's not a bad look. Not nah, like Billy said. I mean, if you're on the Munoz, uh, oh, oh, this is nice. Right inside. I kick. might, I might at the end of this round. round. Like plus one fifty five, you can get them right now. We are near the under minute mark here. Forty five seconds left here in this round. Oh, fighters, kind of a little headbutt, but Munoz lands that outside leg kick, just beating up that lead leg of Aldo. Goes in for that nice little thigh kick there. 
significant strike count is 38 to 26 in Aldo's favor. So, you know what? It kind of doesn't really feel like that, though. Nice little inside leg kick again by Munoz. Aldo leads the overhand left. 15 seconds left here. Big in for the punch, but Munoz ends up landing the right. <laughs> Aldo puts his hands down. Nice little uppercut there. Tries to land by Aldo. I don't think it connected fully, but that is the end of the second round. Yeah. Fighter, so I think Aldo's win the fight. Let's go. Baby. Jake is two That's two rounds to none. I was I was smashed. That down. first one yeah. is close, but I think he got the second round. I got my round three prop start. Hit well, that minus be. 250 on there in the Aldo fight. Lost it with the Chiesa fight, but hey, baby, we right back on there, baby. Cash it, baby. Aldo's getting steamed, but I really kind of don't agree with the line. I think he He's getting there. steamed. Yeah, I got 200. He's at 275 right now. Plus 195 now. What do you mean like mad money's coming in on Aldo? He's at minus 300 now. Holy Pedro shit. Pedro with the leg kicks. The leg kicks are really the uh, story. Dude, of the I fight. feel like, is it me or those leg kicks don't have enough on them like they did against Jimmy Rivera? Because when he was throwing it against Rivera, that shit fucked his leg up. Weird. But, well, to be yeah. honest with you, Danny, like I said earlier, bro, in MMA nowadays, I feel like those little thigh kicks, like those inside leg kicks that end up landing on the thigh, that shit don't do nothing for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I'm just comparing it from his last fight. Yeah, that's like, what I'm, I'm agreeing with you though, Danny. Oh, like, uh, I just don't think that's doing enough damage for this fight. Minus two twenty five here on Aldo going into the third round. Munoz, this corner definitely told him that he was down this fight because he's starting off pretty hot fire. Aldo's trying to pick up the pace oh, too. Oh, man. nice little one two combo. Even though Aldo's on his back foot though, uh, he's definitely landing some good strikes. Munoz currently has Aldo up against the fence here. We are creeping up to that two fifty mark. I know it's only thirty seconds into the round, but two the over two Bro, and a half. All those piecing him up. Yo, Aldo is coming alive, boy. Cool. He's alive. Yeah, I was definitely piecing him up here. You can just see it in uh, Munoz's face. It just looks beat red. So when it comes down to it, we all know, man, it's levels to this shit, man. Jose Alvarez is on a different level than Pedro Munoz. You know what I mean? Like, why did I bet him? Yes, the underdog money. And plus, Jose Aldo sometimes doesn't look that good in these fights. You know, so but, but when it comes down to it. Nice leg kick there by Aldo. Scary. Like, but hold on, Miller's it's not over yet, and it's Houston, so <laughs> I'm not getting happy yet because, yeah, you never well, know. Just with our eyes, I'm saying, though, I mean, let's just right, say yeah. if he loses in my eyes, he still won the fight. Like, I get it, but yeah, like, but I'm there were some people like you know saying that Munoz clearly won round one in the chat. I don't know, like man. That. I saw a lot of people on the screen say Aldo won round no, one. that's too, but Razor's like, oh, if you say Aldo, you're drunk. Pedro's not uh, doing enough, man. And he's, yeah, he's not Aldo. doing enough, I think Aldo won. Know, even though first, I of, think he won the first, and I know he won the second. Right. So the first one's kind of dictating and he's where the third. fight is going, and Aldo's on his back foot. Aldo's mm-hmm. still just landing Oof. these uh, shots. Nice leg kick. Hits the Triple nice little one two combo. Dude, that left hand is fucking landing flush for Aldo tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell him he look old. Go ahead, Hit. buddy. Tell him he look old. Nice little one, two, three combo there. Hey, you know, my boy Jorge Mazdal would say, three piece and a fucking soda. Good drink. <laughs> I like how he took a sip after oh, he like said that. <laughs> nice leg shot again by Aldo. Munoz punches Aldo in the face. Aldo, nice little stumble. Both fighters clap hands. We are creeping up to 10 seconds left for the over two and a half for anybody that took that. Right, Razor. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Round one. He. I want to say he clearly won that round at all. It was close. No, not even close to clear winning anything. Not really going, not really too much going. Oh, wow. Hey, Whoa. Pedro Munoz is feeling it now. We are to the 250. Uh-oh. And it looks like Aldo is going to cruise his way onto the decision. The legend will prevail here in this fight. We'll I see. So, <laughs> I, I, bro, I, I, I thought, think Aldo yeah, I fight. think he won. Uh, yeah, but you never know. Nice little inside leg kick there by Munoz, and Aldo returns the leg shot. Aldo hits him again. Uh, we are near <laughs> the 150 mark here. 50 seconds left, almost to the last minute of the round. 
Billy Slaughter said, oh, now, Jorge's your boy. I see how it is, Billy. Right. Street Jesus is always my boy. We just bet against him in the last fight. You can't mix oh, of course. pleasures with business. Right. Come on, man. Usman was easy money. Come on, man. I grew up watching the YouTube videos of uh, Kimbo Slice in the backyard. Uh, we all did. We all no, no. He literally was growing oh, up. Look, oh, Aldo nice is great shot there by Aldo. So much weirder the punch, nice bro. Nice left, right combo there by Aldo. Nice uh, outside leg kick. And he's just beasting up Munoz where I think this is not even going to be close. I think it's going to be a unanimous decision for Aldo. Sir, let's go. I need it. That's a crazy happen for fucking uh yeah, we are creeping up to the under one minute mark here in the co main event, the last round here. Nice little one two punch by Aldo. I, to be honest with you, I'm shocked that Aldo is out leading him, lead the dance here in this fight because I feel like Munoz has uh, been the aggressor. I feel like Aldo's been off his back foot, but he's like a pretty good off his back foot. Looks like those leg kicks didn't really add up too much because he's uh, still jollying around like he was in the first round. Do his, I'm saying his you guys, defense against those leg kicks are, is great. But don't you guys think that minus 200 after the second round was? No, I still don't think so. That, no, that minus 200 was easy fucking, I mean, no. I, no, I still don't think so. Like now. No, I I would, I, after the first yeah. round or second? No, second, after the second. Oh, I would say, yeah, because he clearly, not clearly, but he won that second round. And then the first one was. Nice close. outside leg kick I, there. I, I, I slammed that shit like a. Aldo hits the one-two combo. Cool, five seconds left, and then you can just continue talking. Uh, and remember, they always the the odds go up a little bit more. Whoever won, over. Damn, Damn, won the second wrong. round. Man. Aldo looked good in the third round. I did. I he didn't. Like that's what I'm saying. People forget, man. He went. Well, he went three cool. and a half rounds with uh, with John. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Jose won that fight. It'd be either 30-27 or 29-28. Yeah, I agree. Oof. Wow! Let's go. But I also thought I had it right with the uh, Maverick uh, a couple weeks ago, and I exact my ass. Right, me too. I had her by decision. I was thinking, yeah. Too. This one though was like uh, that third round. Oh wow! I I don't see this being much different than the Maverick fight. To be honest, but with no, you. well, it Maverick... was a different different scenario because she won the oh. first two rounds, and you know the right. narrative that people are all. Oh, you know, she won the third round pretty convincingly, so they're gonna give it to her. I'm like, what? <laughs> right, but you you score each round individually, and right, it's so you clearly can, Maverick two to one. So you cancel out like the first two rounds, I guess, and whoever looks good, the, like the better <laughs> fighter, the better <laughs> fighter in the third round is gonna win. That's your argument. <laughs> like, well, if that's the case, then Bobby Green should have beat, should have won, right? Because he, he killed him in the third. Yes, and one fucking just. <laughs> Well, just didn't give him the third. I still don't get that. It's crazy. Yeah. So what happens here? Everybody in the chat, what do you guys have? I, that, hopefully that judge uh, scored 30-27, so bro. this is 29-28 Munoz. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's got to be one of the worst, like, round, like, decisions and, like I've seen in a while. Like, that's clearly bro, Bobby Green. Like, oh, man, that was crazy. Although look at that, look, look at that. I mean, watch Pedro like knows he lost. All those like. <laughs> Wouldn't that home. be some shit if we seen Jose Auto versus TJ Dillashaw? Thirty twenty seven unanimous. He won every round. Yep, let's go. Wow. I agree let's with that go. though. I thought it was thirty twenty seven. Yeah, the closest one was the first. Was the first round. What was the first round. Man. let's go catch that shit. Let's get it. I I started out four and zero tonight, fellas, and I've lost, I think I've lost every bet since. No. Oh. Bro, that usually happens to us, man. We be either we start like shitty and then end up pretty good, or well, I know that happens to me. Or I start hot and then I start losing air. So, do you ever take the live bets, like the live lines? No, I do not. I do not live bet much because I don't hedge. I, I just always stick to my guns. Or even certified out live betting. Well, no, see. Oh, like live bet, like don't even place a bet yeah. before the fight and just live bet. I I don't think I've yeah. ever done that. Because even even hedging, you know what I mean. You can win money. Hedging is yeah, you can. Yeah, it's it's you just like, I hate hedging. going against the fighter I pick, even though Nick, I hedging, don't you lose, lose, hedging Nick, you don't lose money. Don't try to convince people to hedge, bro. Don't try. That's bro, you get a live line and you're watching a fight, <laughs> and it makes sense. No, no, no I should probably do was a old. bit more. My thing was always I like doing that sometimes. Like if you have a money line play, like say Munoz in his um, situation. Try to get a live line plus money and double dip a little bit. Something like that. But 
Yeah. Especially, especially if you fight somebody that you know doesn't have like a great gas tank or something like that in that situation. Oh, we got the beast. Right. We got gun. There you go. Let's go. Main event. Lewis, zero gun. 25-7 with one no contest. Derek Lewis, 9-0. and oh. Undefeated, Mr. Gon. Uh, excuse me, out of the United States for uh, Mr. Uh, Lewis. France. France for Gon. 6'3", 6'4", 260, 245. 79-inch reach for Lewis. 81 for Gon. So that's like almost John Jones stats right there. Three inches uh, shorter. 43 and a half for the legs and 42. So basically, oh. identical there. What are we going to happen here, boys? What's happening? What do you have? And girls. Well, we so, start with Sarah. Who are you picking, yeah, Sarah? Go I got, I got cereal on this one. This is my man. This is my MMA crush, my UFC I crush. Heard, I watched I it. got to go with yep. him on this one. Not your I'm man, guys. I'm a big Derek Lewis fan, and I got cereal on this one. Saw the video. That's 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 your number one. Some some of us are gone. You don't know. Some of it, right? All right. <laughs> Billy. Thank you, Nick. Shouts to my boy Derek Lewis because when I came into this fight week and this fight was first announced, I was absolutely devastated that Gon did not get the fight against Nagano. But man, did Derek Lewis fucking sell this fight? He has been so entertaining this week, and unfortunately, this is going to go in the surreal gone highlight reel for the next fight when he fights the guy. <laughs> the distance, round three, gone. <laughs> All right, and Millie Mills. Man, so I got round three to start at a minus 180. I got gone inside the distance. Then I got gone to close out my parlay with Fitzy off and Johns at a plus 160 right there. All right. Oh, and also did some little sprinkles on the round props, uh, three, four, and five. <clears throat> hey, Danny? Yeah, I got gone here in a couple parties. I got him inside the distance. I'm about to sprinkle the, the round props also. I know me, uh, Clinton, and uh, Betty were talking about that round three. So, But I'm just going to do round, the round props instead of the submission. It's so I could okay. double dip with the inside the distance. Okay. Nikki? I'm going the beast by knockout. Ooh. Okay. The Beast by Knockout, plus 185. Let me see if that's better than... Wait a hey, that's the way to go. If you're on the Lewis side, you no, got to... No, like, no it should plus, be wait. plus 300. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's up there. This is, this is plus 25. I, I saw plus, like, somebody got, like, plus four. No, I see inside Derek Lewis speed. at the book that you're using, plus 250 inside the distance, and then by yeah. Knockout is... Nick, pick yeah. the right one, bro. Hey, they, <laughs> mess it, they mess it up. So I'm going to take Lewis straight up then. <laughs> Straight up. I can just take well what's straight, uh, straight up? Yeah, 265. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hang I'm on, waiting. let me look and make sure there's nothing that we're missing. I'm positive for tonight. I'm just gonna hang out. Yeah, hang you're out. right. Our book has I'm, Lewis by KO at plus yeah. 185. What dumbass would bet that? I know. Probably me. Uh, I, I, I caught it right some before. Some people, I, yeah, they don't even look, they just see that and they just bet that shit. But I also I, I I have, also wait, I'm gonna also go. Okay. God, my knockout TKO or DQ plus one sixty five. Just in case. Okay. Man, I was gonna be like, "Oh, hot take, let's go." Nick's got Lewis. A anything yeah, else, Nick? You got, you got three more you want to put in there? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, no, go ahead. No. Okay. So no, I have no, no, two. No, 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 <laughs> so I have two parlays with Gone in it. I have gone inside the distance, I bet, earlier this week at minus 115. And I am debating, guys. I would like to have a short discussion. Exact method of victory. Ooh. Gone by TKO KO via punches is plus 180. Gone via an elbow is plus 750. See, that's, uh, that's tough. How about via kick, plus 900? I like. Somebody, I heard body. somebody talk about the body the kick. kick. I like yeah. the body kick. I really think that's how it happens. Derek Lewis yeah. puts off a body kick. That's plus nine hundred. I do like that too. I think that's the way to go, uh, Zoe. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna just sprinkle the 
Hit. If I hit this, you guys might see me jump up and uh, dance a little jig behind me. Jump for joy. Ooh, I'll dance a little jig. For hey. The Irish jig. The first time I ever saw the jig was in the uh, Bruce Willis movie. What do they call it? The Last Boy Scout. Did you ever see that? Great movie. Great He's movie. like, at the end, if I get if I live through this, I, I swear to God, I'm going to dance a jig. And he did. And he did. Great movie, huh? From yeah. the from the uh, lights on top of a stadium, he danced. And if you haven't watched it, Last Boy Scout. Oh, watch you're it. right, Jeff. I forgot. I don't have my pants on. Damn it! I can't dance. Oh, what? What? Million, huh? what? 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 Slower said, said in the chat. Just make sure you have your pants on. So. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's got their pants on. Last week, or not last week, but last time I was out with you guys, I did not have pants on. So this is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might well, like, well, you have a robot. Oh, I that's right. The real Bob behind you looked at you like I was like, like I hope you guys don't mind. Touche. Touche. Sorry about it. <laughs> you had everybody thinking for a minute, Sarah, though. They're like, wait a minute. Uh, uh, I really <laughs> wear pants. So there's that. Bada bing. Hey. Bada bing. I sleep naked. Bada bing. Bada and bing. I, all, all the reason why Sharpie said it's better. Harpoon <laughs> Master Sharpie. Thank you for if that. If Sharpie says it's better, then it's better. That's all we that's all we need. Yeah, everybody should oh take a license life, life lessons from Sharpie. Sharpie. <laughs> 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 Jake said, yeah, the guy in the background was like, what the fuck did you say? (laughs) (laughs) You never know what I'm going to say. Did everybody go through what they got? Danny, Mills, Sarah? Yeah, yeah, we did. We we did not mention that Serial is undefeated, you guys. He's 9-0 and in the UFC. He is undefeated. If he loses tonight, this would be his first loss. He's only been fighting th- for three years now. Yes, he's up against Derek Lewis, but we got ourselves a good fight. Here. And it's your I'm boy, Crush. We know. The craziest uh, thing about crush. Crush. Are you picking with, hey, are you picking with your head? See, I don't even know how to say this. Or are you picking with you know yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking about something else. Me. I think the craziest thing about this is about God something. might be nine and zero, but Derek Lewis is ten and zero in Texas. So just in the state alone of Texas, he has a better record than Cyril Gon. That's all I'm saying. You know how they say that to guys? Like, are you are you betting? Okay, with your we'll head go. We'll go with Texas. Then. No, Gon's got this. I'm all picking right. with both my heart and my head. All right. Is that possible? <laughs> There's some jealousy. Yeah, look at this. There he is. <laughs> look okay, wait. Let me focus. Nobody talk to me. I gotta focus. Uh huh. <laughs> wait, no. So what made you take off the sunglasses? The I, pants. I, got, so I got some uh-huh. here. Peace over. What made you take yeah, off man. the sunglasses? Was it the Chiesa bet? <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I took it off after the, after, just right now after the moon off. So I took off the sunglasses like, yeah, we going to have to start loading up on some data bed bets here. I got to see this shit, right? Nah, I'm parlaying some shit up. I got Cyril gone. I'm taking him with uh, the Buccaneers first week of uh, football season minus six and a half. Hell so, yeah. Fuck the like that already? already? Fuck mm-hmm. those cowgirls. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I thought you were gonna hit us with a little quick Bellator future of uh, parlay. I don't. It's not on my card yet, so I can't. You know how I usually do. Um, it's not on my card yet, or there. Yeah. So I found another bet, guys. I put in. I'm feeling it. Okay. Either fighter wins in round three or four at plus three twenty five. Hey, that's that good. is a big show bet. Where is Big Show at? What are your bets on this one? Big Show I like is that. the main event savant. Thanks to everyone who's with me tonight. Let's let's see what happens. You guys and know who I, I'm on. Oh, go ahead, Big Show. It's gone in Yuri season, baby. Gone's winning this shit. The second oh, round okay. knocked you. All right, you gotta make a bet that. All right, fine. Yeah. Son. You're right. Like, which, Plus five fifty. Right take it right now. Take it right now. There's only one. What you mean? 
Jerry. Said gone. Oh, yeah, he's for next week. Uh, he's just okay, saying they're Jerry, taking over. Yeah, he's just that's his that's his short list of current MMA fighters that he loves the most. I'm on that list too. Oh yeah, what, dog. What, what card is Yuri on? I haven't even looked. He's uh, gonna he's be the backup, backup fighter. To, uh, yeah. uh, he's to not fighting. And, um, and yeah. John. It's not even he's more he's just Oh, so you didn't parlay him? I thought you were parlaying Yuri with Gun. No, 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 no. He's saying it's just my heavyweight and lightweight. Yeah. Champions okay. in the future. Yeah, okay. he's saying that it's it's their era now. I'm with you now. I was like looking for. I was like, okay, I'm gonna tail you on that parlay, and then I can't do it. <laughs> Did you take I'm, I'm in the mood of betting right now. I'm gonna. What was that, Bill? I almost take any props. Round. Yeah, I took second round knockout and gone in second round. I'm going third round as well, plus eight hundred. Yes, sir. Round. I was looking through it last night with Slaughter. Uh, Derek Lewis has eight uh, fights that have been decided in the second round, so that's the one I went heavy on. I don't blame you. I have gone three, four, and five. I hope he makes it through the second. What was that, Nick? I'm just hoping fucking Gunn doesn't knock him on the fucking first. Oh, I want if he does, I mean, either way, if I'm yeah. not on the first. I'm hoping it's Lewis. You know what I mean? And then it gives on the second, and third, and hopefully cash that plus a fifty. Yeah, so I went on a little cooler like you. I don't think I went wrong for like the first five fights. I even had that decision where you guys all had the other guy, and then after that, it's like everything went dead. Like all the fights went flat. I either guessed wrong on decision or round props. Yeah, but those are big yes. round props, though. So. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I smashed early, dude. I was up like three units early, and I'm probably up about two Let's now. Fiziev, thank you, Fiziev. I now have four units on this fight between the two uh, parlays and the two inside the distance for gone. Yeah, this is my I'm biggest loading, fight. I've been loading up on Fiziev for two weeks now, so if he didn't come through, oh boy, you did I'm good, a cranky, cranky motherfucker. I had the nut lineup until fucking Pedro fucked it up. Yeah, you, know, you know, all that looked great in the first. Oh yeah, I bet. It sucked oh, out. Doesn't look that great, and then all of a sudden that jab, that jab, that jab. Like yeah, he looked really good second, third. Oh yeah, I bet. Oh, I hear someone's got a YouTube something. on. This is YouTube. You too, Ben. And I need gone in this fight. At this Ooh. point, I lost so much, it doesn't even make a difference. No, no, my luck. Who else will knock him out? Don't say that, though. Come on. Don't say why, that. Why are you going to put that shit in there, man? Right, <laughs> man. <laughs> Take that shit you Nick, need a private stream for the bad mojo, y'all. For real? <laughs> That's facts. Bad mojo with Nikki. I didn't say so, shit. What are you talking about? Bro, you I mean the bad. worst bad mojo. Like, no, Nikki's the worst. Obviously. I don't like the way this uh, is going. Fuck off. 20 seconds to the fight. Like, come on. Man. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> off. You, you, you be killing me in horse streams. He's like, the two's, the, two's the, the two's dead. The two's dead. It's the first corner. Because I know when a horse is dead. <laughs> God only has the first right hand punch of the fight. He goes, yeah, he's gonna, she's going to knock her out. I'm like, all right, Nick. Fuck you, too, man. <laughs> oh, all right, fuck you too. I'm just trying some reverse psychology and see if it works so my guy wins. You know if it happens, oh, so we're all blaming you. That only helps you if you're trying to hedge bet. That's that, I'm that's not trying to hedge. He's, he's just trying to try change his luck. That's what I'm with Jake oh, Kaiser, dog. When do the when do the live dancers come in your room? <laughs> <laughs> that was last night. Uh, I'm talking about so not you, man. It looked like you got the lighting ooh. already and set up. I see a couple candles lit up in the background. Well, I, still got, I, got, I, still got, I still got sparkles over me from the club I went to last night. You know I mean? Glitter. <laughs> what up, so, you nasty fuck. You didn't take a shower? <laughs> yeah, I, I make sure it don't come out. That glitter will last for weeks. <laughs> That's it's all over me. Rookies. You guys, you guys all saw like three weeks ago where Derek, uh, where Lewis uh, knocked the guy out trying to rob his car. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Oh, did you really? I didn't see that shit. 
Yeah, the, 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 the guy picked, picked the wrong card to try to. Dude, who the hell? You, so you were talking about your the wrong card. Imagine that guy's luck. <laughs> Yeah, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's trying to pick the lock, and then Derek Lewis is walking out at you. Man, I had to pick his car. Right. What up, Spenny Bounds? from yeah, the yeah. Last week was when they asked my man Derek Lewis, how would you oh, feel about a French man beating you in your own state? He said, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. No, no, he goes, he goes, Ex- excuse my French. Excuse fuck you me. and fuck him. <laughs> I was, I was, y'all was ruining it. He looks this nervous is, as fuck right now, though, Lewis does. Bro, he said he was nervous the whole time. Here we go. He's I think fine. this whole fight comes down to IQ, boys. And I just I just think Ciro Gan's got the IQ. Bro, his he and tails is, over Derek Lewis. Can I bet Gone first round still? Damn it. Precision versus power and intelligence. I don't know if you guys agree, but he's the for me it's clear. He's the most technical heavyweight I've ever seen. Yeah, you've never seen anybody change a fight like, like Izzy does. You know, like the Izzy effect where Volkov became a, you know, what did he and, throw, like 55 strikes in that whole fight? Five right. rounds? Bro, yeah. You think he's more technical than a Stipe? Yeah, you know I'm a huge St- Stipe yeah, guy. I know. I feel, I feel like, I know. I feel like yeah, Stipe is more heavy. all around. Yeah, I feel like Stipe's game is more all around. But hit, him striking-wise, he, he is okay. super. I just ask him the question, Stipe Danny, because I know, you, I know your love for yeah. Stipe. All right, and, here and, we go, guys. He's only been doing it for three years. It's yeah. crazy. <coughs> Here we go. Round one. Sharpie's hedge button. I'm excited. 455. <laughs> oh, Lord. Center of the cage. You got uh, Lewis, Orthodox, gone, southpaw. Gone faints a uh, front kick. And I think gone's being all cautious with him here to start. 500 pounds are crazy on that goddamn mat right now. Yeah, probably about 280 of it. Lewis, Lewis with a high kick blocked, and he falls down. Gon makes him pay for it with the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to be quick. <laughs> He's oh, nervous. Yeah. Shit. Look, at, <laughs> look at him not striking. What's this? Uh, Derek Lewis is going to rush in and beat this. Why this is this going ahead? Go. I don't know. That's a big dude to be throwing a head kick. We got. He does that, bro. Going. He throws head kicks, though. He does do that. He does. Uh, he does. So, like you said to me, remember I always say his opponents always fucking like the game plan. Game plan goes out the window against. He does that God and flying knees. And flying uh, another knees. front kick by Lewis. Uh, while we were talking, uh, I mean, by that was by Gon. Lewis did land a body kick. They're looking at each other. Gon with a jab. 342 gone with another kick to the knee. Side kick to the knee that Derek day. Lewis know he's in a fight. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, a couple outside leg kicks by Gone. Lewis is just kind of taking these leg kicks. Low key, though, this is how he started off against Curtis Blaze his last He's just fight. chilling. Bro, yeah, well, he was worried about the takedown there. Gone's just going to. Yeah. No, but I'm just well, saying. Lewis, that- Lewis knows what he is. He He's just looking for that big shot. And he is. Go night night. That's it. Fuck is he trying I'm to keep Gone getting him out of here then? Uh in the later rounds, I yeah, think he's, he's gonna, gonna be yeah. yeah. I think uh he's gonna gas a little bit and then how are you gassing if he ain't at this pace right? nobody's gassing? Oh, yeah, exactly. That's true. <laughs> Believe it or not, Lewis <laughs> might gas in the fourth and fifth round at this pace. That's a big <laughs> look, at that, look at that footwork. The crazy thing is he could be tired, yeah. but he still carries that power. Footwork, right? footwork. So, so Lewis uh, did some movement. Nothing I'm happened. Gone circled out. Gone front kick to the body. Two forty left. Going. Gone misses with a jab. Lewis doing some weird stuff with his arms right now. Gone lands a jab. Leg kick again by Gone to that lead leg. I don't know how many more leg kicks yep. Derek Lewis can take to that. Uh, front leg. Yeah, I mean he he's landed them at will, and and he's not checking one of them. Lewis isn't. He looks sad. Bro, I thought his leg was messed up in his vest, right? Remember? But he. Yep. Lewis uh, chasing him a little bit. Gone looks too evasive. Lewis started to try to corner him to throw a big punch. How the fuck is he tired, bro? He hasn't done anything. (laughs) Here we go. He's got weight right there, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Big man. 155. Gone with another jab. On the real. Uh, He literally has not thrown a. Fucking strike in the whole entire fight. He just he nice. just threw it. He just threw the first one to the body. Well, he, he threw some kicks. He threw a fucking nut shot. 
Yeah, uh, not sure. Uh, big leg. Lewis got going got in the nuts, so we got a little break. All right, so you want to know something that's that's funny, but it's real. Nick, Ooh. you might have a point, and I'm not lying. Derek Lewis in the interview said he kicks his opponents in the nuts on purpose to get breathers. I'm not lying. Oh yeah. wow. I've heard what I've heard people go ahead, Sarah. What what interview was that? I need to hear this. Mm, don't know the exact one, but if you just Google it up, you'll find it. But it's Ooh. official, he admitted to it. He was like, I kicked money nuts on purpose just so I could get a breather. Well, if that's true, <laughs> that's sad as fuck if you're doing that in the, the first round. Yeah. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard MMA fighters say they actually, you can't kick somebody in the nut when they're moving, even when you try 100%. Well, it's like, it's like, like all body you know, locked by God in the center ring. I wanted to fucking off. see that, boys. Hey, One you know, big two up, big boys hugging. In the middle of the ring. Is that what you want to see? The hugging big show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, the, so the 105 left. Ooh, gone with a kick, and Lewis is attacking him from behind, and Gone was running. Throwing him. He didn't it. land anything. He would have hit him in the back of the head if he would have hit him. Oh. 53 sounds, seconds. Sounds left. like he's not scared to cheat. Now, I mean, shoot. He had Gone on the run. He was going after him. 45 oh. seconds left. Front kick by Gone. This, this is going to be an interim heavyweight title, guys. Yeah, this know. is going to be one zero. Gone this shades of Romero. Is he Romero? Nah, bro. That was bad. Do you remember that fight? No. At least Lewis it's is throwing back. Yes. Yeah, oh, oh. Oh. Big right hand by Gone. Oh, Lewis. Get around, Lewis. Get around, Lewis. 22, 20 seconds oh, left. Nice. Oh, oh, he's getting a punch. Seen. Nope. He's a punch. That's perfect. So Lewis, Lewis claimed the jab was Let's a finger and it was a punch. Holy shit. Was it? Oh, here we go. 10 Come seconds on, left. Hit him hey. with one body kick before the end of this round. Hey, 10 again. seconds don't, left. Don't throw it, Gain. Don't uh, throw three, it. Three, go. There we two, go. and nobody threw anything. That's that's an easy round. Something's wrong. <laughs> hey, you, you, might might be, you might be right, Nick. Something's wrong with Lewis. Like, he might be tired or something. <laughs> He's on that goddamn. No, I know he fights like that. He, he, he was at the strip club like last night or something. I don't even know. He is nervous, bro. Look at the way he's staring into the space right now. That's hey, Danny, weird. You want to know what uh, Derek Lewis is fighting like? A bitch. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, a bitch or excuse me, you know, excuse me, sir, about a bitch or a pussy or both. Mm-hmm. You, you had you had it the first one right, man. You just said Virginia. <laughs> Virginia is uh, the right, you know. I'll be no. curious if Gon takes Lewis down. Can Lewis do his just Gon's not even breathing? Gon's not even breathing. He's bro, we oh, yeah. oh, have no one fucking he's having an open out. conversation. He just asked the court man, what are you doing you know, next weekend? We, you want to go? Hey, Nick, plus is not God. God could go five rounds all day. What are you saying? Like, no, I feel no. like <laughs> there's something's wrong with Lewis. I don't know what's going on. Like I know he he's waiting for that big punch, like I said. But no, I don't know. It was, oh. just looks like he's fucking scared. Bro. All right, here we go, guys. Round two. Yeah, but dude, dude he fought. Looking at Cyril gone across the. I fucking know, fucking but he bro. looks scared. He's not scared. He fought fucking Francis, even though that yeah. was the worst fight, the worst fight ever. But he's been in better shape over Francis. Look at his fucking. Come on, let's get a second way. round knockout here. Had a couple of leg kicks to lead it off by Gon. Nick, right, you're dead on point. It's right next to you. That belly, that belly. Nice is straight left by Gon. Right. He weighed in at the max 264 this Did he? time. Did so yeah. yeah. so he? You're dead on yeah, with that. Last, just, last time he was way more in shape. Wow. Lewis on, again man. tried a jumping head kick. I just love like this. <laughs> and then a Dude, like his, I mean, his IQ is yep. out the window. Why is he doing that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It is That's a, why I was trying to so uh, when gone, he, that's um, how he fights. I'm not lying. He's been doing it. He, he does do that. kicks and stuff. And he does like, jumping knees out of nowhere. I feel but like yeah. when, when people fight gone, like they, they, just, yeah. they just fight out of their element. It's weird. I don't know. Yeah, is there other sign you put? All right. I, I, yeah, yeah, I get that, but it's totally gone. different. Uh, gone keeps on switching here, from gone. orthodox to southpaw. He's then this changing it up. Fucker over. <laughs> Three forty-three. Hold them. Pause. Oh, so Bro, I ain't gonna lie. This is a fast ass second round, dude. We're already at the three thirty. A point. nice one two by Gon, and Gon says he he got him in the eye, and nothing happens. He told him he got him, and he's like, Nah, bro. Yeah, he mm-hmm. thought he had an eye poke. 
and I didn't see a punch come from Lewis, so I don't know what that was. And now Lewis comes in to grapple. Lewis, Lewis, not going to happen. Off. IQ off the window. This is where Lewis is like, oh, fuck. What the fuck do I do now? Yeah, with her, you are just throwing over him right. Yeah, Derek Lewis might quit, bro. 304, another high kick by Lewis that's blocked. He's keeping the arms down so we don't get that body kick. Kick. That, that body body kick. kick by Gon. Lewis kick. comes in for a flying knee and hits Gon like in the knee as he's protecting himself. He's got his right hand low. It's right by his liver. See it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want to get kicked. That's why it's, nope. Another leg no kick ball. by Gon. Destroy that lead leg, Gon, if he's going to fucking give it to you. Oh, he comes in with a knee, Gon does, and Lewis grapples and turns him, has a body lock and turn Gon around. Oh, yeah, that's Gon nice. Gon digs an underhook right away, gets a knee in. Throw and Gon's ass. got double underhooks. Oh, that was Gon with a knee to the thigh. Keep him going. Keep him going. Two knees to the thigh. Knee to the oh. midsection. I think he takes that, that him down. Those knees. Gon those. is. No, I don't. I'm getting the liver. Need a liver. Need a liver. Come on, land it right there. Need a liver. Yo, how strong is Gon if he's able to hold that wrist in place? I know, yeah, bro. He's, like, he is. That's he's holding his wrist. Right. wrist. <laughs> and he almost tripped uh, on the. He released him, and Lewis almost fell over. What is Sarah's that? Sarah's like, oh, I wish he hold my wrist. <laughs> that's exactly what I was wondering. <laughs> oh, Lord. Outside leg kick by Gon. It must be raining in Vegas, huh? <laughs> it's uh, Lewis is 2 out of 15. I just landed a shot to the body. 3 of 15, and Gon is 34 of 52. Oh, nice. Ooh, Another leg right kick on, by Gon. That was right under the kneecap. Dab by Gon. Kick, kick it again, motherfucker. Kick it again, Gain. Gone, excuse me. Yeah. He needs to keep it going. Now they're staring I, at each other in the last 10 seconds. Go ahead, Danny. What is no, I was, I was just going to say. Like sorry. Go ahead. I didn't know your name was Danny, but okay. <laughs> Darryl, I, said, I, I hate it. I hate it when. With his uh, pants sagging below his ass. Go ahead. I hate when the names are not pronounced the way you're spelled. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like K pop or K well, you know, fucking game. Uh, like, around here. Yeah. No, so no, they're, I'm they're, not saying you're hugging each other. This is a hug say. fest. Oh, right oh. A right oh. elbow lands by oh. Gon, and then Lewis went after him with a right missed, and then Gon barely grazed him with a right hook. And now he Gon is care. jumping around in the center, moving around, and Lewis is showing some interest here to get into the pocket. They actually touch oh. gloves. Yeah, he's walked like six feet, so. Yeah, 20 <laughs> seconds left. He's getting into Lewis, this one. Faints. Nothing happening. 14 seconds left. Lewis backing up a little bit now. Gone moving forward. And another jumping kick attempted by Lewis, and he runs at him, and Gone moves out of the way. Gone with a high kick to end the round that did not land. Gone, get Lewis it's, out of here. Two <laughs> zero. Good shit. Good shit. Hapoon Master. Wait, read the comments. Uh, didn't uh, Mills? Didn't you have round three to start in this? Yeah, Mills did. I don't think he's here right now, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah hit Thanks, balls. Fella. Thanks yeah, fellas, hit. and Sarah for the commentary tonight was always a pleasure. Cash that round three to start. Might be a little late to the closing time show tomorrow. Coast Guard called me in to save the whale. <laughs> Good job, How uh, cool Sharpie. That's the do what time is the closing time for tomorrow's show? For the people that want to get some MLB bets in there tomorrow, if they lost some money on this UFC event. Oh, 11 o'clock Eastern. With the our, uh, We had a nice 250 people in there today for the MLB closing time. 11 o'clock hey, tomorrow morning. Sharpie, I want to hear shit. You better be there early. I went to bed like at 7. I had to wake up at 10 15 or something. No, what time were you going to sleep last night? No homo. Told you. Who? Who, me? No, I said show. What time did we go to oh. last night? No homo. Why? So How is that? Like, <laughs> it's kind of like we're in the same fucking room. We're in bed. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Round three. <laughs> Lewis starts off with a front kick that Gon sweeps away. Gon goes right back to work with the right leg kick. More to the thigh area than to the knee. If Gon Derek again Lewis switched. Quit, it would definitely go the distance. Yeah, yeah, so Gon's just dancing around. 
Oh, Andy, every round that goes uh, by, I think it's harder for Lewis to win. Oh, keep kicking it. Oh, he's kid, keep just kicked it that leg three, game. four Come times. On three. No, just kick the leg, please. Four, oh, 20, oh. two please, left. Lewis on. backing up a little bit, and then now he moves forward. Gon backs up a little bit. Gon goes right back to that orthodox to kick that lead leg. Hits him with a jab. That was a kind of a funny jab. He stuck it out there for a little longer than normal. Oh, that leg is getting shot. Another up. leg kick by Gon. This uh, this work, orthodox where he's getting those leg kicks in is working. Keep kicking. It's right there. As he normally fights, he's a normally a southpaw. Oh. Another leg kick by Gon. Keep it going. Be my cash out close 900. Hey, I want those kicks. I want to see Lewis go down from these kicks. For real. I'll take that round three and inside the distance. Yep. Yeah, no, I would love round three. So I have what round did, three, round four. So, round three. what was yeah. the that bet? The bet uh, you placed. Remember, you talking about the kicks by finish? Yeah. So, so it's any kick or is it? It's any oh, kick gone again. Via, via kicks. Another okay. leg kick by Gone. It's just via kicks. It's a DKO. Nice. So it'd have to be kicks to the leg, or he has to knock him out with a kick to the head or something, or a kick to the body. I see the body. Out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, Lewis man. threw a kick that was blocked. 304 left. Guys, if you have Lewis, I mean, I know you're looking for one punch, but man, he is not showing much. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. He, I don't know what's going on. I mean, you know, Francis is going to stand right there with him and go toe to toe. Oh, a step in elbow attempted by Ghani missed. Lewis with a body lock. Gon quickly digs in. Uh, Underhook and turns back <clears throat> Lewis against the cage. Lewis thinks he's a wrestler or something. Bro, if I'm Derek Lewis, what the fuck else am I going to do? I threw three punches. In They're the showing game. these bodies. They're he's... showing these strikes. The one, one, Lewis. and one for Lewis. Three <laughs> strikes. Yeah, that's and what has... Has... Like, really, three strikes. That's hilarious. Yeah. Gon oh, has 62. Two, 15 left. I am worried about that hippo. I don't want God to like... Liver kicks. That's wrong. Throw it. Fold him. Fold him with a liver kick. Come on. 205. There. Lewis, like, lunging in with oh, hooks. We're nowhere near. Hurt. Another kick by Gon. Yeah, he can't touch this fool, dude. Yeah, he can't that touch him. Gonna hurt. He's trying to get fed up. Oh. Uh, he oh, just got oh, big jab by Gon. Gon with an upper oh, 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 Come on. Oh, Lewis oh, oh, looks hard. Oh, 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 it, please. Oh, 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 Stop it. Get him, Gon. Finish it. Stop it. No, 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 no. Back up. Wow. Damn it. Oh, my God. Are you oh, fucking those oh, and oh, and nice uppercut. Nice uppercut. My God. Fuck. Oh, he needs down. to get him away. Oh, 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 away. Oh, 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 this is down. Oh, me. Come on, get beat up. God's got him turned around. Lewis punches. Come on. Lewis covering up. I cannot believe this right now. Wow. Lewis is still but standing no, there. No, 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 give him his mouth guard back. What the fuck? Come on. Let's get that shit out. Oh, my God. 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 Lewis counters back. Wobbly feet. Lewis counters back. Hits gun. Robbles him. Stumbles him. Oh, wait, 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, All right, no, I'm, I'm happy about that one. Hell That's yeah, big time, I don't know. Let's go. Let's get it. I lost the round, both the round two props. Throw it. Plus one fifty. We hit gone inside the distance off the board, and we hit gone in the third Under four round. Under four and a half, I believe. We all fucking cash like the yes, sir. All the parlays, fucking right. round props inside of always life. raining in Vegas, huh? Always raining in Vegas. It's, it's freaking pouring, you guys. <laughs> it's like Niagara Falls. Let's go. Get on the fucking Let's train go. if you haven't been on the train already. Holy Make sure you try shit. to you. It's Yuri and God no. season, baby. Yuri and God season, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
I do got Let's a serious go. question for Big Sean. 10 and 0, you guys. God's going to beat Francis? Easy. Well, let's yeah. not talk about that yet. Okay? Well, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Plus money for each day on it? Easy. Yeah, I'm betting God. Mm -hmm. no, no, I know. I'm just asking. That's a that. damn. I, I'm all over. I'll Francis. bet it now if they want to make the fight. I mean, that should be the next fight. In my opinion. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. If they put it on the boards right it now, is. I'll bet it. I know, yeah, but unless it's some bullshit, like, you know. No, it is. It is. Because, I mean. Dana Gunner already said wanted, that the winner of this so, gets uh, Francis. And plus, and God just wanted time. You know what I mean? He didn't want to fight this. Right? Ah! That's going to be an interesting. Everybody that cashed this with us, man. Let's see. Uh, FT oh parlay God. hit. FT hit. Hey, Swaz hit plus 800. Let's fucking go. Let's uh, go. Jesse Nunez hit. Go. Ishmael hit. Let's get uh, it. Stimmy OG was on it with me. Plus 600 round three. Yeah, I played oh. that too. Uh, Spencer Pennyage hit. Let's see. Penny uh, Bombs. Sharpie. Uh, Swaz Free TV got that money. Ishmael got the money. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sharpie got the money. <clears throat> Simon L got the money. I see you, baby. I see you, man. Let's go, baby. We all cashed on that shit, man. Hit that shit three to four different ways. Every way I could. Hey, Austin, I said that too after he lost, but people hating on him because that's a trilogy, obviously. But Oh, I think he'll, he'll still fight him again, I think, Danny. Yeah, but well, now it was – Like I was saying to uh, – to everybody in the Discord last night, this was the perfect matchup to happen at the perfect time because if Lewis wins, we get Nagano Lewis too, which probably was the worst fight in heaven. That was pun. <laughs> yes. But they, so they get a, the chance to revamp that. If Gon wins, we got his old training partner. Yeah, I know. Yes. They didn't want to. They didn't want to fight right away. Yeah. They didn't want to sign the contract right now to fight this fight. So now they have to. That's why they made that interim belt. I mean, we caught it on that show. But remember, I was saying because they were building that shit up. It's in Houston, Texas. All the fans from Derek Lewis. Hey, what? And I'm like, oh, all that just to see him fucking lose. Because I think he forgot him. he was in Houston, bro. <laughs> Woo! Bro, he he didn't seem like he wanted to be there. Like, at no, all. he did Man, not. Bro. He did not oh, seem right? like that was his hometown. Was, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? If yeah. if you're fighting your hometown, bro, come on, man. You telling me bro, you're not he hyped? That, like, <laughs> like getting his face and all that shit. Like, and afterwards, he's like. Ugh. All that. So are we going to talk yeah. about what Gon actually does to the other fighters? Because this is trending like every fight now. Like those everybody, I think so I always bring it up. Those like, yeah, like, it's crazy. getting crazy, dude. Like it's I've crazy. never seen, I never seen a fighter do this to so many fighters. It's like four fighters in a row that he's completely well, traumatized. No, not, I'm never made I'm not never but Big Show, I'm more like impressed that. because the dude's only been doing it for like three years. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, three freaking yeah. years, and now he's ten and zero. You guys, come on, this is insane. It's insane. You're not as excited as I want you to be right now, but it oh, is. Insane. Gosh, hey, as soon as that money hits my account, I'll be as excited as you want. Hurry up, mine. Let's go. <laughs> It'll be raining uh, in Michigan. Yeah, I will say that the Gon fight against uh, Giardino was a pretty snooze fest for five rounds. Rosen struck okay. him. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, that was bad. He was impressive. <laughs> he was impressive against Volkov, yeah. and he was very impressive. Today. But me personally, even though it was a boring fight, I appreciate. I see him being super technical, so I appreciate that type of stuff. The footwork yeah. and the technical striking is. But crazy. Rosen, Rosen wasn't doing shit because he's a no, striker. No, no. But he neither was. Was. Don did more than Rosen struck, but neither oh. one of them did a whole hell of a lot. Of a lot yeah, so yeah, yeah, facts. No, that's true for sure. No, Billy. but I would say he's the most. He is the most technical heavyweight that I've yes. seen. Yes, yes, I agree. He is. He doesn't even look like a regular heavyweight. Just get the most technical. He can he can beat Francis if he doesn't get hit. I mean, and, but a lot of people, you know, get hit by Francis. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the Francis yet, but <laughs> you just celebrate this one and then right, worry right. about that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a big right, dude, this new, hey, new fucking champion. I know it's, it's kind of it's just intern, but it's right there. He's got it. Chuck says Gon versus Wait, Jones is more interesting than Francis versus Jones. I so we're gonna get on that, that belt, bro. Look at that. That's Everybody a hot take. That. Holy shit. I like shit. it. Very, very I like it though. I love it. I love it. Six Dude. months ago, Steepy had that around, you know, the shoulder. Now it's so okay. I'm tired mm -hmm. of fucking Jones. Like I'm, whatever. I'll I'll get hyped when he has an actual fight. Like you know what's gonna happen, Danny? You, because Gone and Francis will fight, and then Jones is gonna fight the winner of the two. You watch. 
Well, how about Vince Francis John again? Man, it was the same thing. Mostly, he could have fought on mostly John before. To I know. That's what I heard too, Mills. Supposedly, John's agreed to about with Stipe. That's why I heard. Too, I haven't I seen it. I, I don't think it's official. Official though, because both be of them are trying to gain them. weight. Because uh, Jones says he needs to gain twenty pounds, and so does Stipe. They're both saying they got to go up. <sighs> I mean, but Jones been out. Never know. Jones been doing this for I don't know. It's yeah. Been a while. He's been out for a long time, but he's saying he's not ready to fight. He needs to gain more weight. Last time I heard. So. Well, All right, was another was great show. Thousand. Let's get it. One up, one down. I'll wait to end it. Mills, you want to hit the Billy. chat? Yeah, I want to hit the chat, Billy. We got a lot of people rocking with us still, man. Oh. It's been six hours and plus, man. Shout out to everybody that's in there. If you guys are new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit that button, hit that like. Why? Because we go live 24-7, 365. We just don't do UFC. We do it all. Bellator. Baseball, football is right around the corner. Golf, shit. We even got golf, you guys. Drop a link. Let us know what you guys want us to cover. We do it all here. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Plus Money, Brandon Olsen, Eminent Hippo, Brian Nolan, Girl Gerardo, Hernandez in the chat. Who else we got up in there? Spencer Pinyage, Ishmael, Chuck DLC, Chris Harm, Jesse Nunez, Austin Angler, North Ender in the chat. Still rocking with us. Williams Funds video. Hey. Connor Mac picks, man. Great job tonight, man. He's saying shout out to him. He's killing it in baseball. Everybody yes, else, too, man. Thank you guys for all you're doing in the chat, all the donos and everything. Keep it going. Pub Sports Radio, F the rest out. We're the best out. Let's go. All right. Go. Let's go. Billy, how, how can people find you and what do you got going on? Man, I'm going to take this time. You got a new haircut going on. RIP <laughs> to my night. I had an hour and a half conversation with my main sub today, and he was looking for the parlay smacker of the day, and we colluded to Mariners plus one and a half money line or whatever, run line, and fucking gone money line, and that shit smacked. I should have went my first fucking instinct, but I was hungover, didn't want to place the bet. Fuck, man. Fuck. Shouts <laughs> to everybody in the chat that was fucking with us tonight. It was a horrible week for me. I'll be back next week. You see that name at the bottom right there? It says at getting bills. We didn't get bills tonight, but Bellator is back next week. Haven't lost a Bellator event in God knows how long. Make sure you catch the video with my boy AJ. We're going to break it down. All right. Sarah, thank you for hanging with us tonight. Can you tell people what you have going on and how can people find you? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. I had so much fun. Can't wait to do it again. Uh, you can find me at Sin City underscore Sarah on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I am back to Instagram fully posting on stories every day. So if you are missing the Twitter fleet, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's where you can find me, Sin City underscore Sarah. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for letting me hang out with you tonight. I have the best time when I'm with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Glad to have you. Millie Mills. Yo, man, I know a lot of people got the same social media as me. That's YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So I'm talking to you, 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 and you, all 190. Follow me at MMA Locker Room, man. I'm putting on my best plays and picks, covering baseball. I hit it today on my uh, pitch to get rich. That was uh, Charlie Morton over uh, six and a half Ks. Uh, not just that, doing your interviews with your favorite fighters. Had an interview locked up with Ade Osborne this week uh, coming up, but uh, I'm going to skip that and ask him uh, <laughs> uh, a little bit later on down the line. So, uh, You're a savage, Bill. You're, you know, you're, you're a fucking savage, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny, how can people find you? <laughs> yeah, you can find me at Danny <laughs> Betts on Twitter, IG, TikTok, here in Puff Sports. It was a good night. Started off kind of rough. I think I started off like one and three. And then all the part eight sitting in got gone, round props, round three. Um, inside a distance, I doubled up. Actually, didn't make it official on Twitter, but I put more on that shit. But, uh, yeah, you can follow me uh, on social media, uh, here at Sports, live streams, better tour. The Discord, baby. Yes, oh, Discord, let's go. We're on Discord, too. So hop on there. We're always signing up. Probably tonight, too. Let's go. I'm going to put the invite in right now real quick. One second. Into the I was going to say, Nikki, take us home. Zoe's about to bring the dancers pretty soon. Hold up. <laughs> oh, I'm put them there. There's a Discord link in the chat. 
Myself, Mr. Fat Fist on Twitter, Bostonic underscore uh, UFC on IG. Uh, for the fellas uh, and the ladies, uh, Zoe, the show. Hey, background, killing it, bro, on the backstage. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, Sin City sure. Sarah, Danny Betts, uh, Mr. Millie Mills, Jackson Wazo, Billy Briz. We're out of here. Till next time, Bellator, next Friday. Let's get her done. Adios. Let's get Adios. it. We be popping. We be popping.